Hello, everybody. Welcome to Rob's Gaming Table. I'm Rob. I'm Mel. And we're here to play some familiar tales published by Plat Hat Games and designed by Jerry Hawthorne. Welcome, everybody, uh, to the beginning of our weekend of live streams of familiar tales. Assuming two things. Um, we don't beat it sooner than the three streams that are scheduled. Uh, I don't rage quit, or we rage quit, or you rage quit. Any of us rage quit from the campaign before that happens. Um, I've never played this game. Mel's never played this game. We have played Aftermath from uh, Plat Hat. We played that live on the channel, went through the whole game. Had super fun in that campaign. Loved that little game. This game looked like a kind of more polished, maybe fixed, I don't know, different, improved, maybe aimed at an even younger audience. I don't know. But anyways, uh, we were kind of excited to play this one uh, before. But at the time when it came out, we, we, ain't nobody got time for that. Um, but at Gen Con, we saw it and we talked to Plat Hat Games and full disclosure, they provided this copy for us to play. Um, so thank you to Colby from Plat Hat Games for thank providing you. this copy. That will not influence how much I will bitch or complain about anything in the game or how I will tell you what I like and give my thoughts and ramble and whatever during the playthrough. So be warned. Um, but what this is for me, so, so we can all understand where, where we're coming from, what's happening today. Uh, instead of what we usually do, we've done this in the past, but instead of what we usually do, normally how we play campaigns on the channel or story games, legacy games, whatever, that involve multiple episodes. Uh, we'll play like one episode. We'll give it like a week, two weeks. We'll check back in, play the next scenario, next episode, next session, whatever. And we'll keep going as long as you guys are interested or as long as we're interested you know, people are watching or whatever, or we're having fun, that kind of stuff. Um, but this time, I've been playing a lot of different games lately. I didn't want to play this one, like, one episode, and a week later, and a week later. And we've done this in the past, where we got really excited about a campaign, and we're just like, we just want to play it, have fun with it. Um, and let's just play it, like, back to back to back. Yes, that doesn't work for everybody. Not everyone can join us live, because we're kind of playing it too aggressively. So we totally understand if you can't watch this all with us. I don't know how long we're going to play today. I don't know when a proper time to kind of save is. We won't know until we get to that point. And we kind of feel like saving or ending the stream. So we're just kind of like going blind here. So I've scheduled three streams today, tomorrow, and the next day. They're all in a playlist down in the video description. If you're curious about this Aftermath game, we'll probably mention many times during it because it's our only experience with a game like this. Um or very similar to this, I would say. There are other games we played that are kind of in this genre. Um, but that's the one that, I like, remind. this reminds me, after reading the rules and kind of looking at the components and stuff, it reminds me a lot of that game. Um, which is not a bad thing. But uh, if you want to check out Aftermath, the playlist is down in the video description. Uh, thank you, everyone that supports the channel, uh, allowing us to play games like this. We're not being paid to play this game by any means, uh, other than by you guys who support the channel. Again, Tollbold, thank you for the super chat. Much appreciated. Thank you to everyone's name scrolling by on the screen there who support us here on YouTube through the join button or going on to Patreon, which you can find links for in the video description. Thanks to everyone who just donates beyond that. Um, you know, with the donations, the super chat, super thanks, gifted memberships, all that kind of crazy stuff. Thank you for supporting us so we can do this. Uh, I can do this full time. Mel can join me. We can play these games um, and not have to like worry about, you know, being paid to play like crappy Kickstarter prototypes and stuff. Um, we appreciate it. Um, um, yeah. We also should thank uh, Andrew who clicked that join button while we were not live. Oh, Andrew, yes. Yes. I, I saw this start. Yes. Yeah. I well, think it... I probably didn't put that in there, did I? Maybe oh, I his know. name's not in. I did update the credits this morning, but uh, that might have happened what, after. I don't remember what time it happened, but it happened sometime between your stream yesterday and our oh, stream okay. this morning. So, Andrew, thank you so much for clicking that join button. Andrew, thank you. Thank you, Andrew. Yeah, I'm just so used to most people doing it during a stream. That it's like, it feels bad when it happens not during the stream. I know, and that's why like, I like to mention it. Yeah, for yeah. Sure, so that they can get a shout out as well. Because it does show up for us <laughs> at the start of the stream, so. Yeah. Uh, Tolbo with the super chat. I'm sure it'll pop up in a second. Uh, says, settling my outstanding coffee tab from Rob's Cafe. <laughs> oh, he was just joking. He was just joking with you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you were too kind. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the support. I know. I'll do another coffee soon. I know. I haven't done it for so long, but I told it. I said right from the start, I hate meetings. 
Thank you, Tobol. Thank you, thank you. I hate I hate meetings. Uh, and that's what Q and A's and those kind of like like I love the grind of like playing games, enjoying games, streaming. That's what drives my passion. Q and A's, those like browsing a Kickstarter page on a launch, those are fun, but those feel like a break, like going to a meeting and taking me away from doing the work that I like wanted to do at this job, you know? Mm -hmm. And I'm honest, like, you know, I don't want to do the cookie cutter YouTuber thing of like, nope, now it's time to do our unboxing and then we'll do up one playthrough this week. And then um, on the weekend, I, I have to browse a Kickstarter page and I got to talk about what's coming out on Kickstarter. And uh, then I got to do a behind the scenes discussion and like just the Q&A and like just schedule. And it's like, it gets boring, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't like to have scripted scheduled stuff really like that much, but uh, I appreciate the cafe thing. And what I was going to say is those meetings are fun when there's a reason to go to the meeting. I hate, I hated in the corporate world where there was just scheduled meetings to be scheduled. Every week, checking in with your boss. Every week, checking in with the team. Let's go do updates. Let's sit in a half hour team meeting. Let's go to a four hour team meeting. Let's do a company outing. Let's do a company this. Let's do an after hours that. It's like, no, it's just slowing down work getting done. Stop it. I came here to do work. I didn't come here for this crap. And that's how I feel. Um, so the coffee stuff is fun when I have some cool Kickstarters I'm interested in or something in the industry to talk about um, or something I want to get off my chest or something you guys so we can all chat about, you know, something that's interesting to the viewers of the channel or our audience here, our community. Um, so that's why I haven't done the coffee chats in a while. I literally every week, like I say, I look on crowdfunding and I'm like, snooze fest, um, bunch of trash getting canceled, not funded. It's just like, obviously there's nothing really going on. Uh, or more of the same. Oh, here's another Kickstarter for the same game. Just like, you know, some new art slapped on it. Okay, that's great. Yeah, been there, done that. Next. Mm -hmm. Like, I'll just buy that at retail because why would I pay three times the cost on Kickstarter? Stuff like that. Like, um, so yeah, it just hasn't motivated me. But I've been making a list of things I want to talk about in coffee chats. But then after a while, it's like not enough stuff that I care to do it. I just forget about that stuff. It doesn't matter anymore. And I just delete it. So mm -hmm. um, but that's why. But yes, I need to do more of them. Thank you, Tobold, for settling up your coffee tab so the cafe doesn't need to close permanently. Um, and it can stay in business. Competition's pretty rough out there for those cafes. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, coffee's everywhere, man. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, um, but I appreciate it. That's just the, there you go. That's the, the rant on why I don't, why I take a break. But I've explained that right from the start. Those coffee streams were like, here is meetings I'm going to schedule, but only when it like, it matters. And sometimes there's a lot going on. So scheduling one every week or every two weeks makes sense. But then for months, it's been dry. Like, yeah, and then it, and there was stuff around Gen Con to talk about, but I just thought, let's just do Gen Con streams to talk about all that stuff. Let's do Gen Con videos, you know, like it made sense. Yeah. I didn't want to just do coffee chats to talk about stuff coming to Gen Con and things. So You feel the same for Q&As as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've discussed that before. I love Q&As. So they are fun. To hear what you guys want yeah. to know. For me, they, they like I say, they, they break me out of the, like, the routines of like, okay, learning a game, practicing a game, setting up streams. You know, thumbnails, let's get it played, let's schedule it, let's have some fun in the chat, let's enjoy the game, play the game, you know, have fun. That's why I do this, right? Yeah. But then a QA and a is like, okay, a day when I could be doing any of those following things and getting through the giant pile of games that we want to play through, uh, a QA and a slows that down. It delays a day. There's only so many days in the week, so many days in the year, so many days in the month, whatever. Um, so if you did like a weekly Q and A, monthly Q and A, whatever, that's just taken away from the content I want to make. Mm -hmm. And I feel like people come to the channel for it cause that's the majority of what we do. I know some people love the Q and A's, but like, to be honest, that's, I hope that's not why you're here. It's just cause we did like a Q and A one time and you're like, man, this I, is the best. I don't think it, it's it, why it should be a are... special thing right, is what I'm trying to right. say. I think it also kind of mimics like what we're doing right now with yeah. the preamble that we have before yeah, yeah. where people can kind of, but it gives them more of a consolidated place that people can ask questions. Yeah, and, then they and the off-topic stuff. Yeah, and, and then they don't feel bad asking you a question in the middle of a nine-hour playthrough. I'll still try to make them feel bad about it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody in the live chat. Have we killed enough time uh, for all the late stragglers to show up or Is what? everyone's buddies here? I don't know. Oh, looks like looks like everyone's here. We do have a lack of the, the like button being hit, though, based on what I can see. Yeah, what the heck is that? We're almost at 60 viewers, and we got 19 likes. And there was, like, already, like, 10 likes before the stream started or something. <laughs> so if you haven't, hit you that like button. Freeloaders, you freeloaders. Except to bold you freeload. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, four more minutes for stragglers. Oh, okay. okay Thank you, Okay, we gotta Dragon. wait till quarter after. All right, sounds good. Sounds good. I'll drink some water while I wait. <laughs> Yes, 
I do need to schedule some kind of monthly Q and A. I always say it, and I always forget. And then the month just ha disappears. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was trying to do a very schedule. We were. All of a sudden, I'd be like, "Oh, has it been time to do another one?" And it's already the next month. And I look back when the last one was. I'm like, "Damn it!" So I would just name it that the previous month's Q and A, even though it's in like the first week of the next month. And uh, 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 no, you know, some people would comment. It was funny, but uh, I do but... think even if we did do a Q and A monthly, I still think the off-topic questions would flow during our chats. Yeah. And the other problem is to schedule it too. Is like I focus on the games we're playing and that we're scheduled, and I never know. There's so much unknown. I never know how many hours a single episode is going to be, let alone how many episodes a campaign or a game or how many times I'm going to want to play it on the channel. Because sometimes I don't know when I schedule that first stream. Sometimes I haven't even got through a first game off the stream yet to know how long it takes, how much I like it. Should I play any of the other variants in it? You know, should we play a solo stream, a dual stream? Should I get Kyle to come over and play this game? I have no idea. We play like some games, Dreams of Middle Earth. I was thinking when I think of Kyle, that's one of his favorites, but we never know. You, you go through those campaigns, you don't know when you're going to just end the campaign or when there's going to be another episode. Star Wars Imperial Assault, we had like an idea based on the sheet, but then it was like throwing in extra ones, I remember, and we're like, how are we supposed to plan this stuff? How am I supposed to schedule when a QA and a is going to happen, you know? When it's like, I don't know if this game's going to need to be played before we have to start playing the next one. Sometimes there's games we have to play because they're like, they arrive, publisher sends them, we want to get them out, we want to play them, I'm more interested. So it's like sometimes that just messes things. So it's hard. It's hard to just go, hmm, Q&A always on the first weekend or something like that. It just doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. Because something else might have shown up that week before. And we're like, no, no, no. This weekend is dedicated to this game. I don't give a crap. Q&A out. That's just how it works. And then I end up pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. Then, then one doesn't happen. So it's like priorities are the playthroughs. That's what drives the channel. That's what drives my passion. That's what we do. Oh, I think that's what they're here for. Well. Yeah. And that's why we can chat like this at the beginning, chat like this at the end, chat like this on breaks, flow times during the game. Do a little mix of it in there, mm -hmm. but yeah. Yeah, and you're right. And then it makes yeah. those Q&A special, and then yeah. people want to tune in. But yeah, there you, you go. Compile your questions. There you go. All right, kill enough time. Let's do this. <laughs> um, okay, this is Familiar Tales. Published, again, Plat Hat Games. Um, yeah, 8.0. Okay, so that's this rating. 2.86 weight. It's not like a entry level super light game by any means, but it is on the lower end because it's, it can be played with eight year olds. But my understanding is I would recommend also is you should have at least one kind of like adult gamer at the table, but it's definitely like a family game. You could play it like, or you can play with all adults like we do, uh, or, or like all, ad, all adults like we are. We're all adults, right? Right. Um, so yeah. We are called adults. I'll use that term loosely around here. Um, but anyways, uh, so we can play this game uh, with one to four players. We're going to play with two players, and there is a special kind of setup with two players, and I really appreciate this, where you do have to control all four characters all the time. I like an aftermath. As you played through it, even though if you didn't play with certain characters, they still got upgrades, they still kept up to date, so that you could jump in, jump out, switch characters, whatever you want to do, right? Mm -hmm. This game, though, you got to play all four characters right from the start. You can play like two-handed or whatever if you're playing with two players using two characters each. But they, the proper way that they explain to play is you're controlling all the characters. But the cool part, and I do appreciate this because I, I talk about this, I'm this type of player, that I don't want to manage two different hands in a deck building game. This is a deck building, dungeon crawling adventure game, okay? It may have the cutesy Disney type theme on it, but it has a lot of check boxes that are checked off by games like Gloomhaven, Jaws of the Lion. We're playing out of a book. We're adventuring through scenarios. It's got story. Um, and we're building our deck or hand of cards and making choices with those hands as we play them. But it also adds, you know, music, voice acted app. Uh, that's basically a web app through a website. We're going to go through. It's going to have multiple choice, you know, um, you know, branching paths. Um, and uh, it's got cutesy Disney kind of quality of art and look to it, uh, which is kind of neat. So oh, definitely targeted to like playing with the family. So if you have kids and you love playing like hardcore dungeon crawling adventure deck building games, whatever, uh, with stories and apps and whatever, this might be the one that gets your kids into that genre. Um, so yeah, so it might not be the most advanced thing you've seen us play on the channel, but like, I know there's some parents out there. I know like we wouldn't have all these ho hobby gamers in our hobby if we didn't get them while they're young. So, uh, Let's get them while they're young with this kind of game. So this, I love that these kind of exist. We're still going to have fun with it, just like we did with Aftermath. That felt kind of the same way. Yeah. But that did have kind of a darker tone to it. Um, but this one uh, definitely seems more 
kind of fun. But we'll see where it goes. I have no idea. We've never played, but. Uh, Osanan says, this is the first campaign game that you are playing that I finally get to play at the same time. We are through Arrow 1. Awesome. Osanan, how long gameplay time, roughly, would you estimate Arrow 1 took you? Just out of curiosity. Just out of curiosity. You don't have to be exact. You don't have to know exactly. You could say, I have no clue. You got lost in the game. That's an acceptable answer. I'm just curious. My goal today is maybe get through chapter one. I don't know how long it's going to take in real time. I don't know how long it's going to take in Rob's stream time. Um, obviously, we haven't even started playing yet, so time the clock hasn't started yet. Yeah, exactly. um, but we're going to interact with you guys. You guys are going to play along. We're going to do polls to make choices. We're going to listen to the app, read story to us. Um, we're going to puzzle solve. We're going to make choices buying cards for our decks, upgrading our decks, just like a deck building game would expect. We're going to craft items. Um, getting resources and stuff to try to upgrade our weapons and things. So it should be fun. All these check boxes, everything that's, I read and talk about this game, I remember it was like, this is exactly like the type of games I love to play. Mm -hmm. But it's like just aimed at you can have some kids at the table with you and play along with you, which is cool. Probably three to four hours, she says, but we are learning along the way. Yeah, we oh, are too. So that means that potentially we could get to. Well. Era, uh, three to four hours of gameplay in a board game translates to like six to seven hours of stream yeah, time. That's true. Especially if we're explaining the game and looking up rules and all that kind of stuff too on stream and discussing things and all that. Yeah. Um, interact with the chat and stuff. It's uh, still a good time though, but we'll see. If we can get through an era today, then technically we should be able to play the whole thing this weekend because we do have three streams scheduled. But I don't know if I want to push it that hard that we're like that streaming we're like... for like seven hours each, eight hours each day. I've been doing that with Hop and uh, and that's by myself with the chat, which helps that there's somebody there keeping me sane. Uh, many people who are maybe not sane themselves, but they're still together. We all make like kind of like a, almost a sane person running that game. But here I have you mm -hmm. and the chat, so we should be able to. This won't be hopefully as draining. Plus, like I said. This to me is like a weekend getaway. I'm so excited to play the same game each day and not have to like reread the rules. I probably should still for this game because we've never, never played it, but each morning kind of like reread oh, if there's like new rules that introduced. Yeah. But the rule book is only, uh, I feel like a 12 or something pages, uh, like 14 ish pages, 14 yeah. ish page rule book, normal size rule book. Um, and a lot of it's like set up and things. Um, so a lot of pictures and examples as well. Not a lot well, of examples. That's what I felt was kind of lacking. But it, I thought there was like an example for each little thing. I don't know. It felt like a normal Jerry Hawthorne rule book based on Aftermath and everything. I remember researching Aftermath and I was having trouble with that game. I remember then reading online. It's like, no, that's normal with his games. The rule books are kind of like the last thing they put together and it's always missing the most common things you would expect. Like, you know, I remember I, we were having questions about range attacks and line oh, of sight. Yeah. If you read the text in the book, it's like so short and it's like, well, yeah. yeah, but like I've played games before, so I have a question about this, 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 and this that aren't covered in the range section, which you think, which are always covered in every single game that has ranged line of sight combat. Like, yeah. I know it's aimed at children, but your rule book shouldn't be felt like it's written by children missing the most basic things. Like, but it feels like these rule books are written like, you already should know all that stuff. We're just going to put the stuff that's like special to our game in here, and we assume you've been gaming for 20 years. That's so you can tell it's written by somebody who's not like fresh set of eyes and, and that's like a, a letdown. But hopefully the app will help us out. We can click in the app to show us rules and things to help us along the way. You guys, if any of you have played this game, so Osana, I'm looking at you if you know what's going on and you notice we're like, huh, how does this work? Or we miss something or we look like we don't know what we're doing. Do not feel bad pointing it out. Do not feel bad going, guys, 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 that's not how it works. Go read page seven or go check out the stuff on enemy movement. You're doing it wrong. Feel free to do that because we're playing this all together. This is like I like I said, it's a getaway for me. This is like a vacation this weekend. It's a long weekend here in Canada. Happy Thanksgiving weekend to everyone who's in the Great White North. Um, but this is like we're having some fun with a lighter game that's not going to fry my brain, hopefully. And we're going to have some fun enjoying the story, enjoying the mechanics, learning the game, digging in. That's what we're doing. So that's what's happening. Just so you know. So if you ask me a rules question, I, I probably don't know the answer. We'll have to look it up. So we're all in this together today. I'm not, yeah, I'm not really like we're presenting the game, but this one is more of like a playthrough. Like I haven't pre-played it and I'm here to teach you it and show you it and present it. You will get that as you watch it, but I'm doing this one different. We are going to play through it, enjoy it, 
it's been out for months. There's probably other videos out there teaching you how to play it, reviewing it, um, playing through it, unboxing I'm assuming, it. unboxing, all that stuff. Not here. We, we're going to like play through this thing, strategically try to crush it and save the baby. Oh, we will. We must it. save the baby. And save the baby. Semper, hey. <laughs> Semper says, happy Thanksgiving from Ottawa. Happy oh, sorry to hear you're in Ottawa. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I've been to Ottawa a handful of times. Uh, some for board gaming, card gaming reasons, actually. Uh, yeah, good times. Oh, not that many playthroughs of this game. Oh. Uh, so that tells me two things. The game sucks, which probably doesn't based on ratings on this, and based on the past Flat Hat games we played, AKA, and Jerry Hawthorne games we played, and the way the game looks and stuff. B, uh, it's a campaign game which again, it scares most content creators away in board gaming because they're looking for the quick, short video to get clicks and move on to the next thing. Like one and done. Uh, or they have a giant backlog and they're just like, uh, nope, there's other stuff that's more priority and we got to play that and that's going to get us more clicks. And probably the real answer, Plat Hat Games didn't send out review copies in mass or didn't pay for any content. Because that's usually when you see a lot of content for something, it's paid for. Like, you know, companies reached out and they paid for them to make a preview. They paid for the, they sent them a copy, you know. Um, or there's hype around it. Like people, they feel that their audience cares about this type of game. So maybe a lot of the YouTube channels you watch, maybe they don't feel their audience cares about a cartoony, you know, campaign game. With a fox, a frog, and a fairy, and a rock golem trying to save a baby. Which probably I shouldn't play for my channel based on that, but you know what? I don't give a crap. I'm gonna play what I'm gonna have fun with, and we're gonna have fun with this one. We do have a lot of family. I know we do. I know uh, we're we have a family. We, yeah. Like I, I wish this game existed uh, four or five years ago to play with my daughter. Mm. I tried to get her to play Mice and Mystics back then, but she refused. <laughs> um, but I thought she would love it. This game I wish existed because I think she would love this. I know she would love this. She'd love all those games. Mm -hmm. I just have to now chain her down. You know, handcuff her to the to the chair and cut the internet. Like, yeah, cut the internet, <laughs> uninstall her video games. Uh, you know, uh, take her phone away, lock it in a fridge in the freezer or something. I don't know. And then, uh, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, anything else I need to look at here? Oh yes, one thing I want to note. If you want to know more about this game, I've linked this page down in the video description. This is Plat Hat Games' website about the game, which I love when companies actually collect all their information here. If you, it tells you stop before you play, we go to this web app. This is the one that starts the game, teaches you some stuff. Uh, you can link to the free companion app. You can download it on Windows or Mac, locally to your computer. Oh, uh, Scott. Scott, th thank you. Scott, thank you for the gifted membership. Uh, Fernando. Welcome to becoming a member. Thanks to Scott for that. We appreciate the support. God, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Fernando, congratulations. Yeah. Uh, so, Familiar Tales rule books here. Um, there's uh, the campaign journal and character safe sheet if you need to print them all here. But I love way all this information, like you don't have to dig. I don't have to go through like, you know, 16 clicks looking for stuff that expands. It's like all right here at the top. Like they're not afraid to be like, here's the stuff you need for the game. And all the info's here. So I've linked this down below. If you want to look into this game anymore, you want to open the rule book while we play along and help us with it, feel free to get involved. You know, if you're curious about a rule and you're like, ah, I don't want to interrupt them. They're in the middle of something. I want to know something. I missed it. You know, the rule book's linked in the video description. Just go to the, this webpage and you can crack open the rule book. Uh, you, can d you, you can play around in the app, like uh, download the app or just open it in your web browser and play around in it. Check it out if you want to see what it's all about. Um, but supposedly it cloud saves your stuff if you're playing through the web browser and things and you can open it on any device that has a web browser supposedly I don't know what spec of web browser you need because it definitely didn't work on my uh, you know Windows 95 PC with Netscape Navigator I tried but it just like wouldn't work properly so they lied because they said it worked on any web browser but that's a bunch of BS um, very disappointed in that very disappointed so I, I want a refund but other than that it supposedly works on more newer devices with web browsers but again you can download it fully on windows or mac and play like offline i think is the intention there with full music and voice and all that stuff so all that's there for you guys just so you know oh yeah all right here it is game in a book 
This is our location book. We have the rule book nearby, but there's yeah. no there's no like storybook. Storybook is the app in this game, which reminds me of another game we'll probably be playing in the near future when it arrives, uh, which we have played before on the channel is Lands of Galzir, um, which it reminds me of the web app kind of idea. It reminds me of that game too. That's all in a web app, like not an Android app, not an iOS app. You just play it in a browser and it just caches all your stuff, which is kind of cool. Um, yes, Keith, you have to upgrade your BlackBerry supposedly. I, I don't know. I, I know, such a letdown, such a letdown. I just want to quickly uh, shout out Brian S here, who no, says, don't. Please, Rob, no, please, never do. Hello, Rob and Mel. No, I'm no. going to get sentimental for a moment. As you play another Jerry Hawthorne title, it takes me back to Aftermath. Uh, Aftermath is how I got hooked on your channel, oh. led me to becoming a member of this crazy, fun family, and to be a producer. Uh, glad to see this one on the channel. Brian, thank you so much. So all, if I could go back in time, all we have to do is not <laughs> not play Aftermath. And, and then we we'll, never would have had Brian S. And we don't have Brian. The dad jokes. Yeah, and the end of the episode recaps oh, yes. and him having fun in our, our Discord. Man, I wish I had a time machine. That's the way to get rid of me. We must go back. I'm just joking, Brian. Brian, thank you, thank you. I love you, buddy. I appreciate you. you. You're one of the best members of our community. You, you're, you've been there. You've been solid ever since. I love it. Can't wait to meet you at some point at a convention. Um, but yeah. I predict your sense of humor will be a good time. <laughs> and uh, we need that around here because yes. it's super serious here at Rob's Gaming Table. So it's good oh, to have it's good to have some, uh, you know, some silliness from you uh, mixed in every now and then because it's, it's all business here. All right. I think the reason the dad joke channel became a thing. Yeah, yeah. Is it was Brian. Brian. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That's cool. We love those sentimental messages when you guys say like how you found us or something yeah, yeah. reminds you of. The first time. Because I feel like Brian's been here way longer than like, like that. Too. But maybe we played after but after we played during the pandemic, right? I, I don't Brian know. Probably I don't remember us. anything before the <laughs> pandemic. That was a whole different world. That was before we got into the bunker mm. and uh everything. We built the bunker That's in our true. backyard and locked ourselves in. So yeah. we came out and the world was still there. I I don't know, it's weird. I thought it was everything was gonna end. I basically built the bunker and prepared everything after playing like Fallout on PlayStation. I thought that's what was gonna happen. So I, I built my vault and and yeah. Anyways, all Anyways, right. Sorry. Okay. I just wanted to say that because that was very sweet. Thank you, Brian. That's cool, Brian. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, Yeah. Where do we start? Mel, do we do all the setup? Yeah. Okay. Well. Can you pass that clipboard to you? Oh, yeah. So uh, in this game, they have this little log, this journal, campaign journal. I'm assuming we should probably be writing stuff on here, but oh, I don't yeah, know. Oh, yeah. I wanted to make sure for sure that's who we were playing. Uh, but... but we'll start through the app, actually, because that website did say just start at familiar games, familiartalesgame.com or whatever it was, which is this app I have open, basically. Um, so, yeah, we'll start a new game. And we need a new game name. It says, uh, write this name on your campaign journal. Mm, I know what it's going to do here. I should probably... I need a... Um, I don't know if we care what the name's called. Um, I'll just put like They're Rob's gaming table. To put this on here. But the problem is, I know what it's going to do. It's going to try to like cache us a code to back it up online, and then people can like load it with that same code. So I'm just going to like hide it. Oh, so that they can see. I know nobody should, but everybody like you can't be cool in this world without haters. So we officially succeeded because we have haters. So I just want to make sure those haters don't log into our game and start messing it up. So can the, you next, imagine? the next time we play, we go in and we're like, "What the hell's going on?" We're not an era whatever. <laughs> we didn't kill the baby. Pontus, we have not started. You are just on time. We have not hit the start new game yet. So I'm just going to go Roz Gaming Table. Okay, let's see what happens. Welcome to a new game of Familiar Tales. Let's see. Here, we'll go like this. Uh, first, let's set up your game. After setup, you'll have the option of going through the digital tutorial to learn the game rules. Might as well, right? Sure. Have you assembled familiar the familiar dials, built the deck boxes, and filled them according to the rulebook? Yeah, I did that like a week and a half ago. Okay. Um, let's say yes. Yeah, then next page was important. Your unique game code is... Oh, I uh, see. E-R-Y-A-N-I-S... A W E S O M E. And then it says, write this down on the campaign journal so that if your game code gets deleted, you can load the online backup. So I'm going to. Little... Yeah, I'm going to save it like in my little folder. Uh, one sec, one sec, guys. Just in case. I don't know. 
Probably shouldn't save it on the same computer as the thing, but uh, whatever. I'll cloud save it after. See ya, Mark. Oh yeah, Mark is going to play this, so doesn't want to be... Yeah, yeah, no spoilers. I later, forgot Mark. to say that. Spoiler warning, of course. We are going through this game, we're spoiling everything. But obviously, if you want to see how the game works, and see what we're thinking, how, how, how it even flows, you obviously got to watch, like, a turn or so. So maybe stick around for, like, the first adventure in the book part, like, first page or whatever. That'll probably give an idea of how the mechanics work, how the flow of the game works, and see if it's for you, because obviously that flow of the game is going to continue through the whole campaign. So if you're, like, if you're watching the first, like, hour-ish of the stream, and you're like, man, this looks like a snooze fest, looks boring, it could be for two reasons. The game's not for you, or... Like any ca good campaign game should, it should ramp up, give you more rules, more options, and get more interesting as it goes. So, but just understand you'll probably be doing the main game loop over and over again for many hours. So, um, yeah. That's the deal. All right. I wrote it down. Would you like the app to help you set up your campaign? Sure, because we may have missed stuff. Okay. Starting campaign, how many players will be in your campaign? We're going to say two. Each player chooses two familiars to control. Each player will form one skill deck the following way. Collect the starting skill cards for both your familiars and banish the following cards. Do you have them? I Put them in the box that's marked with X. That's what the banish deck is. Collect so... the starting skill cards for skill cards, both your familiars. So what we've done, you jam. So I have these two familiars. I jam both their decks together. And then I took out two Reckless, two Assist, and one Focus from my deck. Mel should have done the same. I did. And we put them in the Banish box, which is a great save mechanism in this game. They have little tuck boxes. There's one for each character to save your stuff quickly between games. The Banish box, when you throw stuff away. There's also a box for Era 2 and a box for Era 3 that you'll pull stuff out of, I'm assuming, when we get to that point in the story. Assuming we didn't completely fail before then. Um, shuffle the remaining single cards together. Uh, both familiars to get uh, to form your skill deck. Choose one of your familiars, and don't drop your cards on the floor. Um, one of your familiars, and return your new skill deck to its deck box. Oh, so we only use one box to save. Is what oh, that's saying. fine. But right now we're just we're gonna return it to the box. No, no, no. I'll keep it out, but because we're gonna play right away. But maybe there's some trick there. Whatever. Let's keep going. Okay, set all the dials on the sideboard to zero. Done. So there's a little misfortune and a discontent sideboard, which is basically like, you know, the baby's happy or sad, and then the misfortunes, like, I guess some bad things happen, and we're trying to avoid that according to the rule book. Makes sense. Uh, set each familiar's power dial to zero, and it's uh, life dial to the highest number. So my froggy here is at six and zero. And my rock golem guy is at eight and zero. Okay. Blaze is at seven and zero, and Flicker is at six and zero. Okay. Remove the Era One campaign journal sheet from the campaign journal pad and record which players are controlling which familiars in the space provided. Done. Again, we're going to be playing this straight for three days, not cleaning up the table, not putting the game away, so we don't care right now. But at some point, we'll save the game. But we always could. The cool part about streaming it and it recorded, uh, we could always just look back at one of the streams to see, oh, what character are we playing if we ever took like a long break? Uh, but yeah, it, we'll kind of know. I think after playing a character for three days, I'll remember. Yeah, that. yeah. You're, you're, you're bonded. <laughs> uh, fill in the first location bubble labeled Start Chapter One on the travel map, located on the Era One campaign journal. And would you like the app to help you set up your game? Sure, why not? Just double check. Uh, set the location book and the chance die in the center of the play area. Leave room for the book to lie flat when open. Done. Uh, place the sideboard to the right of the location book. Uh, no, I want it to the left. It, we'll Screw you, man. <laughs> I put it where I want it. Um, all right. And then should remain wherever they were at the end. Oh, uh, the dials should be the same as when you last played. If this is the first game, they're at zero. Set the discontent key card for the current era on its designated slot on the sideboard. So there'll be a new one later, obviously. Oh, okay. Place the child character card for the current era next to the sideboard. Can I see that? Okay, I don't know which side, but... 
the baby. Carrie, when a familiar that shares a space with the baby performs a move action, they may choose to carry, in brackets move, the baby, along with them when carrying the baby. All skill cards played for that move action are treated as if they have only one movement point. The baby is heavy. Cool. Uh, create a face up pile of artifact item cards, which we've done somewhere. Is it these? The ones yes. with the book? Yes. Uh, they have a book symbol on the back of them. Okay, face up, done. Create a face up pile of fatigue skill cards, done. These are like kind of like in a deck building game, you know, your dead cards you get that are like kind of annoying. They're not as good as your regular cards. Um, we'll see those later. Uh, shuffle all other available skill cards, those not in the deck box, to form a training deck. We did that here. Uh, place it face down to reach all players. We reveal the top four cards of the deck. Place them in the training row. Shuffle all the available item cards with the craft symbol on the back. Uh, we did that here. Have a little row of four of them. Sort the various tokens into separate supply piles within reach of all players. Oh, those other standees are tokens too. Okay. Oh, I have them. They're fine. They're in there. Here. Yeah, so we just put it all in that container there. I don't know what they all do for sure yet, but we'll see. Uh, each player collects the character's card, dashboard, and deck box for each of their familiars. The dashboard dial should remain wherever they were at the end of your last game session. If this is your first time playing, power should be set to zero and life should be set to the highest number. Each player removes the skill cards from their familiar deck box, shuffles them to form their skill deck's draw pile, and draws up to a hand of five cards. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Got my five cards down here. Okay. Uh, anything else? Continue. Each player removes all the item cards from their familiar deck box and equips them to the respective familiars and places them in the respective familiar stashes. So face up is equipped. A stash would be like a face down little pile you're building of things that aren't equipped. You're allowed to equip one melee and or range. No, one melee or range weapon. Sorry. One, um, uh, like armor thing, like body slot, and then there's something else, uh, uh, yeah, an accessory, like a ring slot, and then there's as many little, um, little bag items. I always forget what consumables. The, the consumables, trinkets, whatever. Um, and yeah, uh, if this isn't your first time playing, familiars may also have affliction tokens, marks of devotion, and or resource tokens in their deck boxes. Any affliction tokens or marks of devotion are applied to that familiar, and any resource tokens belong to that familiar. Give the campaign journal and a pencil to a player. Got You're it. welcome. I got it. Uh, that player will manage the campaign journal as instructed during gameplay. That's Mel's job. Okay. Choose turn order. Um... Do we just play in the order we have them on the table? We'll switch it to match, I, think, I though, guess. I in the book, though, it does say if you're controlling two players, it should be like one, 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 one. Oh, okay, right? okay. And I think that's for the way that we have our cards. I don't know. First turn is you. Second turn's me. Third turn's you. Fourth turn's me. We'll just go with that? Sure. Yeah. Any, any suggestions? Any, any tips? Anything? Let's see. Oh. Man, I play with the font size in this app and like thought I had it, but like some of the font size variable doesn't actually affect a lot of the text in the app, which is kind of lame. But that says decide who will be playing as each familiar and who will be the first player. It says for two to three players, set so that the uh, those playing as multiple familiars don't play consecutive turns. And for one player, do it how you want. <laughs> okay, so we have it good, I think. Yeah, okay. Unless somebody thinks that somebody else should go first, but I don't and that know. continue button doesn't work. Okay, cool. Let's go. What? Oh, we broke it. Oh, I see. It's because I got to click the X first. I see. Oh. I got it. Okay. Setup guide. Consult the travel map on the campaign journal. Find the code next to the last location bubble that was filled in on the map. Enter this code below. If this is your first game, the correct code is 101. Mm -hmm. Type in entry below. So I think this might be story time. Where's our little headphone earbud thingies? Let's do it. That was correct on turn order. Awesome. Okay. Uh, one, zero, one. 
Oh, okay, you can play oh, okay. it. It says skipping. Yeah, all right. Let's see, hold on, hold on. So if I mess with text size, ooh, let's go like 26 or something. Now this is an improvement that could be made is I should be able to hear audio and some kind of audio test while I'm adjusting volumes because it's pointless to mess with volumes in here and then, you know, have to go to other pages to try to play samples and find a lame. But I guess we could mute the music. I don't hear any music. I don't know if we should. What's this? Danger? Mm -hmm. Blaze's turn. Yeah, see the way I changed the text size, but it doesn't affect like headers and stuff, which is kind of lame, like, but whatever. It's, yeah. No, oh, we can't hear that. So let's see if I can make us hear that. Uh... Hmm. Why is it not listed? Oh my god, it's ready now. Okay. No, oh, it's sucky. No, I'll just read through some of the chat here. Let's see. Oh, Jordan says, I found the channel when trying to learn too many bones during the early pandemic. So I was watching old playthroughs. Awesome, Jordan. And I think Tara said Seventh Continent was how Tara found the channel. Cool. Jim, hello. Uh, did I enjoy painting these characters? I did. The These little characters are, um, yeah, they were fun. The enemies I did more in like a batch quick speed paint, but these ones I did a little bit more. Uh, cool. So, a little more. fortunately, if you can stop, I'm just going to uh, restart. One sec, guys. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Uh, let's go like this. All right, we should be back. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, I think it's good. Yeah, well, we'll see. Okay, I'm going to play the music and hopefully we can hear it. Uh, or you guys can hear it also. Let's see over the countryside, as oh, did the, the night hung heavy over the countryside, as did the dark rain clouds that traversed the sky. The land was hilly and green, and mostly uninhabited, save for a modest cottage that was little more than a single room. Lightning crashed, as the sound of frantic pounding came from outside the cottage door. Old Marilius called out, Hold on, hold on! Goodness me! The old wizard crawled out of bed and found his robe. But where was his hat? No matter. He looked at the four familiars who served as servants, pupils, and in many ways, adopted children. Flicker, will you get us some light? Blaze and Gribbet, be on guard for trouble. Uh, chalk... Uh... The old man looked at the stone golem, which stared vacantly at a wall. <sighs> Tweets, the bird that acted as Chalk's voice, was nowhere to be seen. You, uh, you just keep looking pretty. <laughs> Flicker flipped from candle to candle, setting each alight. Slowly, the cottage door became bathed in an orange glow. Piles of books and all manner of... Sorry, I didn't know if it would... No. Oh, but where was his hat? No matter. He looked at the four familiar. <laughs> there with Flicker flit from candle to candle, setting each alight. Slowly, the cottage door became bathed in an orange glow. Piles of books and all manner of knickknacks and curios lay in heaps on shelves, tables, and the floor. 
Again, there was a frantic pounding at the door, and now they could hear the sound of a wailing infant. Goodness me, a baby? The wizard shook his head. At this hour? In this weather? And he threw open the door, and there was a woman hidden in a soaked cloak and robes, and in her arms was a swaddling babe. Marilius gasped. You? Good gracious! Get inside at once! But the woman shook her head. There is no time. Even now, Lord Parrish's agents close in on my heels. Marilius, I feel all may be lost. Please, my daughter, you must take her. And she thrust the infant at the old man. <laughs> Gribbert chuckled and shook his head at this, for he knew children made Marilius uncomfortable, and he would never accept. Uh, yes, of course. And much to the shock of the familiars, he scooped the babe from the woman's arms. In the distance, dogs barked. They have found me. She took several steps from the door, then turned back. Lightning crashed, and for the first time the familiars could see her anguished face. Please, Master Wizard, hide her well, for all of Principalia may very well depend on her. Perish shall never have her. And Marilius held up a fist to show it was a solemn oath. And then the woman was gone, lost to the night. And the wizard slammed the door shut. Quickly now, all of you. The familiars had never seen Marilius looking so anxious before. If her pursuers were this close, then they will know where she was headed. We have minutes before they arrive. Mm. No, no, uh, don't worry. I shall hold them off easily enough. But the babe cannot remain here. Head for the Witchwood. Hide yourselves and wait for me to find you. What questions do you have before you go? All right. Uh, I guess I'm going to play music in the background. I don't know how loud that is for you guys, but uh... but yeah, suppose they had a whole voice acting team hired for this. They have like uh, an audio guy, and um, yeah, they got like music put together for like all the different uh, moods and scenarios of the game and stuff, uh, which is cool. But uh, I see Mike T in there is new to using YouTube, uh, so let me just do the but, following. Uh, let me just do the following to help any of you out that think we look blurry on any device you're watching. Either A, buy better internet, B, buy a better device to watch us on, or C, because YouTube sucks sometimes. Uh, click this little, oh, you don't see that? Of course you don't. Why does it do that? Uh, click this little gear icon if you're watching on whatever device you're watching on, because sometimes YouTube will put it in auto resolution based on how fast your device is processing your data or how quickly your internet or your Wi-Fi is serving the data to your device. So click on this and you'll see the quality setting here. Very important. That's why I put the image at the start of the stream, uh, stream to help people out because I see this happens all the time. When I'm trying to watch a YouTube video at 4K sometimes, it like doesn't kick out of like 720p or 360p sometimes for weird reasons. Um, but you can go here and just force it to the highest resolution you want to watch it at, even up to 1440p. Um, so if you're watching on like a 4K TV or a 1440p computer monitor or phone or something, uh, you can decide how nice you want it to look. But if it's blurry, uh, you need to fix it. Do I'm not fixing it for you. I can't. Otherwise, that would be hacking. Okay? <laughs> um, so not happening. Okay? Pro tip. Pro tip. Spread the word. Okay? Spread the word. Um, are you guys saying hi to yourself in the chat or something? Is that what's happening? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I thought somebody would do it. Uh, hopefully that helps somebody out. There you go. <laughs> I think the chat's also saying they weren't hearing any music. I wasn't hearing any music either. We were just hearing some like background, like I could hear it during it. You could. Oh, it, not it was anymore. Like sound effects, not oh, necessarily okay. music that I could hear. Yeah, there's like voiceover volume and music volume. But just let me know if like all of a sudden there's like loud music and you guys like I'm listening in a little earbud here, but like I might not hear it perfectly or not, I might not be paying attention. And I'm gonna take the earbud out sometimes, so I'll totally forget. But all right, so there was some options. Okay, dangers at zero. We're gonna click next. Yeah, see, like, I make the text bigger, but the text in the buttons obviously are locked, so. I'll just get my glasses. It's fine. Uh, so this says, who was that woman? So we can, I guess, you may ask Marilis 
That's the wizard guy, right? Questions before you leave, but time is short. Oh, so we probably can't ask all of them. It'll probably kick us. Yeah, there's an end questions. So we can ask, who was that woman? Do we really care? I don't know. Who is this child? I mean, it's, that's it's kind of baby. important. It's the baby. Who is Lord Parrish? What should we know about the Witchwood? And how will you find us? Mel, just pick one. What do you want to know? I would want to know about the baby. Who is the child? It's Grogu. <laughs> oh, that's different. Okay. Uh, this precious thing is none other than the princess of Principalia. Oh, we're taking care of a princess. Oh, I guess I could have clicked play here. This precious thing is none other than the princess of Principalia. Principalia. Okay. Okay. Oh, we could ask it again? No, no, this no. should be disappearing. All right. What should Probably we Probably what should we know about the Witchwood, Okay, right? yeah. Control plus help. Or, or control press scroll wheel, right? No. Let me see. Okay. I could do this. There's like control plus plus, which will do this. Oh. But again, see the way the back button text literally doesn't change? Because yeah. it's like hard coded. It's, it's not like tied to the size variables or whatever, right? So it doesn't call back to them. So that's where we're getting what we get. Getting what we get, guys. This is what you get, okay? Well, at least it reads to us and, and not always accurately. So just listening is probably yeah, better. Like maybe I can go like zoom in a more. I don't know. I'll try this. That's better for me. Yeah, yeah. But we'll see when it gets options. Yeah. Let's try like this for now and see. It might be more scrolling. We might not see all the information on the screen we want to see. But we'll try this. Growing pains. Growing pains. Okay, here we go. It is a foul wood that mirrors the quality of its occupant's heart. Do not go far, and should you find a house among those twisted trees, by all that is holy, shun it and go no closer. Don't go to the house so in the wood. We gotta remember that when we're presented with a house on Monday. <laughs> no, I'm sure it's soon. Check the map. You'll see where the woods are, the witch wood is. Uh... Is it soon? I don't know. Into the Woods is chapter Just two. Just look, the Witchwood right here. Oh, I was Witch thinking of like all the names across. Come on, man. Okay, so it's in chapter two. We're there's in a the cottage. There's a cottage. We're in the Hacklebacks. The cottage in the woods. Don't go there. Wherever this is here. Okay, so that is in chapter two. <laughs> don't go there. Remind us. Remind us in chapter two, 17 hours from now. Don't not go, to go in there. that cottage. Shun it. Yeah. Shun it. Run away. Mike, did you get your problem fixed? <laughs> Do we look sharper now? Do we look better? Can you see me looking into my eyes? Nope. I'm going to do this all day. Oh, there. Yeah, it is bigger now. Okay, cool. Okay. But still, it's like, maybe I should make this text smaller now. So right now. Oh, let's do like this. Let's go back to like that. Oh, that works for Mike. Okay, perfect. Awesome. Uh, who was that woman, maybe? And why was Do she... I care? I know, I don't really care. Like, about... I don't want to ask everything because the same time is precious. Yeah. Great. Mike, what do you want to know? Mike, do you want to know any of this stuff? What do you, what do you want to know? Now that you can actually see it. <laughs> <laughs> um... Anyone else? Anyone else want to know anything before we end questions? Feel free to speak up. <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, I'm afraid. Like, does it matter? What matters? I don't know. Yogi, that's not an option. <laughs> Tolbold wants to know who is Lord Parrish. Okay. Okay. I'm in. Grip it, nose, don't you, lad? Lord Parrish is the royal advisor. The scoundrel had me fired from my position as royal magician. No doubt to hide his own evil doings. 
Oh, yeah, so shady. He, so he used to work. Well, I don't know who to trust. Do we trust this wizard guy? I don't know. We are his familiars, right? So. Oh, that was all we could ask. Oh, wow. Okay, it's done. That was it. Here we go. In the distance came the sound of baying dogs. There is no more time for questions. Marilius barred the door, then opened the back window and beckoned them over. Hurry, hurry, my friends. Flee to the Witchwood and wait for me there. And so they abandoned the hut they had known for years, as on the horizon the sun began to set. The rain had stopped, the thunder was retreating, and everything seemed covered in endless drear. Gribbert moaned. The Witchwood seems very far away. We, we had better hurry. There was a distant chirping, and Tweets, Chalk's other half, flapped down and landed on one of the golem's broad shoulders. Chapter 1 objectives, flee across the, silver, uh, the silvering stream. Objective 2, find refuge for the night in the old mill. 3, barricade the old mill from enemies and build a fire to warm and soothe the bebe. And you can click on some stuff. This one says the familiars must protect the bebe. See, the text didn't change in this thing either. Uh, and, and provide for her. The baby is represented by a token depicting a baby. And has a card with instructions for how to carry the baby. See, also carry. During the action phase of its turn, a familiar can carry a heavy object it is sharing space with as it conducts a move action. When carrying, all skill cards played to move count as having the value of one. Place the heavy object on the space the familiar ends its move in. Chalk has an ability that allows it to carry heavy objects without any movement penalty. See also, wow, it's just like a little wiki. This is cool. Uh, action phase, familiar, familiar turn, heavy objects, map, space, move, skill. I appreciate That's this. That's cool. I, like I appreciate that. that a lot. I love that stuff. Okay, turn to page three of the location book. Follow the starting setup instructions on that page. There's a great part with that stuff is like you take a break for three weeks, you get together with your gaming group to play again, and they're like, you come across something, you're like, oh, how does that work? We haven't even seen that yet, or we haven't seen it since, you know, a month ago. And it's like, oh, okay, cool. Click, refresh, there you go. Mm -hmm. uh, I like that a lot. Okay, Mel turned to page three. We did. Oh, we didn't do any startup instructions, though, or setting. setting. Follow the starting setup instructions on that page, which are here, and it says, place the baby and familiars on the flag space. Uh, that is here. So this is the rock golem guy. I don't know if you showed all these off no, I only before I had to kill the stream. No, but, uh, only the two. Oops, there's this golem guy. <laughs> That's uh, chalk. Oh, did I chip off something when I was painting it? Like you missed an eyeball or I chipped off an eyeball. No, I think it's... Oh, did I miss He's it? winking at me. It might have... I just noticed. I was like, what happened? I thought I wrecked it when I was, I was uh, varnishing them. but maybe... I'll fix it. Yeah. I don't know. I'm like, that's Did I miss one? You know, unless I was going <laughs> to... It's fine. I don't care that much, but I just noticed because I was staring at the card before he started and I saw his Weird. little blue eyes looking at me. It's unique. It's unique. I don't know what happened there. And then he's winking, that's all. And then we got this little frog archer guy, which you know I had to play. This is uh, Gribbit. Gribbert. Robert. Also very tiny. These are very tiny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not as bad as like Destiny's, but they're pretty small. Yeah. Some of them. This is Blaze. That looks cool. Yeah. Blaze is the little uh, knife wielding murdering fox. Yeah. I'm assuming based on his uh, ability in uh, might tests and his weapon. Not the best. Sorry. Not the best on this one, but I did have fun painting the that rainbow behind cool. her. But the yellow her on her face wasn't like I wasn't oh, super happy with I see. it. Yeah, it needed to be brighter, needed, probably. Right. Yeah. But that's, that's okay. Fine. And then she got some flaming hair, but she was fun. This is Flicker. Cool. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. It adds character. Exactly. It That's does. True. I don't know what happened there. Either I missed it, <laughs> but we're going to say he's unique. Yeah. Okay. Just <laughs> kidding. It's all good. I don't care. But I just noticed when I was holding up to the camera, I wouldn't notice if I didn't pick it up and zoom it in. Uh, all right. So then it says generate an encounter of two unsavory. Oh, I guess we can take this over now. What does that mean? Generate an encounter. That is, we need. Go to draw from a deck or something? No, no. I think the encounter is like we're setting these guys up here. I see the rule book. Yeah. I just want to make sure. I know enemies go at this little claw space first. I know that. 
But what does it mean by generate an encounter? These are the guys we're going to be fighting. Again, I use a lot of speed paints for these guys just to be quick. So it says, players will often encounter enemies on a location book page whenever instructed to generate an enemy encounter to the following. The app or location book will instruct you how many of which enemies you are to generate with an, uh, an encounter with. Collect the figures slash standees or tokens for those enemies. Unless instructed, otherwise place those enemies on the enemy entry space on the page map. If there is more than one enemy on the entry space, divide the enemies as equally as possible between each enemy entry space. Review the encounters section of the page. If any of the enemy figures being put into play have life tracks in that section, place an enemy life marker on the highest numbered spaces. The shapes of the bases of each figure will match up with one of the life tracks so that you can track how much life each figure has. Occasionally, you'll be instructed to generate a number of enemies that is less than the number of life tracks for the enemy type. In these cases, always start the topmost enemy life track and work your way down, placing the enemy figures with the base shapes that correspond to those life tracks. Continue playing. You will not resolve an enemy turn until instructed to do so. Okay, so in this case, we have circle and square. I'm gonna put these on here, like so. Cool. Would you like the app to teach you how to play? I mean, I think we probably should. It probably won't be long. Uh, tutorial. Welcome to the familiar tutorial, a page, familiar tales tutorial. Turn to page three in the location book. Done. Do I need to scroll here or something? No. Complete the first step, uh, starting setup on page three. Place the baby token. Okay, we just did that. Yeah. Next, so the starting setup, generate an encounter. Oh, it's, it's all right here. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, man. Okay. Yep, you just did that. I just did that. Okay, perfect. That's easy. Okay. Press done above. And continue. Oh, okay. No. Oh. But it told us to go read that thing first. Uh, are you sure you want to end the tutorial? Oh, oh, what's going on? Click. Press done. Oh, press done now. Yeah. Okay. The page goal is at the top of the app screen. Uh, okay. For this page, all familiars and the baby must reach the exit space. Enemies in play, when you leave the page, you will gain one misfortune on the sideboard. You can't lose on most pages in Familiar Tales. Oh, there's music playing. Hold on. I don't have my phone in. Sorry. Oh, loud music? Sorry, guys. Crap. Oh, yeah. Now I'm here. I took my headphone out. No, but it's too loud. Oh, stop. How do I do it? I can't go to the settings. It's pretty epic. Sorry, I took my headphone out because I thought it wasn't going to read anything. How about now? I, it's probably going to play the whole time. We could probably just turn it off. Yeah, I probably should, right? Okay. Yeah, because it's going to... I don't like listening to well, music when people are talking. Now we can't hear it, Rob. Yeah, yeah, because we muted it now. But I want it to be like in the background, if at all. But I also don't want it to get copyright strikes because we're playing some copyright music or something. I hope Plat Hat Games doesn't do that, but you know what I mean? Um, who knows? Like, I don't know where they got their music from. So. Better without music. Yeah, I, th I think so too, especially yeah. with talking. We don't want to hear music and talking. I hate that. Yeah. Okay, I'll just click mute, which hopefully just mutes the music. But I could actually, let me just do this. Oh, hey, set it back. Oh, you piece of crap. Oh, it just, okay. Okay, yeah, okay. okay, that is linked. Okay, perfect. So I had to end the tutorial though to do that, so that sucks. Uh, get all familiars in the baby to the exit space, okay. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Wish I could go back to the tutorial. Hmm. What if you hit the back arrow? Will that just bring you? Oh, oh, continue. Oh, this was the one I was playing around before. I was you oh, no, no. Go back. Oh, my God. Load. Ah, that sucks. Oh, well.
Would you like the app to help you set up your game? No. Come on, man. Yeah, I couldn't mess with settings or mute the music while the tutorial was open. That sucks. Okay. That's me. Anyways. Um, type in the entry number below. Okay. Let's... Okay, I guess we'll just play and then see if... Yeah, play based on what we read from a rule book this morning and a couple days ago, and we'll see how it works. That sucks. Okay, I whatever. guess you could click fast through click again, fast like if through. you started no, again. No, I'm not going to do that. Oh, okay. We'll just try our best. Who cares? Uh, okay. So, uh, we have cards in hand, so we just start doing things? Yeah, so it is uh, Blaze's turn. Oh, okay. Bla okay, yeah, it tells you the turn in the app. I see. Okay, look at what cards I have going on here. Oh, you can skip a turn. Interesting. I don't know why. Maybe, maybe you've got no cards or, or something. Or maybe something makes you skip a turn. Uh, you may discard one card from the training row and look at the top three cards of the training deck and add them to the row. Okay, let's see. I have some pretty good movement here. Two, two, three, two, two. Uh, Blaze is uh, melee. One, two, three, so four. So on the cards, just so we know. Um, okay. Yeah, of course. Oh, okay. because we restarted? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, good times. Not on the screen. No. Okay. Bear with me. Okay, so on cards, uh, basically how they're laid out, multi-use cards here, you play a card for a type of skill test. So we could do might skill test, agility skill test, uh, resilience I think it is, or something. Uh, yeah, I think and so. then insight. These tests all pertain to different things. This is kind of like melee attack time, or or when we have to do a might test. This is like range attack time, or whenever some agility tests based in the story happens. Um, this is like defending against enemy attacks, and this is like foraging or caring for the baby. I think this is movement. You can spend a card for movement points. You can spend as many cards as you want. When you play a card, it has an exclamation point. You get to do this little bonus action up here, which I like a lot. Um, and some cards. You could also just play them for their action. So there's a whole bunch of actions in the game you can do on your turn. Um, right here on the reference sheet, tons of options, but based on what cards you have and what's available and what you need to do, you could do anything from moving, melee attacking, range, equipping items from your stash, foraging, which is collecting resources, doing that focus test, or uh, insight test, sorry. Looks like a focus symbol. Uh, care, lower discontent, which is like trying to please the baby. Um, trade, share resources between each other, but supposedly your danger goes up when you do that, which is kind of like don't trade very often. Craft, making a new item, train, gain a new skill card, special action, which will be on the cards. And then there's some of the symbols like danger will go up in the app, the app tracks our danger. That will lead to how often the enemies, I think, fight us or something. Uh, there's healing, drawing cards, re-rolling the die. Skill checks isn't just about playing cards. You also get to re-roll a die, um, which goes from uh, there's like a bunch of plus ones, plus twos, there's increased danger, and it goes all the way down to minus two. I think it's like, I don't there's know how many. one minus two. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know oh, how many minus ones. You can gain energy, I guess. I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, that's cool. A lot more positives, I think. Yeah, than it's just from positive uh, two to negative two with some special stuff in between. Um, so you roll that also, but if you play a card with that re-roll action, you could re-roll if you don't like the result kind of thing. Yeah, I think it did show a code, but it was not the code you took originally. There were two codes, both my test game and the current game. But if somebody messed with it, and I just would stop playing, it's fine. I, I don't care. Like, we'll just not... If I come in and we're not where we left off and I can't fix it... Yeah, then it's just over. I, I'm just gonna and not play the game anymore. That's fine. I, I, like, I don't care. But, uh, yeah, that sucks. If I start the game over, like, I don't know how quickly I can get all the way there. That's the problem. I can try. But it's like, you know... I didn't, I didn't want to join, I didn't want to play this game this weekend to be troubleshooting the whole weekend. I want to just play. So this is like, I usually defend games with apps in them, 
but I'm usually defending games with solid apps in them. This app is already like, I know Edgar's saying there was a button for getting to the settings while you're in the tutorial, but it wasn't how, obvious. How, yeah. like how intuitive is that, right? You know, they show you a settings and a sound button, but then I can't click it when I'm doing certain things. They give you a new sound and, and settings button I'm supposed to click. I, I don't know. That's not how you design software, but that's just me. But again, who knows? Uh, so we could just start over, I guess. I, I don't, I don't know. But like, that's not what I want to be doing is like troubleshooting an app and what happens when it crashes later, or we lose our progress and, and we have to do this all again. Like this is really bumming me out to be honest, but, um, but yeah. All right. Sure. Uh, let me see what happens when I do this. Yeah, Dragon, this is why some people do avoid app games. I know, that's what I'm saying. I usually defend them, but this is why I see some people, they play some of these other games that like maybe they didn't put as much effort into the app. It probably works fine. It's partly on me too, right? But like I've used how many apps since I was a child and like it's like I expect certain things, you know? Um, you know, been doing this for many, many years. Um, and yeah, like, uh, but hey, you get it working, you get it out the door, you make some money, it's all good. As long as it's playable, at least, I guess. Uh, yeah, I did all that. Okay. Sure, I'll see this. I can't even cut and paste it. Go like this. Yeah. No, don't help me set up. I like the app to help you set up your game. No. Okay, so skipped all the story. That's what you write back when yeah, I think we're good actually starting a whole new game because you can just skip all the setup stuff, I think. But I wonder if saying don't help me set up the game. Yeah, I skipped the tutorial again. I'm back to right where I was, but that's the problem. That's fine. Who cares? Okay, Let's just we'll play. Just, we'll figure it out. Let's just play. It's fine. Okay, okay so. So basically it's asking us in the app to enter an entry code. So basically anytime we go to like a story point on the board here, there's like a 102, 103, you know, we stop there. If you want, you can do an action to like kind of enter that story, I think. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure. I don't, I don't know if you can skip it. I don't know. We'll just do it, but. I'll do it, but let's do it. <laughs> Okay, let's discard a two move. Oh, sorry, you can't see. Two move. And I'm only going to move one. Thank you, Eileen. Okay, perfect. Okay, keep and it going. We'll stop at 102. 102. All right, let's enter a number in this thing. Oh, we got a new subscriber. Steve, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome. 102, right? Uh, correct, yes. I hear something. Blaze stood alert, her ears held high. Humans on the road, armed and armored. Gribbert nodded and looked around. Take cover, everyone. Let us see what we have. Two thugs came into view, sprinting down the road. One of the thugs spat. Tell you, I saw something. Right here, look around. The other thug shook his head. What are we looking for, anyway? Didn't Lord Parrish bewitch the old man? Sure he did, but we're looking for the baby still. Pay attention, you idiot. Paris says the baby was spirited away by magic critters the old wizard controls. We gotta find him. Power plus one for you. Sweet. So I will increase. Oh yeah, let me zoom out of that. Okay. The one. Place a one of those. You know, don't you. do this tokens. <laughs> Over that story symbol on the space. Continue your turn. Yeah. Okay. Those little tokens to say it's been done. Don't do it again. 
So it costs one point to move over these single dotted lines, two to move over these doubles. So uh, in yeah. order to get into this space here, I need to spend one, two, three. I need to spend three movement points, which I do have. Okay. Sorry. I was going to say, I forgot to mention this one. Oh, yeah. I didn't There's a link that. one that on your turn, if you're doing a skill check, I could help you by playing cards from my hand. Um, I don't oh, know what I this could? one is. I don't, I don't know what some of these symbols mean. I think they just do, will do symbols based on your card. Oh, that's what that is. Yeah, sorry, guys. I forgot to mention that one. Uh, if it ever has a rectangle under the symbol, that means you look for the symbol on any of your cards in play, and you can, like, I guess, fire off an ability, or it'll help you uh, with that skill check or something, yeah, if it's that. relative. Okay. So, I can move for... Oops. Oh, but my card that lets me move for three also triggers an ability for me. Yeah, but whatever. You'll get the cards back around. It's a deck building game. So when your deck's empty, you shuffle, draw back up, that kind of thing. Okay, move for three. One, two, three. I'm in the space. <gasps> no. With They're the bad guys. Favorite. And now I can do a There's melee There's a little attack. fox. Let's get him. Oh, but see, this is bad. No, no, no. This is bad. Rewind, rewind. It's better for me to use... No. They have defense of five. Oh, wow. I only have, if I so play So you need the, to do like a skill check of like five to seven or something probably. Yeah, and I would only have three. If I kept this card and I move. I could help you with one if that matters. I could do four, five, and then roll the die and hope for a plus. Also, they would become badly injured if I do this. Who's my next character that goes? Uh, Is the rock guy? Yeah. Oh, okay. When badly injured figure loses one or more, it loses one additional life. Hmm. Like, make it so that we can hit them harder. Okay, let's try this. Let's move for four with these two cards. Uh, I don't need to heal because I haven't lost any health. So going in here. And then I'll do a skill check for four. And then I don't know if you're going to put anything in. But oh, what is my ability? Uh, she's oh nothing. Oh wait. Oh, I'm on the wrong side. Hold on. What? Hold on. Oh. That was some story. Okay. <laughs> Each time Blaze gains a resource as a result of the forge action, she can choose to gain food instead of cloth. Or sorry, she can choose to gain food or cloth instead. I cannot equip heavy items. Okay. So I'll do a skill test of four against five. Any help oh, from you? Oh, you're going that low? Oh, I have. I'll put now in. Now we're five. Five on five. I'll put in one. I'm hoping for a positive here. Danger. Danger, but that still counts still like a zero, right? Plus, so then you have to adjust. I have to click it in the app? Yeah. Okay. No. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But you we want to play succeed. a reroll? Did you play a reroll token? No. You suck. But we did succeed, so it is going to lose one on... We'll go to this guy. And then... If the attack reduces the target's... Oh, wait. Wait a minute. I need to look that up. Do I do anything? Yeah, I do one. Because yeah, my weapon does weapon one. Deep, deep yeah. damage, yeah. So then, if the attack reduces the target's life, it becomes badly injured, which is this token. Uh, RC, all we know about the symbols is, like I explained, some of them are story entries, some of them are character starting spaces, some of them are enemy starting spaces. Uh, there is ones with forage symbols for getting these resources, I think. Uh, but again, we've never played, so we're going to figure out as we go, based on what's in the book. Uh, one of them has a, a little uh, description here for this A space, which says, If there's no enemies on this space, at the end of any familiar's turn, if all familiars and the baby are on this space, you may leave this location instead of pressing end turn in the app. Upon leaving this location, enter 133 three in the app. When leaving, if any enemies are in play, gain misfortune plus one. Yeah, so I guess we want to kill all the enemies before we just run. So we don't, like, just run past them. Okay, Let's that get is the end of Blaze's turn. So I click end turn in an app, right? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to drop. Oh, danger went up. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it goes up at the end of every And now it's game. Chalk's turn. Chalk has, he's Chalk's large, if you didn't know. Uh, when playing a card to move, you may choose one small figure or object token in the same space. After moving, place a chosen figure or token in the same space as Chalk. Chalk is immune to the poison affliction. And he starts with a rock fist. This is his weapon. 
which uh, does one damage, I guess, if you're doing uh, like a melee attack. It's a melee weapon. And when attacking, if I play a card, I think, with the rock symbol and a rectangle under it, I would get plus one damage. Mm -hmm. And note, I just badly injured the circle. So if you hit him, when a badly injured figure loses one or more life, it loses one additional. So if you target the circle, oh. he'll lose additional life. That's why I wanted to do that, even though okay. it was like a low. I see, we can I see. get rid of him faster, hopefully. So if, Less attack. Uh, the problem is, um, I'm seeing some issues. So since I jammed two characters' decks mm -hmm. together, and Chalk is going next, I may have a handful of cards that are better on Gribbit's, Gribbert's turn. So I don't really have any mountains to help with extra damage. I'm not holding cards that have great might. He has a melee weapon. I so can give you one. I have maybe one I just assist. focus on moving and and not anything yeah, you can really take else. Yeah, the baby. And like I'm holding a card here with an action. I think I can still do this even if I'm not on Gribbert's turn. But I don't know. Because we're playing the two-player variant where you just mash cards together from two different characters. So it's kind of weird, but I want to try it out to see how it goes. Hmm. I would assume I can just do that. I would assume you can. But I do I want to do that? Let me just look up the action. So line of sight in this game, just so you guys know, uh, line of sight is pretty simple. There's a little dot on each, um, roughly in the center of each, um, each space on the board. And if you're in that space, if you can draw a straight line between dots without crossing a double solid line like these trees right here, uh, you have line of sight to that space. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it. Oh. oh, we got a super chat from Matthew says, the cuteness factor is overwhelming. I might need a break. Oh, oh yeah. definitely. Cute is the way I describe this game for sure. As I was unboxing it, punching tokens, organizing and everything the other day, I was like, oh my god. It just screams like kind of like Disney, uh, like Disney kids movies from back in the day. Like that's mm -hmm. what it feels like. Matthew, thank you so much. And I think, Matthew, if I'm not mistaken, this was the first game that you were painting. Was this game? Is it? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Or yeah. I, you definitely were painting. But anyway. That's cool. Back to your question. It says, some skill cards have special actions that affect a specific familiar as indicated by the card's text. Those effects... Uh, always affect the indicated familiar regardless of which familiar played the card. Oh, cool. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That, that keeps it flexible then. Yeah. Place him you. on a space that's within three spaces in line of sight. So Ooh. nothing's in line of sight except for this one space. That would kind of be dumb to do that. You could move and then play it. Yeah, yeah. And I can carry the baby. I can carry one of the other characters there too. <laughs> Jump uh, on my back, everyone. I got you. <laughs> What I'm going to do is... Oh, your first game was Stuff Fables. Sorry, but you have started oh, okay. this one. Oh, okay. Isn't that the same game as this? <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, I'm going to play this for movement. I think when I play it for movement, I'll get to draw a card, but it's reckless. So I have to take... Uh, when I draw a card for this effect, unfortunately, I have to take a fatigue card. If you may, though, so you don't have to do it. I'm doing it. Okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know any better. I'm, I'm going to try it out. I don't think I did it. I'm poking oh, the yeah. electric fence looking for holes. So I'm going to do whatever. Uh, when this card would be discarded, instead return it to the fatigue pile. So it's just like in any deck building game, you kind of draw like a deadish card. But at least it has stats. Oh, it gives you danger. Yeah, it's not good. Oh, it gives you danger. These buggers, I see what they're doing here. Oh, this is dirty. Hmm. Otherwise, you just hold it in your hand, you like never play it, and then you build up a hand of fatigue guards, and then you just can't do anything. Yeah, I guess you could play it after all the enemies are gone, but I don't know. I, more, I, don't, I don't know if more enemies show up. We have no I, idea. I don't know. But I'm going to try it. Who cares? Let's okay. see. Uh, take, it? take it to my discard pile. No, I think it doesn't it go to your hand. Not that one. The card I draw does. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Goes right to You're your right. discard pile. So it'll come and haunt me later. Oh, I just drew. Sweet. Oh. oh, now we can get a little dirty. I found some mountain. I found some more might. Uh, this is uh, his little bird friend that we heard in the story talking to him. I thought he was imaginary. Action. Forage any space on the map. No skill test is needed. Oh. Action. Chalk gains that resource token. So if I play it for the action... I don't get to use the movement. I don't get to use the skill check stuff. And I don't get this little bonus up here, I don't think. That is true. But I guess it would be good to look at these. Like, what kind of items are we even 
So two cloth, two wood, two mushrooms. Oh, man. Who doesn't want to drink some magic milk? <laughs> you may discard this card on your turn while sharing a space with the baby to reduce discontent, discontent by two. Oh, that's not bad. But we need two mushrooms Two mushrooms. On the, we have what one we... available to us. One mushroom, one wood, one food. Show, show them the cute little uh, like market I stand here. So this this is how you keep all the resources in the game in this little uh, wooden or uh, cardboard container. So there's limited resources of each type. These are the ones you put together and then you craft to make new items. Um, and then it has like the back comes off and then can be the storage for it. So you can kind of save what's left in there. And then the ones you have right now, if your characters have them, they get saved in the character's tuck box, which is kind of very simple, very straightforward, keeps things recorded. Uh, I like it. Like keeps your campaign organized, which is cool. I don't know how long these cardboard, I keep pushing in. It's kind of like, it'll wear down, I'm sure, but whatever. Uh, Matthew, thank you for subscribing. Welcome, thank you, Matthew. So there is, um, there is one mushroom. Okay. And then this one is a, I guess, jewel and a cloth. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Oh, and these cards out here. Those we just buy with power. Yeah, these ones we, yeah, we buy with power and these like kind of like upgrade your decks. Like as part of the deck building part of it. I like this idea. Which I do have one power, so technically I could buy this one, which can give us some story stuff. Is that what that does? Upon acquiring this card placed in front of you, when there's no enemies in play, you may resolve this card by crossing out the next available, oh, chalk bond code on the campaign journal. Oh, it doesn't even have to be you, I guess. But it has your face on it. After resolving this card, discard it face up next to the training deck. We really have to cross things out on these cards? No, on the journal. On oh, the look journal. at the journal. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Sorry, on the journal. It's on here. Oh, yeah, there's specific cards for specific people. Oh, we can get you... Are these numbers there? Like, what are you crossing off? This one that's crossed off? Cross or are you off crossing the next off the available, next one? It said. So why is this crossed off already then? I don't know. That's like weird. That. I didn't do that. What the heck is going on here? That's confusing. I don't know. I don't know. But okay. I could potentially get that. Where'd my hand go right now? All right, back to my turn. Let's try to get something done here. I can give you an assist of one if you need. One what? Uh, anything except for uh, two forge. Oh, did I even move? I didn't move. You haven't done Where anything Where was that yet. card I played to draw? I did reckless to move. Oh. I did reckless to move. That drew me a card. We got all off track from that. But I will move to... I'm going to bring the baby. One. Two. And I got the baby. He's melee, right? Yeah, let me. The baby? No. Oh, Chalk? Here, yeah. Chalk, yeah. Sorry. Chalks, yeah. <laughs> the baby's just going to annoy us. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have to bring it along with us the whole way. If this whole game is an <laughs> escort quest, uh, I predict a bad review uh, oh, no. uh, coming at the end of this. No, at I'm least sorry. you don't have to spend extra. So Chalk just always has the baby on his back. Yeah. That's, okay? That's, that's, that's your that's job. That's what I want to do. Sure. <laughs> Exactly what I want. This is what I want in my board games. <laughs> Carrying around a baby? Carrying around a baby. I'll play the character that carries the baby. We can trade if you need to later. I'm basically playing the rock stroller. <laughs> All right. You've got a carrying thing on you, like a baby. Uh, so what do these things do? I don't know these symbols. They're you on don't the have any right now. Oh, I'm just looking for them on my cards. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can put the milk back. That joke's over. Like here, here, here's an example. There's. Oh, yes. So if I... Play a skill test. I see when attacking. If I drop one of these two and attack, mm -hmm. danger goes down. Oh, that's a thing. And I don't know what that other symbol is, but whatever. We'll figure that's, it out. That's uh that's your agility. Oh, that's agility oh, symbol. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's not green. Could be green. So these are good based on what I'm seeing so far after just playing through one single turn of one character. I'm starting mm. to see that we want to upgrade our things already. Well, Like, I could move in with him, but then my skill check is only going to be, like, four. But if we do hit, man, I'll be doing one, two, plus your extra damage, three damage on that guy. I can give you a one, one more. Okay. So, so I'll, I'll move uh, with this card. I'll just move. Oh, I have to use two movement, right? Because it's double dotted yep. line? Yeah. Which is perfect, because I only have two movement on my cards. So... Chalk and the baby go in there. And then I'll do a melee attack. 
And I'll put this in. So if I had anything to heal, I would heal it. And then I have the mountain symbol, so that will uh, will say when attacking, damage plus one. Okay. And so I'm putting in four. I'll and give you an assist of one more. Five. I guess I'll keep it on my side. That's all you got? That's all the assists I got, yeah. Oh, okay. That's... Five is good. Five is good. No, it's not. It's good. You're good. It's not good. I played enough Arkham Horror LCG. You should never test with equal. There's a lot of, only, a only lot of you do. on that. Only you do. I would never. We don't. Bump. I know that's the problem. I'll roll it over here on the carts. Minus two. See? This is why you don't do this. The only thing. single minus two that's on that die. Yeah, and that's what I'm oh, saying. This is how this sucks. Yeah. Okay, so then never rely on dice luck. I learned that a long time ago. Uh, this should be gone. These should be gone. So that feels bad. But that's that's what happens. Okay, so end of my turn, I'm assuming, because I have no cards left. I put all that into it, so I draw cards, and then I tell the app I'm done, right? Yeah. I'm assuming? Yeah. Uh, enter. Oh, danger went up to three. Hey, it is Flicker's turn. All right. Go, Flicker. So, Flicker has four cards. Uh, Flicker can cross single solid, oh, single solid white lines. Moving Flicker across double dash lines requires only one movement point. And Flicker can only wear light armor and cannot equip heavy weapons. <laughs> Got you. Okay. I can also, I have an ability here, Spark. Uh, Flicker targets an enemy within two spaces. The enemy becomes on fire and danger goes up by one. He's on Probably fire. Probably a good idea. I do have some, I do have, so that could let me reroll. And that could let me reroll. Agility though. I just need to move one. Just need to move one. And then I'm only doing a skill test of three range with two rerolls. Okay, this is not good. I don't think we want to increase our danger, right? I have no idea. I don't know what on fire does again. I have to remember. On fire, when a familiar becomes on fire. Nope, that's a story return. Uh... If an on fire figure enters water, no. Where's the if an enemy becomes on fire? It's a, that's a figure. Okay. It just it applies to oh, both okay. of us. It goes both ways. Banish any flammable keywords. At the start of an on fire figure's turn, reduce the life by one. Then roll the chance die. If a positive number is, ro is rolled, remove the affliction. If a danger is rolled, danger goes up by one. Probably so I'm assuming put when it, it tells fire. you enemies activate, they lose a health. We roll a die for them. I assume. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Do you have any assistance? Maybe it says on channel? another page. Can you pass it over? Book? Yeah. Do you have any links to help with? Nope. Oh, okay. And Johnny, I'm sorry. Hmm. Nope. No links to help. So I'm just going to stay quiet over here while you do your turn. You let me know when I need to click end turn. I don't know. Do I try that? I can, I can get two rerolls. I mean... I mean, other than that, I'm doing nothing, so I might as well. All right, I'm going to move. I'm not. Yeah, but you can hold cards to, like, try to get a better turn for your other character next turn, I'm noticing. Like, I drew into cards I wish I had on the Rock Guy's turn, but n and, and I had cards on the Rock Guy's turn I wish I had on the Frog Guy's turn. Mm -hmm. So there might be a play where, like, you hold cards in hand to make a better turn for your other character playing this two-player variant. So maybe do that. So even though you think you're not doing anything on a turn, you're getting nothing done, you're actually preparing for a much juicier turn next time. I don't know. Because you just draw up, I think. I don't think you discard your whole hand, right? You just draw a card. Correct? Do you know? Yes. You don't uh, have to dump no, your hand you don't at the dump end, right? Hand, no. Unless I just take a fatigue and draw a card. Yeah, let's do that. Let's move with this card. And I can move one, two. I will You could forage. Try to get some goodies. That's your job. That's her flicker, right? Yeah. Yeah, get some goodies. I could, so then maybe I don't. Get some wood. You can get some wood. Or some food. Yeah. Okay, so then I won't draw a card. Or, and take the fatigue. I will forge, which our forge on this tells us up here, it is three. Yeah. So let me maybe keep this one. 
You can just interact with the map without attacking. I know, I know. I just see these guys and they're, I just worry that they're going to go soon and I'm, we're just, I don't know. You're right, you're Don't right. rush it. It's the first one. I'm sure they're going to be gentle on us. They recommend playing this game with a bunch of kids, like a family. They're not right away. These enemies are going to like destroy us and end our whole campaign. I just always have... Have some fun. Enemies, get some goodies. Get rid of enemies. Yeah, but we'll be able to get rid of enemies better when you have better cards in your deck later and better weapons and shields and items. So also you got to balance that. You can't just go all enemies, right? All right. I'm going to forage. Um, I'm going to play three here. I do have... I'm not attacking, but I do have a reroll. So... Three on three here. Minus one. But I have a reroll. Plus one. Yeah. We get it. Okay, so those are discarded. You did it. This is gone, and I get a wood. This goes on you. Is it the wood that is good? It is. We can get a shield, potentially. Okay. And then I will hold this card, and I will say end my turn. And I will draw back to five. Whoop. One, two, three. I need to um, put my discard pile and draw pile over here, I think. Sorry. And I'll just shovel over a bit. What's next? End turn? End turn, yes. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's content at four or five. No, it's at zero. No, get off. Danger! Oh. Discontent plus one. Oh, no. no. No, no. Are there enemies in play? Yeah. Should I lie? No. I can lie. No, don't lie, don't lie. Is this a test? This is a test, isn't it? <laughs> They're gonna trick us. Don't lie. Yes. Uh -oh. Enemy turn. No, what did you do? Oh, man. Follow these steps in order. One, move each unsavory that does not already share a space with a familiar or the baby. Up to two move points towards the nearest familiar slash baby. Nope. Melee attack. Resolve a melee attack with each unsavory that shares a space with one or more familiars. Okay. Okay. Do this. So, melee is five. So, we're doing a, a defensive skill check against five attack, right? Yeah. That's what's happening? So, either I do it or you do it. Uh, sorry, either Chalk or Blaze, who's in here. I have all single. Oh, yeah, that's juicy yeah, he's three. The, he's the, but yeah, we're going to yeah. get two attacks, remember? Uh, well, whatever. Like, one, I, I don't yeah. know what to tell you. Okay. I mean, I don't mind losing a little life because I got cards that have hearts on I them. Know, so, and that I should balance that out a little bit. Um... You also do get to roll this, so you could get some plus on this as well. You think that always. I don't know why you no, think that. No, I think that. you could. Yeah, I also could get negative. You could. So just let's not say anything. And I'm just saying. Just know it'll do what it does. I'm just saying. I hate dice. <laughs> hate dice. All right. Oh, it's punishment for not using the dice tray. Oh. I'm not using the dice tray. I can already not fit half this stuff on the screen and try to zoom in enough. I'm not fitting a giant dice tray for a game that gives you one little die. Like, why would I use a dice tray for one die? It doesn't deserve it. They should have gave a little cardboard die tray with this that's like this big. <laughs> they give you a cool token holder. Where's my little dice tray? Come on, man. Put some fairy yard in there. Uh, sure. I'll just defend for three, see what happens. Look, oh, you get power. Yeah, but that's not plus positive like you said it would be. You led me astray. No, I said could. I didn't yeah, say yeah. would. Yeah, you try the glass half full could. crap. Doesn't work with me anymore. Use dice cup then. We could do that. Where am I jamming that dice? You know how many cards are going to probably be all over this table soon enough? Yeah, Once we right. start getting all the loot? Get the loot. No, no dice tray. We're rolling it on the board. And I'm going to knock over things. It'll be great. I'm going to feel liberated. This is, <laughs> this is Rob's loose no dice tree weekend. We're, it's a party over here. Okay. okay. We're, getting you, we're getting crazy with it. You take two damage. Yay, two damage. Why am I taking two? Because you took the attack. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, do you want on. to defend again, or do you want me to defend this one? I don't know. My, I'm whose turn is next? Like, that matters, uh, right? Gilbert. Okay, Grib Gribber. so I'll have like no cards if I keep defending with okay, this so guy. Then... I'll start my turn and have no cards again. The, it's gonna be the same thing for me. When yeah. It's my turn. So, so, no, I'll... no, no. I'll just tank a whole turn. It makes sense. And so you tanking a whole turn, I guess. No. So, uh, yeah, yeah. So I'll just throw in. You know what? Let's just throw all of it in. I have no idea. I, oh, I get to so heal. Not six. Oh yeah. Why did I do? Oh, that? next Comic Con. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and Edgar. Why did I put it to two? <laughs> I need some coffee. 
All right. Oh yeah, my tea's empty too, so we so, can take a break in a minute. Yeah, but we're not even done the first uh, little five minute page here. Um, okay, so I'm just throwing in one, uh, two, three, four, five. Roll a die. Oh yeah, I get a heal, right? That, uh, where was it? I get a heal right now. Yep. Okay, and then I rolled the danger. Oh no. But can you? Oh yeah, you can. Okay. Um, that's awesome. But that means I block it all, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. So my, my hand is empty. So I just sit there and wait till I drop at the end of my turn of whoever my next character is. Okay. Uh, what now? Then it says, move again, move each unsavory that does not already share a space oh. with the familiar and the baby, and then capture. Matthew with the super chat says, this is dedicated to Dan, the snake Roberts. <laughs> <laughs> How did that go, Matthew? Did you have a good time? Oh, I think he said that he got hit. Did he you got meet a Jake sign, the snake? And he posted a picture in the Discord. Oh, that's So we'll have to thick. check that out later. That's awesome, Matthew. That is I'm thick. glad you're feeling better as well when you were able to do that. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, okay, thank you so much, Matthew. Capture. You better not have got Jake the Snake sick, though. <laughs> uh, right. If one or more unsavory share a space with the baby and no familiars, move one of those unsavory and the baby two points. No. We were with the baby. Okay, yeah. so, so No, I was like, okay. no, take the no, baby. No, take the baby. No, okay. take the baby. And then continue to the next player's turn. Not the mama. Uh, but hold on. If, he, if it ends the movement. Okay. So we would gain misfortune if they if they steal the baby. Okay. Oh, I see. If you steal the... Wow. They're going to take the baby and try to get to... Yeah, yeah. No, my baby. Yeah, we're not going to let that happen. Okay. So it's... Frog's turn. I got nothing. Uh, but let's just look at his card. Maybe there's some magical thing on here. Uh, when moving, Gribbit treats water spaces as normal spaces. Gribbit is immune to rushing water effects. Gribbit. Robert. Uh, can only wear light armor and cannot equip heavy weapons. His weapon is the Lashing Tongue. Uh, when attacking, if I play this Sneaky Sneaky Sir icon, uh, I actually lower danger. This familiar cannot target enemies that are two or more spaces away. His tongue's not that long, I guess. Okay, and it's a silent weapon, which I guess matters at some point. Uh, done, so I draw up. Oh, I only have four cards to draw up from my deck. So I will now shuffle, including that fatigue card that's in there somewhere. So we got to see what enemies, how harsh they are. So we want to uh, kill one of them at least before they get to do some bad stuff again. But you might just roll danger on the dial over. So it just happens and we'll see what happens. Okay, uh, so I'm going to end turn. Danger went up. It's at two. Oh, it resets after the enemies go. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. I didn't know that. Yeah, and then it, it just probably randomly will pick a danger level to make them go again. Yeah. I which see. was on, I think, four that time. Okay. All right. <laughs> so Blaze is in here. Let's see. Do I have any mountains? I don't. Or foxes? I do have one. Okay. So let's do a attack. This can only do two damage. Can I get two attacks in here? Uh. Maybe bending. Oh, this will do three damage. Could kill one. Yeah, do it. If, Make it happen. If I do. Because the, remember the ones, uh, whatever his problem is, he's got uh, a broken heart. So yeah. he, he dies faster. You just, I could try to do two. Like I could separate them out to do four and a three. And I have a link for one big help over here with an assist card. You can't see this one. I don't know what's happening in that art there, but uh, yeah, definitely assist. He's like not happy with flicker. That's what it looks like, but I don't think that's what's happening. All right, so let's do like this first then. Okay, so let's do a skill test of four. Would you like to play your card? If you want, just say yes. I I'll sure. do it. You just, We're at five. Just ask. You should ask before you even do the test. Because, you know, we shouldn't just play... Well, that's that minus two, Mel, that only has one on the side. It's one, on, one out of 12 on the die there. Okay. You didn't play a reroll token? Uh, a reroll symbol? No. Did you get all your other symbols fired off? They didn't. Uh, cool. I didn't. All right. Discard. Wasn't successful. I mean, I can go again, but now I'm only doing it with three. 
Man, I'm doing something wrong here. I need to reevaluate how I to I'm I told you this game, you can tell the art and everything's inspired by Disney, so you, you take that for what you will based on what you might think that art looks like to well, you. Well, I'll just go again with three and hope for a plus two. Scandal. Because danger. Nope. Danger goes up by one. <laughs> and that's the end of my turn. <laughs> we put the danger up by one. Yeah, sure. And I failed another attack. I'm never going to get rid of these enemies. I hit one enemy one Yeah, because you have to overcommit, Mel. You were trying to divide it into two weak tests? No, one was even. I'm letting you try it now, but I will, I'm will. i not letting it after this little, this little tutorial scenario here. This is not how you play these games. If you learn nothing from Arkham Horror LCG, don't do it. All right, end my turn. Uh, so, okay, I probably have enemies now. Yeah, probably. Didn't I already end your turn? No. No, I think you just oh, did danger. danger. Oh, it's your turn. Shock. Shock. Okay, great. Yeah, look, I, I can test for five. I don't I know. I don't know if that's chains. smart. What are you testing? Strength? M yeah, might. Might. Uh, I have. I can give you two. Sure. I I'm gonna do it. Uh, I, I am gonna get reckless with it. I'll. This do I don't know if it helps right away. Like, can you add a card you draw to the test? So if I put that in there, I draw another card. Um, I also will heal one. And I do have a reroll on this. And I draw into this. Like, could I put this in? I don't know. I think so. I'm you haven't do rolled it, yet. Because uh, then I have a mountain. I have extra damage. So, like, okay. I, I don't know who should I attack here. But um, probably the it doesn't matter, right? Because they're both. Yeah. Oh, no. One will do extra. Do I need that though? I'm hitting for one on my weapon plus extra because I put a mountain in, and then I guess plus extra for your thing, so that would kill one, right? One, two, three. No, I'd put him to one. Oh, okay. One damage, two damage, three damage, four. Yeah, okay. So then, does it matter? Uh, it probably matter. should do it on him, right? I don't care. All right. I mean, getting rid of one of these yeah, guys. Yeah. So will where's be good. this die? Roll this die. Minus two again. So you're even. Okay, see? Perfect. Oh, I can re-roll it. I gotta re-roll. So let's re-roll. Maybe I'll get some energy. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll get some danger. Who knows? But <laughs> I wanna I wanna see. Plus two. Plus two, even better. <laughs> Woo! There's that plus two we were looking for. Uh sure. So I do one damage, plus I play a mountain, so I get another damage. And this guy is bleeding or a broken heart, so I get another one. All right. And done. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to say enter. Uh, no. Add one. Oh, I forgot we have to do this too. Because when that gets to four. Okay. Yeah, we need an action to, to care, right? Yeah. So what's this? What do we do? It's at two now. Yeah. So we we to to lower it by one, we'd have to feed the baby. So we have to get some food, which you don't have. Because you'd refuse to forage there. No, I. And then you got refused to got content by one. I'm just kidding. I can. Okay, I can probably get that on her next. So while turn. it was at one is the best time to just deal with it, right? Because you just make a little focus skill check. Oh, oh but six. it's difficulty of six. Yeah, I think. What the heck, man? Yeah, it's not easy taking care of a baby. Wow. Well, I can probably just forage. Oh, <sighs> what is this from? Oh, that was from your last test. Okay, so there are enemies in play, so we're going to have an attack here. Wonderful. Move um, them. Melee attack with them. Move them again. It's all the same stuff, I think. Okay. I'm just going to let Blaze take some damage. Let's... I need, I'm going to forage. Let's keep some of these. The forage is going to be three. Well, I could take one. I'll just defend for three. Uh, roll the die. Uh, yep. Oh, sorry. Roll the die. Yeah, yep, danger. danger. Okay, cool. Next. All right, uh, that was me doing one. Then I'll defend. So I, I take oh, sorry. one, two, three, right? Oh, what happened here? I bumped the dial. Okay. Then all uh, Blaze will take uh, one of the hits. He'll defend for three, minus one. So he defends for two of, what was it? Five? Right here, five. Three. One, two, three. Okay. Alrighty. Now what? Um, we're done that? Uh, I don't think I move they again. Move, yeah. And they don't steal the baby. Okay. Flicker's turn. Okay. 
Oh, I need to move in there. Sugar. Okay. Shoot. No, I didn't realize that. I'm going to take one of these back. That was a, my bad. He's going to take one more damage. I need to move. So let's spend one. I can move two. So we'll just move there. I'm not going to draw a card. And then I'll do a forge test here with the food for four. I need three. Plus two. We got it. So we get the food. Uh, those didn't matter. And cover that up. And then here I'll do this. So I'll feed the baby. That's a care action, right? Yeah. Uh, Yep, yep, called care. Care. So spend one food. Oh, to danger, reduce... not damage. What does that mean? RC. Oh, Rob, I think you should have taken two damage, not the three. You roll damage symbol and block for three. Oh, yeah. So you would only take two damage. I don't know how many. Oh, did I block it. for three? Yeah. Oh, your card, okay. Sorry, sorry. Three. I see. Yeah, I had three armor on. I get it. I get it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I'm spending a food. And I, being... Yeah, I rolled the danger symbol. I see what you see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Discontent to one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> she's done. Edgar says, all this baby care could have been avoided with a simple sleep spell. Yeah, what the hell? God. I know, right? Wizard, this that. wizard one, is, two, three, is horrible. He didn't help us. Just to, to put a spell on him. Spell on her, sorry. Okay. Uh, her turn is done. Oh, do you have to be on the same space as the baby to care for it? Oh, shoot. I don't know. Yep. You do? Yep. So I couldn't have done that. Okay. So let's just keep the food. We'll... Yeah, just undo that. Undo that. And then we'll hope that it doesn't go up before I can get there. Oh, no! Side. Gribbert's turn. Gribbert. What's Gribbert too many? Thank He's you, Tobol. still at the starting space. Okay. Oh, yeah. He has range, right? Yep. But... Might not have enough after moving to do anything. But if I draw, yeah, let's just get funny. I'm gonna do move two. I think I've line of sight from there. Yeah. One, two. I'm gonna hide over here though in the space. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it is this. I'm gonna take a fatigue, draw a card. Okay. That's gone. Okay. Then I'm going to do an agility. Uh, that's what he attacks with, I think. To do a range attack, which I have line of sight, right? Because I'm not crossing double solid lines. Right. So I'll just go all in here for six. I don't have any chains, sorry. Who are you attacking? The one with one health left. Okay, just to get rid of one. I guess, yeah. yeah. Energy. Oh. Or whatever it's called. Lightning surges. Okay. And that's boom, boom. Gonzo. Oh, circle is dead. Get him out. Get him out, you unsavory bugger. End my turn. Draw some cards. Shuffle. Alright, one enemy left. And how much loot? Oh, you get loot. Um, oh, yeah. You get a power. Uh, that's loot. Power equals energy up one. Nice. Can I, you Can I buy two? anything yet? Uh, this one only. These ones are all three. Oh, I don't want stuff that my character... Oh, I guess I'd want this in my deck because I'm doing both characters. Mm. I mean, that's good for your... Is this, is this the rock guy one? How do we know? I don't think... Just because it... he's in the art? Well, I think at that point you just look at the symbols. Oh, okay. Well, no, but, but I think some of these are for certain characters. Like, look at these focus bumps here. So it's obviously for the fairy. Yeah, that's why I was thinking this one is for the chalk eye because of the defense. But, but I again, think it's for it's, both. I think it's yeah, actually oh, for both right. because both. it's got both those stats. Yeah. I see what they did there. That's cool. Oh, that's cool. Um, that's cool, yeah. Hmm. Let's say on my turn, I'm going to spend, because we want to cycle some cards. I think I can do this, right? It's the... Um, what do we call this? Training? Drain? Training, I think, yes. I'm going to take this bond card. Upon acquiring this card, place it in front of you. 
When there are no enemies in play, you may resolve this card by crossing out the next available chalk bond on the campaign journal. Then enter that code in the app. After resolving this card, discard it uh, face up next to the training deck. Okay, and then I'll replace and go to here. And now the fox is a storycraft cards oh, here. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, we have a bond. There's a storycraft. Those are different things, I guess. And that's also one he could buy that on his turn. Uh, oops. And I'm going to shuffle, 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 shuffle. And draw a card. Okay. No chains. Oh, fatigue's coming. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, end turn then. I don't have any... Brian says, the enemies are as unsavory as my mother-in-law's jealous surprise. Oh, no. You do not want to know what the surprise is. <laughs> OMG. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> All right, carry on. Uh, end turn. I think it will be Blaze's turn. Oh, there's another story space here to do, too. Mm -hmm. I might do that along the way, but we'll see. Uh, will you end turn and see if they go? Oh, yeah. Sorry for uh... Okay. Oh, good. Okay. Okay, I can't... Well, what does the fox say? I cannot. Okay. Let's do an attack on the guy in our space here. I don't have anything that can give him any bonus, which is unfortunate, but I can do three, four, or sorry, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> we'll just put everything in. We'll put in six. This will give me plus one health. Going to four. You have a reroll in there I if have, you need. I do have a reroll if I need. And any and fox then, symbols? No. No. So. Ah. You can't make him... Oh, yeah. We got to buy cards that have certain symbols that help your character's yeah, items, too. That yeah, makes that makes sense. sense. Danger. But no. we do hit. You reroll, reroll. You got to oh, reroll. Re I got to reroll. I got to reroll. Reroll. Right. Get some energy. Minus two. I don't hit anymore. Two, three, four, five, six. I am useless. Sorry, I'm trying. I'm useless. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Go ahead. Uh, okay. End turn. He's done. Is it discontent at four or five? No. Oh man, is that the Raise it up. Know? Are there enemies in play? Yep. Oh, now I okay, the do the stuff. I think it's the same so far. Okay, so he's going to attack in here. If either you are, uh, sorry, Chalk or Fox. What do I have here? Oh, I do have a two. I could defend for. What am, who's next on my side? I don't even know who's coming. Uh, Blaze just went uh, to chalk. chalk. So let me keep, you keep your cards if you have stuff to attack. And it looks like you have, you have a two. Yeah, I can't. And I have a mountain for extra damage. So, okay. I, so yeah. I could do like two damage to this guy. Yeah. So I'll defend. Oh, I have, I have two that can defend for four here. I'll defend for four of the five. Danger. So I take one. And danger goes up by one. Okay, we gotta get rid of these enemies. Dang. I know. Man. All right, go ahead. Then they don't have to move. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll just do a all in might attack. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. When this is a scards, I'm going to add two danger because those are fatigue cards. <laughs> Meaning that they're going to go again. Playing with fire, and hopefully there's none left, but I'm probably not killing them here because that's all I got going on. Unless there's some text on here. Nope. All right. Okay, so rolling this die. I wish there was a plus one damage on this die. Danger. Who knew? <laughs> but I think you did, you did do damage, so that's good. And then, uh, yeah, so I do one damage plus one because the rock symbol. So boom, boom. It's down to two. All left, right. Unfortunately. He's really going to go these again. These cards go back to the fatigue pile, not back to my discard pile. One, two, three, four, five. And end my turn. Oh, Flicker. interesting. So now Flicker can't even do what I wanted to do because now I need to spend cloth and Flicker doesn't have cloth. So I think Flicker could just go and trigger this. Oh, Osan says, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Says technically only applicable familiar can buy their own story bond cards. Didn't know. Oh, we didn't know. So that. Chalk should have 
spent the power for the card, but it wasn't Chalk's turn. Can I, I'm not allowed to do that on that turn. So let's just undo. No, no, easy peasy. I'm just going to do this. It's super, super easy. So I'll just put this back to two. Put that card back on top, whatever. We'll just go with it. I like who cares. And then, uh, yeah. But so now it's Chalk's turn. It, yeah, well, it was Chalk's was, turn. Yeah. So yeah, now you can do and then now. I would just do this, right? On Chalk's turn and pretend that I bought it. That's good to know. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't know with the whole two-player thing and sharing the decks. I didn't know if it mattered, so. Uh, but yeah, they do have separate resources. That makes sense. Okay. Okay, so Flicker, Flicker, Flicker. She does actually have... She does actually have range, so she could fire into there, but I only have four, and I won't do any additional damage. Yeah, so, I can add one for an assist, but... No, our damage is our Can you go forage or do a story yeah, entry I'll, or I'll get a mushroom? Do... You know, important things. Can you care for the baby? Get in the space and care for the baby. I can't yet because I don't have cloth now because I moved to three. I gotta wait till it moves to four. Choose any of the above methods and reduce the discontent, which would be letting me use the food. There's no cloth on here that I can even look for, but I do have the action of the spark now. Maybe the damage is not so bad. Flicker targets an enemy within two spaces. The target becomes on fire. So then when it goes, it'll suffer a damage. Yes. But it still won't die. Yeah. Uh, but if you did that a while ago, when the enemies have gone dude, 17 times, I, they would all be dead by now. Now that I know more, I'll be able to play better on the next page. Let's do that. Let's put the enemy on fire. He's on fire. He's on fire. So he's going to suffer damage at the start of his turn. Because likely they're going to go, I think the da danger is at like four. And then I will use a movement of... Do the story? One. Do the story. Oh, yeah. They stood at the edge of a vineyard and gazed out at the tangled plants that grew in rows among the dark, fertile soil. The sweet scent of grapes wafted in on the humid air. Plants! Many plants! Tweet chirped as Chalk absently scratched its hindquarters. Well said, my friend, as always. And Gribbert patted the golem on the arm. Many plants indeed. Let's take yonder path the farmer so thoughtfully laid down and see what we can find. Plants! Many plants! Gribbert nodded as if chalk and tweets made perfect sense. <laughs> yes, nothing gets by you. I'll take that as you're in agreement with me. Power plus one. Power plus one. Yeah, maybe you can buy one of these good cards here for your upgrading your fairy. Okay, and then I have to Place the token over and continue your turn. Cover this. Okay. And then I'm just going to spend my last movement to just move in with the baby so that when the baby becomes discontent next turn, I can hopefully before... So this guy's basically Groot is what I got from that story. I am Groot. And then Flicker is done. I have to draw. Okay, grip it. Grip it. Grip it. Grip it. Grip it. All right. Probably should just attack. Yeah, can you do two at all? No. Oh, dang. But, but um, the fire. If uh, you can do one, um, and then the fire will kill him. Sure. <laughs> Hold on, maybe I get some change. Let me I'll just give read. You... Uh, yep, let's do this. One second. No, it's okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. You want one more just in case it's a minus I have two? a reroll. And when those rerolls are great, no, we I'm know putting they in always one. work. I'm putting in one so that we automatically All right, get range it. attack with grab it. I want to fail. Danger. Danger. All right, so I have to enter danger once, <laughs> and I'm going to enter danger again because I played a fatigue card. Holy, but oh, at least... should I reroll? I'll reroll. Yeah. Because you're up two, right? Yeah, we won't fail. I'll undo that one danger. Oh, there you go. No danger. Okay, one danger. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like living dangerously on this game. Okay. All right. Uh, nothing else off little symbols, so I think we're good there. Uh, him, that does right? one damage to this guy. Good. So the fire, I think, because the fire is at the start of its turn, so it won't get to attack. Him. I don't think the enemies will go for a while. They go every like five minutes. Danger. Is it at four or five? No. The discontent? No. Enemies? Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Raise the discontent. Raise it. So now I think at the start of his turn, if we look at fire there, yeah. he takes when, one. Uh, on fire, when a familiar. Nope. 
the start of an on fire figure's turn, reduce its life by one. Then roll the chance die. I don't think we have to anyways because it's dead. So it'll, the fire will just go away. Sure. Okay. So he is dead. Now, I don't know who gets the bonus. Well, there's a whole thing about like if you enter a water space, you can remove the fire. Or as an action, a fire on a familiar may do a resilience test of four if you pass. Remove it. That's kind of cool. Do you think that she gets the fire because she placed... Or she gets the power because she placed the fire on him that killed him? Sure, do it. Or is it you? Do it. Okay. I don't know how that. Do it. Just do it. Okay, so now there's no more enemies. We're all good. Whew. Okay. Uh, and... Okay. Foxy? Wait, is it Fox turn? Oh, yeah. Fox turn. Okay, so... Well, he doesn't have that card now, of course. Let's... So we can choose... <laughs> Hold on. Tiny says... Tiny says, I'm going back to play Lobotomy. This one's way too violent. <laughs> Sorry, Tiny, I forgot to... I should have put a warning on the thumbnail or title about the mature content in this playthrough. I'm so sorry. This is mature audiences only. <laughs> and none of us here are mature, so we all should not be here right now. So don't tell anybody. Okay. <laughs> so... Oh, don't forget to do the story on Chalk's Bond card. Oh, oh, you do it right away? I don't have to oh, wait for my turn? Oh, yeah, I know no, when there's no enemies, but... I'm, I'm allowed to resolve it, like, right now? Okay, well, yes, it's when there's no enemies. I know, but I just thought maybe it was on the turn. Um, chalk's Bond card. So we're crossing off this. The next available Chalk Bond on the campaign journal, then enter that code in the app, which was what? 297. Chalk held the little baby in its big, rough hands so that her little face was looking straight at its own. Chalk's face was not made for expression, but it made its eyes flare with light, flicker away to nothing, or change hue. And the tiny baby smiled back at Chalk, her grin stretched wide, as if she could see into the golem and behold the spirit contained therein. Aww. So either gain a mark of devotion of your choice or discontent minus one. Now, mark of devotions are the tokens that help you on skill checks. Yeah, so I could take, so. he could take the might, for example. Oh, They're just the symbols. The uh, they're in there. You can show them. Uh, so there's these little symbols, these, these things. So you could take like uh, a focus and put it on your character and you keep them, I think, for a while. I don't know how long. Um... I think they just count as a permanent helper, or maybe you have to discard them to help you on a skill check. I can't remember. Um, oh, and sorry, sorry. RC is saying that I think you're supposed to do the first one. The mark is just an example. Yeah, and we did that, right? Oh, no, I did. No, oh, sorry. no. I, I, didn't I asked you the number off here. Yeah, but Why this did... had an X on it, so I thought we are yeah, doing the next I was one. asking you the number from over here, not on the card I was literally well, holding. I didn't realize. Why would I ask you what number when I'm holding the card? Sorry, so it's 197. Ah. Sorry. I didn't know. You noob. I didn't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought that because it was saying the next available. What's the number, Mel? One nine seven. Sorry. Come on, you're Thanks, ruining RC. everything. So, RC, thank you very much. Sorry. You're now taking Mel's turn in the next uh, episode. You're out. You're out. All right. I'm you're out. out. I need new help. <laughs> Chalk cradled the little baby. I am Groot. The golem had grown moss on one arm and on its chest from carrying the baby so much, and the added padding was a welcome comfort for the little bundle. A horsefly that was buzzing around kept landing on the baby's head repeatedly. The baby would frown and twitch and wiggle. Chalk tried swatting it, but was too slow, partially from fear of hurting the child. Finally, Tweets hopped down and angrily chased the fly away. The baby giggled at the sight of the angry bird, and Tweets and Chalk shared a satisfied smile. But as Chalk stared down, its vision was clouded, and it beheld a woman with long red hair who stood on the bow of a ship. All around her raged a gray sky and a gray sea. And when the vision faded, Chalk felt rattled, yet strangely calm as well. Foreshadowing? <laughs> we looked into the Palantir. Oh, it's going to teach us about this. Either gain a mark of devotion of your choice or discontent minus one. So now we need to learn about these and be 100%. So that's what I was trying to do. RC, that's okay. Nobody wants this job. Thank, <laughs> thank you, Mel, for, for working here. No problem. 
Uh, some game effects allow a familiar to gain a mark of devotion. When this happens, choose a mark of devotion token and place it on a familiar's character card. There's four different marks of devotion matching the four different skill types, might, insight, resilience, and agility. When a familiar has a mark of devotion, it adds one to all skill tests of the associated type. Note, there's a limit of two marks of devotion of each type. When the supply of marks of devotion of the particular type is depleted, that type cannot be gained. So this just helps you on skill checks. You don't have to waste as many cards. You can do more on your turn. They seem super powerful. But if we have no way of removing the discontent and it's out of control, it's at four or five and the app's going to keep asking it that, mm -hmm. that's a problem. Because maybe it takes away the marks of devotion off all characters. Like, I, I don't know what it's going to do, but it could be really bad. And the thing is, these stay where they are. They don't reset at the start of each page. Or yeah. So it's up to you completely. Like, I want one of these so bad because we have other ways of reducing this. But if they're super hard and we can't get it done, then maybe we should. But maybe we should just see what happens when it hits, like, what happens when the but once it hits the final space, it says, find a way to warm the baby. One way to do so is by interacting with a fire space. Oh. So we maybe have to find a fire space, which I don't know how. Like even cloth, we can't even do this cloth one here because there's no cloth on this page at all. So what can we do right now? Nothing? We, we can either sue the baby by the six difficulty test or I can spend the food. Because right now I can choose any of the above uh, methods and reduce the discontent. So you can you can grab one of these. No, no, but who is it? Who just killed this guy or what's happening? I don't even know. Chalk is doing. Oh, uh, Chalk's oh, doing this. Yeah, that's your card. So Chalk would just, I don't know. Yeah, if you gain your a mark of devotion, then I'll I will get rid of the food when it's Flicker's turn. I don't know how to approach this. Like, do I I go into my strengths or do I try to uh, help with my weaknesses? Like, like if if I'm upgrading cards over the cho the choice of the game, right? Like he should get more defensive cards. But we're also playing that two player variant where I might not even have his cards on my turn. So like anything would be good, but. Mm -hmm. Should I take a mite? But then that means I am only holding one. I have one, only one character would have that mite, and the other mite token could go on the same character, or only one other. So not everyone can buff up their mite. So it's like, it's a pretty big choice, I feel. But um, I don't know. Might or resilient. Yeah, I'm thinking the mite to fight guys because that could help. But then again, like, if I'm holding that might, yeah, he probably wants might, right? Yeah, him and the fox, too. Yeah, play into the strengths. Yeah, okay. Uh, again, any suggestions, like, get get involved, like, throw it in the chat. I'm open. Again, we're learning, we're discovering. Uh, we're all playing this together. Some of you have played it, some of you haven't, but don't let that stop you. Pat says, I don't know how I feel about playing a game to care for a baby. I have three kids already and had a surgery done to prevent any more. <laughs> AKA, thanks for taking one for the team, Robin Mel. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> nice, Pat. That's Understood. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm going to take this and we're going to risk it. I'm just going to play kind of silly and see so what happens. Take a mark of devotion? Yeah, I'm going to take the mite. I don't know if I can... I don't think you... Yeah, I think you just take Oh, it, it just yeah. tells me the choice. I see. Okay. I'm devoted. Okay. So now on my turn... I'm going to move. <laughs> and I want to use this move card here. I'm only going to move one point because I want to heal. Mm-hmm. Before. Oh, me. And then... I agree, Daniel. Um, I'm going to move again here. I'm going to heal again for five. And then I think I'll let her forage. Yeah. Then I'm going to spend the one power to get Blaze's card here. Whoops. Down to zero. Upon acquiring this card, place it in front of you. When there's no enemies in play, you may resolve this card. Same thing. Right now? Uh, I don't know what that number is under there. Sorry. So it No, is... it's not. This is an example. I know, but I was going to tell don't you. Don't look at it. Cross off the first one on the sheet. Yeah, but I don't know what card it is. Storycraft. Okay. Yeah, but I was going to tell you the number under there, because they're the same no. numbers, but I can't see it. 192. No. Good. Yeah. Because you have to look at the numbers to know what card you're picking. 
Well, you just know it's Fox and it's Storycraft. Oh, Storycraft I see. Fox. I see. First number. That's all you need to know. Don't look at the card. I see. I see. You will confuse. 192. 192. Mm -hmm. I know it matches, but it's like just an example. Blaze grumbled as she dumped out the contents of her pack. There were all sorts of odds and ends. A few strips of leather, a tattered piece of cloth, various crumbs, and a napkin with the initials PQ. Ribbert noticed and arched a brow. What are you looking for, Red? I found a half of one of Marilius' scones. I was hoping there might be more in my pack. Ribbert's eyes grew wide. Uh, oh, one of Marilius' magical scones. The ones that taste like whatever you want and always offer the perfect amount of nutrition? Um, uh, you say you still have half of one, huh? Don't get too excited, Green. But please assist me. I want to add water to the scone and mush it up to feed the baby. Gribbert nodded. I see. Yes, I dare say that's a brilliant idea. You, my good fox, are a bit of a genius. She looked at him slyly. No, but I see how someone like you might think so. Discontent minus one. Continue your turn. Sweet. Okay. Uh, Blaze's turn is done. Uh, yeah. One, two, three, four. Okay, Chalk's five. turn. Uh, Chalk wants to care for the baby? Uh, or should I move? I don't think we baby? can now because we need to spend cloth, which we don't have. Oh. Uh... We can just move the baby. If it, gets, if it gets down one more, then I can spend the food. If it gets oh, that's so weird. bumped up one more, I can spend the food. Or we have to find cloth. Right now, our goal is just to get out. Okay. And we can forge this. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So I'll spend a rest to move, taking the baby. I'll go there. And then uh, I'm going to do, uh, oh, get a heart. Yeah. yeah, a heart, heart, heart. Then I'll try to forage. I don't think any of this helps. So let me try to forage for four. I need to do three or higher. Minus one. All right. Mushroom. Forage a mushroom. Okay. That makes me bigger, right? <laughs> or is this giving extra life? I can't <laughs> tell. It's purple. I oh, it's a poison when I actually go to small chalk. Uh, okay. Uh, that's gone. Okay. Then I'll move for two. Gaining a heart, full health, so who cares about getting hit by enemies, because I'm so good. Uh, and I'll bring the baby to the exit. Okay. Okay. And then I'm done. I'll draw up. One, two, three. I gotta shuffle my deck. Oh, I forgot to mention, there is a way to trash cards, like any good old... Um, any good old deck building game, but it costs five energy. You can banish a card from your hand or discard pile. So you can kind of like get junk out of your deck. Like I would assume if you had like a very early game card and you just want to make your deck really tight and refined and focused on something specific. But I would think all the energy I'd spend right now is just upgrading cards. But if, you know, at some point later, I assume that's a thing. Look at this one. When you acquire this, you may banish one card from your hand or discard there pile as well. There you go. Yeah. I see Lucky here. I'm obviously got to get this from my fro fox guy or my uh, froggy guy. Mm -hmm. Get a little reroll action in there. You get a little reroll action here from Rethink. Okay. I uh, click end turn. Oh, it's Flicker's turn. Okay. Uh, Go Flicker. Nothing she can do. So she's just going to spend two and move one, two, and end turn. Ribbert. Uh, I don't think I want to draw cards. That'd be silly. I don't need to do any of that stuff. There's no actions on my cards, so I'll just play for one, two, two move. Oh, no, I can go this way, right? Mm -hmm. Two move, one, two. And another move. There you go. And then instead of clicking end turn, uh, those should be gone. Or wait, I should probably play... This one, and I'll play this one. 
Um, so at the end of a familiar's turn, if all familiars and the baby are on the space, you may leave this location instead of pressing end turn in the app. Upon leaving, enter 133. Okay, so get the map, okay. and you need to follow the travel route on the campaign travel map that leads to the bridge. And I'll, I'll zoom, oh, maybe I can zoom in like this for you. Nope, maybe I can zoom in like this for you, and you can kind of hold it in the middle or somewhere so we can see. And uh, so f do what it says. So the path that leads over the silvering, sliv silvering, silvering location, fill in the bubble at that location. Okay. Oh. Uh, I watched a presentation on this game from Pack Games, and they they talked about uh, how you might be playing this with kids with like short attention spans, or you know, like younger children, eight plus, whatever. Um, and maybe the family just wants to get together for like an hour or whatever, play with the kids, and kind of go through it and be slow and have fun and, and all that kind of stuff, no rushing. Um, but they constantly check in, basically like uh, you know, like Nintendo, you know, games do to remind you you've been playing. Do you want to save right now? And if you click this, can uh, put the game away, it'll walk you through how to put everything away and save it up. <coughs> but you don't have to stop here. And you can just keep playing. And what it'll do is after every little, like, you know, a certain amount of game time, it'll tell you, like, do you want to save? Do you want to save? To give you, like, save points. Um, but you can totally keep going, which we are going to, I think, right? Like, we're not stopping right no, now. we're good, we're good. Um, but what we should do is take a quick little break. Yes. I need to, I want to grab a coffee and we'll take a quick little break. Um, I don't know what happens with my three cards. I think in hand. you still draw up. Oh, okay. It's like you oh, yeah, I draw it, then I hit, yeah, I go to yeah. enter. But instead of hitting enter. Yeah, yeah. So I'll just keep my hand here. And then, yeah, we'll take a quick uh, few minute break and then uh, we will return back to continue on with the game. So BRB.
Okay, we back. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, continue. Put in earbud. The familiars hurried down the dirt path as quickly as chalk would allow. Much to the annoyance of the others, the golem seemed nervous with its charge. Scared to jostle or startle the babe. Blaze growled in irritation. We cannot maintain this crawl. Gribbert was inclined to agree. Friend Chalk, I fear we shall be found out if you could not manage to increase your pace. Having been a human once, I can assure you, you do not need to treat the runt so fearfully. Tweets chirped angrily at that, and Flicker agreed. It's not a runt! And she flew around the golem's feet a few times. I think she's a real cutie. Blaze sighed impatiently. <sighs> I'm scouting ahead. The fox dashed away down the road. Okay, okay. Gribbert held up his webbed hands. I apologize for calling the baby a runt. Let her hereby be known as an absolute cutie. Flicker and Chalk nodded happily at this. <laughs> Excellent. Now that cuteness has been established, can we all agree to pick up the pace? We still have far to go and the road is unsafe. Flicker waved a hand dismissively. Psh, it can't be that unsafe. The road is unsafe. Blaze had returned, her tongue out as she panted. <sighs> the bridge across the Silverling is held by a multitude of armed men. We must hurry away before they spot us. <sighs> In the distance was the Silverling, a wide tributary that twisted its way through the Vale, aiming for a much larger cousin far away. Gribbert stopped to ponder their next move. We have two choices, I can see. We can attempt to lure away the guards on the bridge, then sneak across. Or we can follow the Silverling upstream and hope to find safe passage across. What say you all? None of them felt confident about what to do next. As if to emphasize the point, distant thunder rumbled as once again, storm clouds began to move across the sky. Together as a group, we must decide what to do next. Attempt to lure the guards off the bridge or follow the Silverling upstream. Huh. Also, in listening to that story, I think uh, you playing Ribbert is correct for your, uh, for you and Flicker for me, in their attitudes, at least. Uh, okay, I put a poll in the chat. Let's decide. This is what I'm in this for, is making choices, branching paths. Let's do this. Like, oh, man. I'm going to show this as well, because I feel like this might have something to do with the direction we go. So, what, what, uh, attempt to, oh, no, maybe not. Attempt to lure the guards, or... Well, I don't know. It'll tell us. Like, it'll probably tell us where to go. I just wasn't on. sure if, like, one of these was the direction, but... I don't know. We'll find out. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, you can vote in the chat. I put a poll in the live chat if you are watching this. You guys can play along, pick where you want us to go. We'll go that way. Again, if you've played before, that's fine. Choose the same, different direction, whatever you want to see. You know, whatever sounds interesting. If you never played, don't know anything about what's going on. If you just rolled into the stream, yeah, I'm looking at you, Steph, for being late. Yeah, I'm looking at you. How dare you come in here late and complaining we're on a break. Uh, but you can get involved even if you don't know what's going on. Just click something. It's all good. You can vote. Kanji, you can still vote even though you know. I just said, explain that. Yeah, and Kanji, this, yeah, this is a delay. The delay. Time, yeah. I know, I know. Yes, please vote. Vote the opposite, Kanji, if you want to see the other option or if you want to help us along in the, you know, the way you think we should go. Just let's do it. Please vote. Please interact. Please get involved. Don't just sit there and smile at me. Do something. All right. I'm closing the poll. Thank you, everyone that voted. And let's see what's happening. 52% uh, want us to follow the Silverling upstream. Elaine. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> uh, Steph says, oh, I did vote. Don't know what I'm voting for, but I voted. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. We don't know either. I love it. I love it. All right. Uh, so follow the Silverling upstream. Mm -hmm. Discontent plus one. Good job, guys. We're at two. Plus one. Oh, plus one. That was plus bad. Is bad. That plus was bad. Is bad. Oh, plus one. We're at four. Follow the travel route on the campaign travel map. Okay. Draw your lines or whatever. 
lead to the frog's crossing location. Fill in the bubble on that location. Okay, so we're now the cool part is as Mel highlights these locations, you when you reload the game or you come back to the game, you know on here where you're starting at because you just go to the highest number along your path. So Mel could be drawing our path too, which you should do. Oh, should I do? So that we know what the last one is along the path we've been traveling. So you're not having to check each number and figure it out and all that. But yeah, yeah. You can use like a colored something marker, a pen or whatever. I don't have one right here, but right. okay. That's fine Perfect. for now. So, okay. Perfect. I've done that. The sky darkened once again as Flicker, Blaze, and Chalk crept through tall reeds and river grasses. Thunder boomed in the distance, and Chalk stopped walking and looked up as rain began to fall. Blaze shook her head. Chalk, we have to keep moving. Tweets danced around on the golem's shoulder. Rain is starting. Rain is starting. Yes, the rain is starting again. That's why we need to hurry. That, the... The f it's flicker, right? The super high pitched one, the like little, the little. No, that's the bird tweet. Oh, tweet! It's tweet. It brings me back to being a kid. Uh, my my little brothers, and my sister love watching like Alvin and the Chipmunks, and there was this this one where they brought the girl chipmunks in. That reminds me of what the girl chipmunks in the old Alvin and the Chipmunks cartoon sound like. One of them. That's exactly what it sounded like. <laughs> That's what it reminded me of. Anyways, just wanted to throw it in there for fun. <laughs> but Chalk just stood there, and a single vine grew up from its shoulder. A tiny leaf appeared there, unfurling until, plop, a single drop of rain fell, plunking on the leaf, and not on the baby's face. <clears throat> Blaze sighed, but gave a friendly chuckle nonetheless. <sighs> Chalk, you're very thoughtful, but please, let's get a move on. Just then, Gribbert appeared from the reeds. I talked to some nearby frogs and toads. Well, the frogs, at least. I swear, toads are a confusing lot. Anyway, our amphibian colleagues recommended a tumble of rocks further along the banks. They think we'll be able to ford that spot. Hopefully, it won't prove too perilous. <sighs> Blaze shivered. Let's go. It's starting to get cold. Turn to page four uh, of the location book and follow the starting setup B instructions. Okay, we're in our next one. Uh, <laughs> rule one, chat is never wrong. Rule two, when chat is wrong, refer to rule one. Yeah. <laughs> well, only 53% of chat was wrong, but that might just happen from advancing. Kanji, thank you for the super chat, says, here is my choice. Does this help? Listen, stop stuff in the ballot box. We're not going your way, right? This doesn't help, actually. Yeah, how dare you? <laughs> Thank you so much. I just wanted you to click on a poll. Why do you have to be difficult? <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you for the support. Okay, uh, right. page four. Page and then we four. have to set up B. It says, starting set up B. Okay, place the baby and familiars on B, the B space, so not A. Where is the B? Flag space, do you see it in my eyes? What are you looking for? Oh, over here, B. B. We gotta put everybody over here. Oh, so we'll probably come back here again, going the opposite direction. You know what I mean? Like, remember in Aftermath, sometimes it did weird things like that. I'm pretty sure, if oh, I remember correctly. Maybe. Yeah, sometimes you go back to the same place. Remember, we'd yeah. travel along like uh, the sewers to go one way and, and then, then go, go back to go somewhere else and yes. pick a different doorway and a different grate to go in. I, that I remember is true. that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now we have to generate an encounter of three unsavories, place them all on the B entry space, and it is circle square in this one. Uh, which oh, the B is, enemy space? Oh, yeah, sorry, is that what I said? Or just the B space. Uh, we gotta put their little health on. The enemies are not alert. What does that mean? I don't know. What the hell does that mean? Uh, after reviewing the special rules section, continue to the next familiar's turn. Oh, oh. alert enemies. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, it's teaching us right now. <laughs> Alerting enemies. Alerting the enemies will affect what happens during an enemy turn. The enemies become alert on a familiar's turn if a familiar attacks an enemy without defeating it, or a familiar shares a space with an enemy at the end of a familiar's turn, 
If a familiar attacks an enemy that is not alert with a weapon that has the silent keyword, now that makes sense. I can lick him in the ear with my tongue. Uh, add three to that weapon's damage oh. value. They oh. have sneak missions in this one. Oh. You can play sneaky or you can play loud. All right, I'm in. Greg, thank you for subscribing. Welcome. Yeah, this is okay. That's awesome. So we can we can stealth. We're playing a stealth game, but we can go in guns blazing if you want. Oh, this one's silent too. How do I we... like it? Oh, uh, okay, that's cool. I didn't expect that from this game. Ah, uh, that's cool. All right. So yeah, if I lick him in the ear with my tongue, he's just dead. Yeah, if I use my lashing tongue right in his ear, I'll hit his brain silently, and uh, that'll do plus three damage, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Plus so three you, to the weapons. So you damage. can take out these ones like one shot. Yeah, That's yeah. Your job. I just have to successfully do it. So make sure I have at least two above my test. Yeah. Okay. And and if I have my Zoro mask symbol, I will reduce uh, the danger by one when it happens. This familiar cannot target enemies that are two or more spaces away. So I have Equals to be one within one space. Yeah. Oh. But you yeah you want to be one space away because of. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> Brian says, many of my students have told me I have a face for voice acting. They are so nice to say so. <laughs> <laughs> They're so kind. All right, it's it's the fox's turn. Blaze. Okay, that's me. So, this has the water, which you as... Ribert, ignore, right? Or you just treat it like normal? I don't remember. I think I need to use an additional movement or something, right? I just need to quickly refresh myself on water. I didn't think it would be this fast. Read all special rules? No, Edgar. We're going to play making up rules. Uh... I think that's all the special rules. Yeah, that was the end of the special rules. The next thing is there's an exclamation symbol, which is probably somewhere on the board, usually. Uh, and then there is uh, encounter rules, and there's the symbol with the A exit and the B exit. Uh, this says if Flicker or Gribbert are on the same space, they may attempt to search for the missing tadpole by entering 132 in the app. Interesting. It doesn't need to be in a water space. There, I don't know how water exactly affects us. Uh, it, well, see, it, you just have to assume it's similar to another game you played, probably because they didn't put it in the rules. I, can't even I don't know. It's called Rushing Water. Maybe it's in the app. Uh, our page goal is get all familiars in the bebe to either exit space A or exit space B and leave this location. If enemies are in play and are alert when you leave, there will be a penalty. Oh, so if we are, if they're not alert. Okay, that's good. Rushing water, you say. I don't know. Maybe we ignore it for now until it teaches us about it. Um, but exit A, it says if there's no enemies on this space, at the end of any familiar's turn, if all familiars and the baby are on the space, you may leave this location. Instead of pressing enter in the app, upon leaving this location, enter 134. This one enters 135. Uh, it says when leaving, if any alert enemies are in play, gain misfortune plus one. Oh, yeah, BB. There are rules for water? Okay. Are they in there? I don't know. I can't. Do I move? Right here, probably somewhere. No? No, that's about double spaces. Double time. I don't remember reading Russian yeah, water stuff in there. Yeah, I don't remember reading anything Let about me see. water. So maybe I'm just. There's gonna... probably rules uh, in here somewhere. Maybe. Hidden somewhere. map. No. Oh, we can't get to the water. Thank you. We don't have to worry about it. Solid line. We have to go this way. Thank oh, you. Thank you. Oh, solid white lines. Okay. I'm I like, see. I don't know why I don't know it. Those water. rules about the map, we should know better. That's what it is. I wasn't even looking at that. <laughs> I was looking at the water, and on the other side, there's some fun goodies. I thought you could cross the white. Maybe not. So where do we? Where's our exit? Oh, solid white line stop movement. Double solid white line stop movement and line of sight or range right or something like that like yeah. this you can have line of sight over right single white lines is that what's happening i think that's what the difference is right so it's like yeah it's just stopping movement i'm pretty sure but you can still shoot over it or whatever 
So where is our exit? Where's B exit? A like oh, they're oh we have on to it. go around. I get it. I get oh. it. Okay, we have to go around looking at the map. Ooh, we but get a jewel. Flicker can fly. Uh, Flicker can cross single solid white lines. Moving Flicker across a double dash line requires only one point of movement. So I can cross those lines. Okay. So you could, she could go forage quicker. Yeah. But there's also foraging here and foraging, whoops, foraging there. Okay. Whose turn? It's Blaze's turn. Okay. Let's work with Blaze first. Um, what's on our space? Nothing. Uh, if Flicker or Gribber are on, the, oh, sorry, this space. Oh, okay, sorry, I misread. Uh, space? There's probably not. Maybe we add a token for that. Probably so it's not oh, happening in this yeah. game. Yeah, that's probably not happening yet. It'll probably tell us. Oh, maybe it'll tell us when we get to one of these. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe we should. I see. Not jump ahead okay. as we're trying. Thank to you, game. young slim one. And Kanji says it will reveal as you play. Thank you, Kanji. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. So sorry, let's guys. move. Thank you for the help. You don't understand how much I appreciate it. This is fun. I'm trying to figure it all out together. Or you guys watch us stumble. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. All right, let's use a move two. And we'll just move one. 110? 110. A rotting log of pine lay nearby. It was ideally long, but Gribbert was concerned the log might not be strong enough to support their combined weight which was a nice way of saying he was worried chalk was too heavy. Right. Log bridge 131 on the campaign journal. At any time, you can enter code 131 to view the rules for the log bridge. Place the little cross out token over that story symbol. So I bet it's something to do with the forging the wood there. Maybe. I don't know. Or maybe we can do a mite test. Okay. Then... So one three one, I can enter right now to learn about the log bridge. Oh sure. Is that right? Yeah, it's at any time we can do it. Well, now is a good time. Log bridge to move the heavy log. A familiar must take a might skill check. Difficulty nine. If frog friends is written on the campaign journal, you receive help from the local frogs. Oh, we have to go save the tadpole. Oh. We have to go and save the tadpole, bring it back to the tadpole families, uh, the villagers, and then they will help us. Okay. I know. I, I, I see what's happening here. Uh, reduce difficulty test by two. Still pretty crazy. Pass. You get power plus one. Place the log token. Oh, there's a longer token I threw over on the table here somewhere. Oh, yeah. I think it's this one, right? Yeah. <laughs> Well, like it's a place oh, that a crop. Oh, I get this it. Is this is awesome. cool. Okay, right. this is cool. I'm in. I'm in. They got me. Uh, okay. Places to the end of the space and ends across the river. Figures can now move between these two spaces for one movement point. Ooh, the log token is not affected by rushing water rules. Okay. Choir and fatigue are optional clicks. All right. I'm okay. in. I'm in. This is cool. <laughs> Okay, so let's do a forge action on this space with the wood. Let's use two, what is it on this page? Forge is three. So it's still only three. Let's do these ones. Let's do four with a reroll. You don't need help? No, I think, I think I'm fine. I'm up one and I have a reroll. Okay. Power. All right. So we're good. Now, he does have resourceful. Each time Blaze gains a resource as a result of a forage action, she can choose to gain food or cloth instead. Yeah. I think baby. I need cloth. We gotta make diapers. The baby is mad. We gotta make disposable diapers. Or, uh, okay. sorry, non disposable diapers, I should say. Cloth okay. diapers. Cloth diapers. Then I will cover that. That's done. And then I will use my last card to move. To 101? Here, to 101. Well, I like it. Get be efficient. Get yeah, stuff done. I learned Let's from the last this. page. I'm not going to play incorrectly anymore. Uh, <laughs> okay. A group of frantic frogs emerged from the tall grasses and began to croak emphatically. Blaze chuckled. <laughs> if only we had someone who spoke frog. Flicker scrunched up her face and looked confused. Mm, don't. Don't we know someone who speaks frog? Yes, Flicker. I was joking. 
The fairy nodded and tried to look nonchalant. <laughs> I knew that. No. Is Gribbit on this space? Mel, I thought you said you were going to play well, correctly. You learned I after didn't... last time. You need to have Gribbit on your space. I didn't know that. No, we probably got to wait. Do not place that token on there because you ain't done with it yet. <laughs> okay, then you turn. okay, I am done. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, Chalk's turn. Well. I think some movement should be done. But man, I got all these mountains. I know. But I don't want to I don't want to alert the enemies right now. No. I want to lick them in the ear first with uh Gribbit. So yeah, I, better, I think I'm going to save right? my sneaky card for Gribbit and then uh nice. mm, oh, these are discarded. Sorry. Could save this link card to maybe help you. But other than that, Let's just move for two reckless, but I'm not going to do this. And I'll take the baby. One, two. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, leave the baby. Yeah, I'll bring the baby. But that's going to take so much movement, like a whole turn. You have to waste cards and everything. I mean, it's fine. But I could take Gribbit. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he's small. And then I, I could... Uh, spend two more and go back. Well, do you want to do that first while you're on there, just in case? Just in case of what? I don't know, in case you need cards for some sort of test or something. But then I have no cards in hand, so it's probably pretty bad to do it right now. Well, uh, yeah, I... but before you spend these to go back. Oh, what are... Uh... I don't know, it's up to you. You do what you want, sorry. You do what you want, you're right. Thank you. Alright, I'm going to go back, then I'm going to play two, and then... Because you're annoying me, I'm not. I'm gonna leave the fairy behind and take the baby, because the baby's not annoying me right now. <laughs> Come with me, baby. Leave this high-pitched annoying fairy in the start space. It's the bird. It's not me. It's the well, bird. she's also got a high-pitched voice for sure. The bird. The bird's annoying too, but the bird I can't detach it. It. The bird's stuck, so I can't leave the bird behind. But I would if I could, but I won't. <laughs> I am Groot. All right. And that, and I'm gonna hold sneaky. Uh, I guess I do the story entry, right? I can mm -hmm. just do that. Yep. Yeah, I don't know. It's not really an action, but sure, whatever. One, one, one. <laughs> uh. I guess right. you don't need to read it again, do you? No, we don't. We just listen to it. A group of frantic frogs emerged from the tall grasses and began to croak emphatically. Gribbert gave the local frogs a polite nod, and they immediately began to bombard the familiar with desperate croaking. Help us, help Gribert us! Gribbert shook his head in sympathy. Oh dear. Well, it seems my wearing clothes has made the locals think I'm some sort of hero. Hero! Hero! Tweets danced excitedly on Chalk's shoulder while the golem mm. made gentle applause. <laughs> uh, thank you, Chalk. But I'm afraid the situation is serious. They've lost a wee one, just a little tadpole. I know we're short on time, but perhaps we can look around? Oh, there's an exclamation token on the water space adjacent to the 111 space. Okay. In addition to Flicker, who can fly, for the remainder of this page, Grebert, who can swim, may move across solid white lines into water spaces. See the exclamation section on the current page of the location book for instructions on how to search for the tadpole. Now you place the token over there. So again, I'll read it properly this time. If Flicker or Grebert are on this space, they may attempt to search for the missing tadpole by entering 132 in the app. Uh, okay, end of my turn. I am going to draw four cards. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to click and turn, and it's flicker. Okay, well, I'm going to move on to that water space. I need one, Listen. two, three. <laughs> Listen. I need four. Hey, listen. <laughs> Let's Oh, keep... hey, Dan. I Sorry, I just saw Dan come in. You, Sorry, carry on. Dan's just, in. yeah, hello. No, I'm going to keep all <laughs> these forge tokens, because I don't know if it's going to, oh, you can't see, sorry. I'm going to keep all oh, these yeah. forge cards in case it makes me do some sort of test on there to search. 
Uh, so I'm going to move. I need four. I'll move with these two. I'm not going to trigger the draw card. I'm just going to go one, two. Oh, it's only three, but. And I'm there. So we need to uh, enter one, three, two in the app. Let's see if I can find the tadpole. The player controlling the searching familiar must make an instinct skill test. Oh, perfect character yes. for it. But do you have the cards for it? I do. Go oh, difficulty five. Let's All see right, if you pass we'll do, or fail. Uh, we'll do difficulty seven. Is there a bad? There's no danger for me staying in the water that I know of. So no, they didn't start those rules yet. Don't worry, I know. So I'm just gonna do. You're difficulty flying anyway. Seven. So you're not really touching the water. Danger. But I pass. There was much celebrating as the frogs were reunited with their little one. Even Blaze was forced to smile proudly. We gain a power. Discard the exclamation token. Place your familiar back on the 111 space. Write frog friends on the campaign journal. Mm. Aww. And anything else on your turn? Um, yes. Where am I here? We're on four. I can choose any of the above methods to reduce the discontent. So I will choose to feed the baby by spending one food to reduce the discontent by one. Oh, food goes there. That goes there. I'm on the same space with the baby. Now I'm done. Draw back up. Are you on like a bad connection, Buell? That's too bad. Are you in a bunker underground, like 16 stories or 16 floors underground in a bunker? Are you on a farm in the middle of nowhere? Those might be the reasons why it's buffering a lot, maybe. You also could put on a lower resolution, like in the YouTube app, you could force it to be on like 720 or 480 or something, and it'll play smoother because it might be trying to pull like 1440p or something that's too high for your phone to handle based on the network connection. Yeah, YouTube sometimes does that. But see you later, Buell, if you if you see this later. All right. And uh, turn. And turn. Yes. Speaker is done. Where are we? I still think it's a place the log. Oh, we, we found You have to do the might test. Remember? 131, oh, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. 131, yeah. But it, but it's if we have frog friends, right, or something? We do or? now. But is that what it was? Yep. It was minus two. Yeah, frog friends, you get minus two. Seven. So it's a seven. So we gotta have like people have link cards they're holding in hand and all that stuff. Like um now is there a play of that or is, do we just run around? I don't know. I have nothing that can help you on your Well here's the thing. I know what's gonna happen. At some point after so much danger, they're gonna say these enemies become alert. So there obviously is a play where we just sneak out of here and get across. Or maybe it'll be like, if they'll check, if there's a familiar within two spaces, they become alert. And yeah. or do a sneaky check or something. Um, and we just need to get to here. So obviously using the log is better. There's a, a risk we could go over here, try to forage. You know, over here is probably safer because we can just run out. But if there's alert enemies, we get punished. So like there's obviously a race here too, right? Probably. Yeah. Um, I, have I don't have any links, so I can't help on this turn. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven. So you'd Might. Be, you'd be doing if anything. I was doing chalk, I would have an extra, but I don't. So, but I could. Uh, I just have to get to that space, but then I have to spend a card to get there. So I wouldn't uh, have enough. You know what I mean? So I could just hold a link card and uh, like any of my twos. I, 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 yeah, because maybe I'll get a chain as well after I take my next turn. I don't have any yeah, chain I have cards. Yeah, because two twos for might here on chalk, and he has an extra on his card, so he should probably be the one doing it on his turn, but that's a lot of turns from now. But I could help move people there, mm -hmm. uh, but I'm playing Gribbit right now, so I can't really do that. I could just go over and try to lick him in the ear. That'd be cool, especially if you can fully get rid of one. Yeah, let's try that. Uh... Oh. <laughs> no. 
Uh, I have to move two to get in there. Yeah, I don't know. I'll just play these two for their move then. Maybe I'll draw them back up. I don't know. Oh, but then I'm one, two away. I still need to go one more. Oh, oh that's no good. I'll only be doing a four check on their defense of five. That's no good, right? Yeah, it's probably silly to try all this. I should just hold cards for a better chalk turn, so I'll keep these. And uh, unless I can go forage. Can, we, can you forage and get back? Yeah, let me just um, do. And then I'll try to forage with four. Oh, where's the forage symbol? Uh, oh, three. Yeah. Plus one, we're good. We're good, so you got some so. Of Our vegetables. Can you cover it? Yep. Okay. Oh, I have leap. I could have done where I put him three spaces. One, two, three. Oh, you can rewind it. No, it's too late, but I should have probably. I didn't read my actions. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. So I, I have an action, actually, sorry, that I could leap. It's just a higher agility card, that's why I wasn't reading it. Okay, maybe this is better. And then I leap to here. Scary, I'm right adjacent to them. Then I'm going to try an agility test of two, three, four, five. That's scary. That's not really good. Uh, and I do have a sneaky in there. So if I do do this, um, I, I danger goes down by one. Oh, that's cool. And one will die. I don't know if it happens just because I'm... I think it happens anyway, right? I don't oh. have to succeed because it just says when attacking. Oh, yeah. It just happens. I play it. Danger goes down by one, right? Yeah. That's cool. I would assume so. That's like... Yeah, because mine says if the attack reduces the target's life, this happens. Oh, no. Sorry, I didn't have anything to put in there to help you. Oh, well. Did what I did. Okay. Uh, so, I shuffle up. All right, in turn. All right, Blaze. You can't use Tweet to Forage. I don't think you had the card. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, there's that other card, right? That, like, just sends my birdie to go forage for free or whatever. He can go there and then... Oh, is he with the baby? What are we on? Discontent 3. Yeah, he's with the baby. So let's care for the baby. So spend one cloth to reduce the discontent by one. So we'll go to two. Okay, then let's move. Have some good forage cards. So let's move. Forward. Do they become alert when I miss? Uh, oh, I shouldn't even try that. Then. Oh, all right. Rewind. Rewind it all back. <laughs> You're right. I didn't realize that was a risk, or I would have not done a skill check that's the same. So, so go so, back to the lead. Yeah, the just I should just yeah. I'm I'm here. I did some check. I got some leaf. But you had some more movement. I don't know. Yeah, if... I would have just played all those other cards to move back. Let's just say. I don't okay. know. Sure. So then I'm thinking for the fox. Two, four, six, eight, yeah. ten. Yeah, yeah, that's too risky. I, I wouldn't do that if it wasn't like I wasn't a plus one or two at least. That's that's bad plays. I think just so that I can keep going and get some new cards, I think I'm just going to move the fox all the way to the space B. He can just get there. So... One, two, three, four, five, six. You're seven, not doing eight, an awesome might test? To... No, I got all ones. Oh, okay. And I don't have nope, any never things. So I can just move for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the only thing I'll do is I will gain that um, health going to six. And he's just there. You didn't want to go here and forage? No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get her to do it with better... Uh, 
Why wouldn't you hold some of your cards then and just right, like... So then I'll hold... You don't need to get all the way to the exit yet. You might need to help us in fighting. Two, three, four, five, six, You're seven, just running and leaving us behind? Seven, two, four, six... All right, I'm not far. I can... I don't okay, know. He'll stop here. You're right. Then I'll forage for three on three. Or you hold that for your next character's turn if you think she can forage for better. But you do whatever. But she's not even close. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, she can fly over, no? Yeah. yeah. But I'm going to forage the food. Or try. Danger. Oops, sorry. Well, you but got I, it. I did get it. So I get the food on here. Over that one. She's scouting ahead. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> nice. Then. Exactly. Right. One, two, three, four, five. Uh oh. Is this a cantina at four or five? Nope. Nice. It's at two. Well, add one to it. Are there enemies in play? Yeah. Are the enemies alert? No. Danger and enemy turn. Search. Move each unsavory that does not already share a space familiar one point towards the nearest familiar. Yeah, see, if look, it says, if, are any enemies adjacent to or sharing a space of familiar they can see? No. 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 Danger. The enemies are still not alert. Continue to the next familiar's turn. Yeah, we only have so much time. Okay, did I get any links? I got one. I can give you one on a strength test. Oh, yeah, I'm not even in that space yet. Yeah, but that's not going to be enough. I, I should have held those two twos and then, like, tried because I, I, the movement's the problem. Uh, okay, I guess I'm just moving with the baby. Oh, yeah, never mind. Never mind. And all I have to test is two, three, four, five, six. And I can give you seven. one. Seven. Seven on seven. Maybe we get lucky, I guess. I don't know. All right, I'll give you one. I do have a reroll. Uh, I don't need to heal for the hearts. Uh, yes, energy. Got power. Okay, we got it. Or whatever. Power? Power, yeah. Is that what it's called? Yeah. I got the power. All right. We got <clears> it. <throat> so, uh. I mean, do we want to go back to 131 in case I have more information? You mean information we forgot? No, but uh, pass. Place power plus one. Oh, there you go. Place a log token. Why did I do that? What power am I really on? Uh, one. You just got two. I went the other way. I don't know why I'm doing this. I, I, I don't know what's wrong with me today. I don't know. I'm losing Lock my mind. At one end of the space and the other end of the space across the river. Okay. There we go. All right. We okay. Did figures it. can now move between the two spaces. One For one movement. movement. Okay. Uh, okay, ending turn. Unless, hold on, we're getting into money now. That's two. Oh, yeah, she can buy something. Yeah, we gotta remember that. with this uh stuff, like when we can trade maybe and, and match up something to buy something, but one more mushroom and I can get some magic milk. Yeah, no mushrooms on this page, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, these cards are all cost three, so kind of gotta wait till we're at power three. Again. I have she has power three, so I could buy one just to you should have clear the cycle. I turn. probably should just buy that one, but but it's Chalk's turn. Oh, uh, minus one. Yeah, I should have done that. Oops, I think her turn is next. Yeah, okay. Uh, so I'm ending my turn. Yeah, okay. So I will do that. I'll spend the three to buy slow time. Which, as an action, will reduce the danger by you one. You can if you want, but I think it goes to. I don't know. I gotta. I gotta read. Oh, uh, that's train, right? Yep. Can't remember. Train action to perform a train action with familiar control. Choose a card from the training row to acquire. Pay the chosen card's power cost by reducing the familiar's power dial by that much. If the familiar doesn't have enough power to pay the cost, that card cannot be chosen for a train action. Resolve any acquire effect that that may be listed on the card. Place a chosen card in your skill dex discard pile, unless it's a bond or storycraft card, see below. Draw a new card from the training deck and add it to the training row, replacing the card just acquired. If there are no more cards in the training deck, shuffle any cards in this discard pile to form a new training deck. Oh, another bond. Or a bond For the card. thoughts. That was mine, should have been discarded. Okay, so we bought her card, that'll come back later. Okay, what is she doing? She is going to cross the... Three. 
Getting across. RC has nothing to do with all that hopamacus, okay? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I know I need like to recover after a day of that, and I don't. I, sh I should do that. <laughs> all right, I'm going to use reckless. I'm not going to draw the card. I'm going to use two movement. I am. I am. I'm, okay, go. Sorry. No, 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 she can fly. I'm just going to put her one, two. Sorry to interrupt. No, no, you're good. You're good. Uh, but that reminds me, I probably should delay the. The, the next Hoplomachus episode to Friday I was debating. I think I did originally schedule on the Friday. And then when I played it up, I was like, yeah, yeah, I could do it quicker. I'll do it on the Wednesday and then I'll open up like Friday to learn or play something for the weekend or whatever. But I think you just have to figure out the weekend before you decide that, right? Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. I, I shouldn't. I should move it to at least Thursday to give myself one day after we play Dice Throne Adventures yeah, because and this all weekend yeah. to then like chill have a day off because that last episode is act four it's getting serious and we and we have this the final boss fight at the end of it hopefully we make it that far and uh yeah i want to be like I'm, I'm i'm in like i want to be like on it but it always takes like a little bit to get back in the groove of that game um but yeah all righty i'm least for going me. to i want that jewel so i'm going to forage for five Plus one, we got it. So we're gonna gain a jewel. And we're gonna cover this jewel. All right, she's done. One, two, three, four, five. Go ahead. Ribbit. Ribbit. Uh, yeah, we're just running out of here yeah, ASAP, yeah. right? And then they won't be alert. Action. Place Grimmer on a space that is within three spaces and line of sight of his current space. So if I draw like one, two. I don't know if the. Could yeah, the I probably don't line. count that. Yeah. I think you can just. Within leave. three spaces, do you count diagonal in this game? You can, but it doesn't have line of sight to that space. Why not? Because of the line. I thought it's only double oh, lines. Oh, maybe it is only double lines. You're right. You're right. Did we not talk about this already? No, we did. One, Sorry. two, three. I can go like right to the exit space, right? Yeah. Or is it only counting like how, been is, is, within three spaces? You can jump diagonal. I don't know though. Like, but I'll just do it. I'll be told in a sec once the chat catches up. Uh, one, two, three. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. And, uh, I wish I could, like, do cards to, like, earn resources or something other than just skill checks for foraging in certain spaces. But I should save some movement for my big, big boy. But hopefully, hopefully those guys don't wake up before talk and go. I feel like they only moved one last time. Even if they moved two, I, I could have used some movement, though, to... Move here first, actually. If I maybe do it, mm, I don't know. Is it smart? Like help the baby get to the exit, because I could move one, and then uh, this is one to move the baby on the other side, and then one to move the baby in the exit. Oh yeah. So I don't need to leap, and then I bring the baby. So I could just spend like those. Actually, I'll spend. I think what to hold for the other guy. Yeah. I'll just spend those. Okay. Uh, and done. Okay. Oh, this is when no enemies get in play, right? Yeah, I'm still gonna I'm still gonna purchase it though. So for I'm gonna go to zero, and I'm gonna take this bond card and I'm gonna put it right here for now. There is enemies in play, so we're not gonna worry about hopefully eventually. Okay, and then he is just going to run out. You bring down their this thing right now. We need cloth. Oh. Okay. 
we do not have. Uh, let's save all. I thought these. somebody got some. I used it once. But oh, then it went okay, back okay. Up. Uh, I just need two. So let's use. Let me just check his health. Can he go up one more? Seven. Yeah. So let's play this health to move. I increase his health by one, and he's just gonna move one, two, and end his turn there. And I have to shuffle my cards. Discontent plus one. Okay. Four. Okay, move them one point towards the closest familiar. One, two, three, four. That one. One, two, three, four. Okay, we can choose. So let me see. Let's split his turn here. That's okay. Shock. So I will just. Oh, this card we never replaced. Oh, sorry. I just did that right now. Sorry. Oh, that's for you. The hide for grip it. Grab it. Hmm. Okay. So I'll just uh, do the movements. One, two. To get in there, I won't draw a card off that. So I don't need to. And I draw up and end my turn. Okay, and then flicker. she will use... Come on, Flicker, run! She'll just use this one. I won't draw the card. She just needs two. Olsen well, says, I would say you cannot move diagonally in one move as the rule book talks about movement as crossing lines. Ah, diagonally is... Yeah, it could be. Oh, designer on BGG, Edgar says, cannot move diagonally. Okay, so okay. We'll pretend that I spent the extra card and we did it. You did, Thank you, you. You took it back anyways and moved the baby. Yeah, but it's good to know, but though. It's good to know it's for future, know. yeah. yeah. Oh, Thank yeah, you. sorry. That was when I was doing the leap thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, never mind. Good. But again, I wasn't moving. I wasn't moving. That's the issue, right? I wasn't moving. I was leaping. So it just says three spaces away. But you guys are saying when you count spaces. Oh, because you're placing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not that's that's why I stopped and said this. I'm not sure if I was just moving. Yes. But I don't know what counting spaces in this game is. I'm assuming, yes, you count across single lines, never diagonally. But I don't know because like line of sight, counting spaces away. I don't know. But it probably is in the book. I'll look at it in a sec. But this is not movement, so that's why I was asking. Yeah, it wasn't about moving. I know I can't move diagonally. Maybe I said movement, but I shouldn't have. But yeah, it's probably you guys are probably right, though. Um, yeah, I wouldn't have tried to move diagonally, but I said it probably. Uh, let's see here. Let me check. Where's this line of sight? Uh, range attack, right? Line of sight. Each space on a page map has a dot printed in the rough center of that space. An attacker has line of sight to its target if an imaginary line can be drawn from the dot in the attacker space to the dot on the target space without crossing a double solid line. Mm -hmm. So like that's telling you to leap in. Yeah, like when attacking, this familiar cannot target enemies that are two or more spaces away. But if I'm drawing like lines that cross, you know, like yeah. if, if I'm targeting over here and I draw this line. Does the fact that that line goes through this space and then this space also, does that count as one, two, three spaces away? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Probably. Like, I don't know. Am I worrying about line? Like, you know, the, the flow, the crow, what is that called? The crow flies or whatever? When you just do a straight line? Uh, or am I worried about my line of sight counting how I move? That's all. I'm assuming I would just count along the line. So any space my line went into counts as a space, as a space. away. Yeah, that I, I don't know. But yeah, that's the issue. But I know you guys will figure that one out and tell me that it's obvious because of something. <laughs> so I'm on the end, so I'm so sorry. Whatever number we have to put, uh, instead of ending my turn, we can put in there. If you can see that number there. On B135. Map, map lady. Uh, follow the travel route on the campaign that leads to the Druid Stones location. 
Okay. So draw your little line to it. Okay. Make a little noise, music sound if you want while you travel. Do 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 do. Do you want to continue on or put the game away? Continue. Uh, I'm good to continue. Yeah, because we're trying to get to chapter two at least, right? Yeah. Which direction now? Fresh one. They trudged up a wet hill, arriving at a wide circle of ancient veneers, each covered in a variety of long forgotten runes. They huddled beneath the stone arch, and Blaze looked around at the liths. Who built this place? Flicker's wings began to hum with excitement. Ooh, ooh, I know the answer to that. The first humans built places like this all over Principalia. Although, when they still lived here, it wasn't called Principalia. Blaze nodded appreciatively. Impressive, Flicker. So why did they build this place in particular? Why these standing stones? I could not say. When the rain lessened, Gribbert cleared his throat. We need to head for the mill, but first we might try foraging for some supplies. Each familiar may search for supplies by performing an insight skill test. Difficulty four. So here, here's the problem. How does this work for two players? Do I literally do a skill check, then draw up and do a skill check with the other character? Because it says each familiar. I would assume so. Not each player, right? Yeah. Okay. Because each one can get. Yeah, because I only have one hand of cards to do a skill check with, so I'm assuming that's how it would work. But... Okay, so do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? Uh, I don't care. Go ahead. Okay, so it's difficulty four. I have links. I but that just means my test will be harder. No, I have some good... Uh, three... Four, so you five. can hold for like the next test, you know. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do four. So you want to do like five or six? All right, here's five. If you pass, you take a forage token of your choice. So this is how you get a whole bunch of diapers. That is true. All right, we're doing five, and this is for flicker. Uh, no rerolls in there. Plus one. We we are successful, so she's good. Or take something or that take gets you a good item. I want you to have this. But item. I would probably worry about discontent, actually. So take, like, yeah. whatever's harder uh, to get so far. Cloth has been harder to get. It's a may. Read consequences. Uh, Pass, uh, after all players that have that want to have finished searching this way... It, what? All players that want to have finished searching in this way, if danger is at Five or higher disconnect discontent goes up by one. What is it at right now? One. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Oh, so so Edgar, you're saying like based on us playing cards that might have danger symbols on them, it might raise it up too high. Yeah, because there's no penalty. For yeah, it, like really. it does say in the rule book, like sometimes there's just no penalty, but there is because like if you were using um fatigue cards right now, there could be uh, a penalty from that. But yeah. That's true. Yeah, you're not failing, like, not, you're just, your fail is you don't find anything. So that's, like, your, your fail condition. Okay, so Flicker was successful. We're going to go with Blaze now, who is going to do a test for five. Five. I don't know if we're supposed to go in turn order either, but. Oh, I don't know. I, I, I would assume so. I don't even know what so. our turn order is. It's uh, Fox, Chalk. Flicker, grip it, maybe? Oh, do you want me to? Or no. I went out of order. I have no idea. Who cares? Go. Okay. So we're going for I'm just saying out loud. I don't, I don't care, but. No, But Mel. we did get it. Mel. Oh, yeah. The mm -hmm. danger die. Duh. We also can get it from that. Let's go with. I'm defending. Let's go with a wood. Let's go with a wood. And then I guess he draws back up. Or no, he doesn't. I assume so. I don't know. One, two, three. Okay, so I'll, I'll go with chalk. And uh, I'll just do test for six. I'll do it all. Six. Okay. Plus, Plus two. two. You got it. What would you like? Uh, The diaper one. Whatever helps the oh. discontent, because it'd be good if he had it, right? Because... Mm -hmm. Baby in the space usually, and I can care for it. Yep. Uh, or there's food, right? But we'll. There's food. I, don't know I if took. We'll ever I get took... it down low enough. For <laughs> yeah, I have a food. Okay. Well, right now we can choose. Oh well. Because it's at four. But... Sure. But again, we only have limited resources. We're only like 
a handful of tokens for each one, so you can't like hoard. Um, and I do have a link if you need for this one. Battle harness, wind defending. Oh, look at this one. Uh, so if the fox had this, and you were defending, if you had the fox symbol, uh, I think even with your other character, if you're defending, because you, you, you're playing oh, yeah. two player, right? Yep. So you get the bonus of like, you might have a fox card on your other character's turn, but you could lower danger on defense with this one, which is a gem and a cloth. Which I do have, but I took the cloth for the diaper. Yeah, but... yeah, yeah. I'm just saying forward. Maybe eventually. Uh, the shield with wood. We can get an oaken shield. Uh, for you, that's good for you. Does right? it have any thorns in it? Is there any thorns in this oaken shield? No, it looks like an arrow. Okay. Um, when defending, you for the mountain, you get plus one. It's heavy and flammable. Oh, yeah. I so if you go on fire, if you ever put on fire, you lose all your flammable items. I think only <laughs> chalk can hold that, right? Because I can't hold any heavy, heavy. No. Yeah, only chalk can hold heavy items. Yeah. That makes sense. That's so cool. Uh, then we got the Rustic Sling. <laughs> the Rustic Sling uh, is a ranged weapon. Uh, it's two cloth. When attacking, if I have the, I don't know, arrow, bullseye symbol, whatever that is, I get agility plus one. Oh, I like that. Or Sneaky Sneaky uh, reduces... The danger. Interesting. That is for your frog, for sure. Or Obviously, for your yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously. Oh, this is cool. All right. Um, so then, the you, frog. Yep. Uh, yeah. I'll just do a test of six. Oh, okay. There you go. I don't have any bad cards in there. Let me double check. I don't need any heal or anything. I don't want to draw cards, so it's fine. Plus two. You All got right. it. What would you like? Uh, you like cloth, or do you want something different? Cloth. Lock. I'm going to save up to try to buy some of these items here. We only have one more cloth. So yeah, yeah, so we got to spend anything. it soon. Okay. I think it's smart. Oh. Otherwise, we have to trade. And these, do we just get like whatever the top one is? How do we get these? I don't know how those work yet. They'll probably tell oh, they'll us. Oh, they probably give us. Yeah, it probably tells you when to go find it. Oh. Those are probably story, like, um, you know, when you things you find along the way in the story. Yeah. That's why they're face up. You just grab which one you need. Okay. I could probably move them off. Uh, okay. After all players want to finish, if danger is at five or higher, nope. Discontent plus one. Is that four or five? Yeah, it's at four. Uh oh. The infant wailed, but her anguish was covered by the rain and distant thunder. Yet the familiars looked around in awe, for as the baby cried, tiny, delicate flowers sprouted up and pushed up between the stones an unsettling glow began to radiate from the stones. And in that glow, the tiny flowers bloomed and were lovely. The stones that sat around the baby began to turn golden. But the child's pitch changed, became more shrill. And suddenly, the flowers blackened and began to curl up. The otherworldly light faded away. Ribbert looked around, then back to the others. What was that? None could answer, but they stared at the baby in amazement. Misfortune plus one. Oh, no. Our first misfortune. All players draw back up to hand of five cards. Oh, okay. oh so we shouldn't have drawn? Well, this messy, this it's is messy. messy. With the two. I don't know. Like, could we have only have forged with one character each? Or, I don't know. So we weren't really taking turns. You were just... But then at two player, like you could only yeah, it seems do like, like one test then or yeah. lame. Nope. I don't care. We broke it. Maybe we'll do it better next time. All right. The baby is cold. Set the discontent dial to five. Oh no. Follow the travel route on the campaign travel map that leads to the old mill location. Fill in the bubble at the location. Oh, that was a quick one. We didn't have a fight there. The old mill had lurked in its location for over a century but had laid vacant and decomposing for nearly a quarter of that time. Some folk called it the old Smithwick Mill, but considerable time had passed since that name meant anything to anyone. Blaze led the way. Come on, we're almost there. Flicker looked around nervously. I don't know, this place looks awfully scary. Gribbert gave her a reassuring smile. Oh, it doesn't look too bad to me. What's so scary anyway? 
Flicker pointed out at the moldering fields. Well, there's the murder scarecrow. Lightning crashed, and indeed, the familiars saw a raggedy figure that staggered along, its arms outstretched before itself like night gaunt. Page, page seven. Clean up all this junk. All the tokens. The logs. Page seven. <gasps> Uh -oh. oh, what is going on here? Creepy town. Page seven and follow the starting setup instructions. All right. Place the baby and the familiars on the flag space. Oh, gosh. Is there uh -huh. fire in here? No. Okay. Uh, generate an encounter of two. Tatter thrall. I'm assuming it's these or something. Yeah, I think it is. These guys. Oh, cool. <laughs> Scary nightmare time. Thanks for painting these. Oh, they're no great problem. and they're scary. <laughs> All right. Uh, there's no, oh, yeah, we divide them into half because oh, two. Uh, two enemy spaces. There is two. Divide them as equally as possible. After uh, reviewing the special rules section, continue to the next familiar's turn. Special rules we have hiding spots. Enemies cannot see a small or medium figure on a hiding spot. Oh, hiding spots again. Uh, okay, so we have one down here. Oh, I see. Okay. Unless sharing that space. And oh. they will not move toward them unless there are no other familiars in sight. If the baby is on a hiding spot and discontent is at four or five, the hiding spot has no effect. Oh, man. The baby won't shut up. Baby won't stop crying. Shut up, baby. Okay, these guys have attack and defense of six. They move for two. It's Gribbit's turn. Oh, gosh. So oh, the I got page it. goal, the page goal is to break down the door to the old mill at exit space A. Okay. Oh, to get it. Okay. Uh, get all familiars and the baby to exit space to leave this location. If any enemies are in play when you leave, there'll be a penalty. Okay, they only have two health. So these guys are weenies. And they move for three. Attack is an asterisk. Oh, sorry, that's these guys. Oh, sorry. Oh, scuttles. They're... Okay, there's going to be more stuff probably. Uh, maybe those are the tokens. Yes, they don't have. They're probably tokens. All right. Probably tokens. Uh, tatter thralls oh, yeah. have two movement, six attack. Woo. Zero range, six defense. Their size medium. Their loot is an extra power. Scatter. Unless a tatter thrall is on fire when it's defeated. Generate an encounter of three scuttles and place them on the space the Tatter Thrall occupied. So well, they're built up of these creepy hands. And unless we burn them, these all run out of the scarecrow like little cockroaches. Luckily, we have some sparks. Fire, 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 <laughs> fire, fire, fire. We can put them on fire, but I'm not going first. So we may have to deal with a couple of these. Uh, Kanja says you're nearing the end of the whole game. No, of chapter on page seven of chapter two, because all think right, this... and then it also says I played this one. I played this one slightly wrong. Be aware of movement. Okay, we'll be aware of movement. Two movement, and these guys have three movement, and then the double lines maybe is what you're also talking about. There's some double lines. Ah, uh, yes, 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 we'll yes. Try to be very careful. Thank you for the heads up. Cloth. We can get cloth. There's some book entries. We can get mushrooms. First things first, light them on fire and kill them. At least one of them. I'm not, yeah, I can't, I don't even know. Okay, grab it, grab it, grab it. Could we handle getting so, three though? exit A, the door to the old mill is locked. You cannot exit until it has been broken down. So we probably gotta do a might test right here on 119. Breaking down the door requires a familiar on this space to pass a might skill check difficulty eight. Oh, goodness. We need to buy new cards. This is ridiculous. I think I can cycle some of those if we don't like any of them. How do you cycle? I have a card that lets me take, oh. like, discard the top card and look at the three and put one out. Or oh, something. man. Yeah, yeah. But we need to be building our decks. We, yeah, but now that we know kind of, like, how our decks run. These, might, these checks are getting higher and higher and, like, we're not changing our cards. I did get one. I guess this helps. I don't think it was... Uh, if you pass, you get power plus one. The familiars can now use this exit. 
If the door has been broken down at the end of any familiar's turn, if all familiars in the baby are on the space, you may leave this location instead of pressing end on the app. Upon leaving, enter 136 in the app. When leaving, if any enemies are in play, you gain one misfortune. Oh, okay, we don't want that. We probably could kill <sighs> one. Oh, in cloth here. is here. Yeah. Ooh. We only have one cloth remaining, so I may have to spend... I'm thinking of spending my cloth and my gem to get this one. <laughs> Action, please. Grab it. On a hiding spot in space, acquire. You may banish one card from your hand or discard pile. Mm. None of them are good in the strength department, though. But there is some good agility. I know, which he could be my our fighter. Yeah, but I don't have any. Power. That lowers danger if he's sneaky. Yeah, if you can kill one enemy, you will get a power. Okay, That's but I only have. I'm um, Gribbert's turn. I only have five agility in my hand. And that is too many spaces away. Oh, yeah. I think. Let's check with dotted the dot. I draw dot to dot. It passes through one, two. So I just know that's two spaces away. But the double lines, I think, block that oh, one. Oh, that's correct. That's You're one, correct. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So I'd have to get to here. And then I could draw a straight line here. And that's one space away. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. But that's risky. But maybe we can take a turn or two. Maybe I can get them on fire, and then I'm going to shuffle my deck. I'm, I might just go read 118. Before. Yeah, then I'm going to shuffle uh, my deck, and hopefully I can get the other one on fire. Mm. Yeah, and then... Yeah, because fire will kill them too, right? Faster? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'll just play Reckless. Move for two or one, whatever. I'm going to go here. Uh, we'll do one, one, eight. Right, I can move in there. Everything's good. Mm -hmm. The remains of an old farm cart lay on its side where it had collapsed, one of its wheels having long ago abandoned its burden. Shattered barrels, once used to transport grain, lay on the ground. The earthy scent of moldering wood was thick in their nostrils. We gained two wood. And Love that smell of the wood. Okay, I like that, that the story is giving us resources. Cause yeah, which there, works for buying an oaken shield. Which you want to have. But not for him. But it's in your deck. Oh, right, no, right, right, no. right, right, right. I, if I trade, danger goes up. So yeah, you're right. Uh, you yeah. Oh, get it? I get it. Because he has the wood. So even if I bought this, I have to hold it in my stash or something or use it. And, but it just doesn't do as much. Oh no, I can't because it's heavy. Then we have to do a trade action while well, I'm in his space, and we can trade. But danger goes up one. So it's like, you, we just have to do it at some point. Yeah, we just gotta wait till the enemies are gone. Okay. Uh, place the token over that story symbol. Continue the turn. Okay, I'm gonna try to forage, I think. What's foraging? Four. Okay. Uh, so I'll just slap down five, I think. I can give you a two, if you want. I could hold this assist to help you. Okay, I'll give you two. But then you will have less cards on your turn. Yeah, but I still have high four. No, no, cards. don't do that. Okay. I'll just do five. Okay. And we'll try. Minus one. Yes. We're good. Okay, that's the last cloth. Oh, beautiful, beautiful play. Rustic sling. Uh, I would have to take an equip action, which I could do right now, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think you have to for equip. I don't think it like, cost anything. No, but I can only have one thing. So this will go in my stash. I don't know where that'll be. I'll just put it like that for now. I guess I could put it like this. Let's let's move this down. Let's stash it. Okay, got my sling. Okay. Yeah, because they were both ranged, right? Uh, yeah, can, yeah, yeah. I think you can have one of each, right? Something? Nope. Oh. I think it's one or the other. It's just like one weapon. One weapon. Yeah, yeah, I think it's one weapon. Pretty sure. Maybe you can have two. I think it's or. Uh, down here. Down here. You can have Equipment one limits. weapon, yeah. Yeah, okay. Four. Okay. Uh, then we'll replace. Uh, I spend. 
Oh, that's for me. Magic and flammable. What is this? Ancient mushroom. It's the bright shards ranged weapon. When attacking, if you have a wand symbol, you get an extra agility on it. It's magic and it's flammable. Hmm. I feel, like like, the, I feel like the early stuff is probably flammable because it's like, it's weak. It could go away, but we'll get better stuff later, maybe. All right. Um, I can't buy any cards. I wish I could because I want to cycle some and get some more story ones coming out and stuff. But kind of locked there, but that's okay. Um, done. Uh, I'm going to click. And turn. Fox time. Fox's turn. Okay, let's see. I need... Him. Okay. Hmm. I do have a link card, uh, whatever, a chain or whatever, if you need. Well, I'm just debating. Like, do I just go and kill or try? Oh, I don't have enough. Oh, can you cover this? Oh, yes. Sorry. My cloth is showing. Cover it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know what to do per se. Can you not let him on fire? Not with, not oh, yet. Oh, not no. the fox. Not with, oh, oh, I guess I can. Yeah, we need this two target player. an enemy that is. Yes, two, you can do oh, it. Oh, two spaces. One, two. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay. Do it. Burn uh, so let's do this action. Flicker targets an enemy within two spaces. That uh, The target becomes on fire. Danger goes up by one. Yeah, because it would suck if you had to literally sit there okay. holding that card forever. Yeah, you're right. So that's the square enemy. Danger goes up by one. Oh, no. Now, can I? Yeah, you want to get on your discard pile as fast as possible. Get it back again. One, two. Danger two. One, two. Then I can only attack for three. Mm, defense of six? Yeah. Don't uh, no, Mel, because so, no, I know. If if you do some quick math, uh, and you check this, I'm just joking. No, I know, I know. <laughs> I'm saying like two now. Two plus two is not six. That's okay. I'm just trying to think of what else I could do. I could run. Two plus two is four. We can go right through enemies, right? Like we don't have to stop. Uh not that I know of. Like no. I could just go up here and forge up there. I'll see why Get not. Yeah. One, two, three. If you want, yeah. It's a four to forage, though. Yeah. But if you're trying to cycle your cards fast, yeah, go do something with them. So let's spend four. Can you buy any cards or cycle anything here? Not yet. Can you, can you tell the baby to shut it? No, we got to find the fire. Oh. It's the only way, oh, well, we're the in only trouble. way to... Uh, yeah, we're going to have our misfortune flying through the roof then. Mm -hmm. We ignore the baby too much. Or, or one, two, three, doesn't matter. Okay, yeah. And then let's forage... For five. Oh, I can help if you want. Uh, it's four to four. It's up to you. Keep that for yourself. If I miss this, I miss this. Okay. Danger. <laughs> but I still got it. So, and I can, I don't have to take the mushroom. I can take whatever I want. I think I take, or I can take cloth or, sorry, cloth or food. I think I take a cloth. No. Uh, I put it back. That all yeah, you did put it back. Because I want to try to get this. Okay, yeah, then grab the cloth. Grab a cloth. And then I have a cloth. Oh, but you can get it with this guy. I know, but that's the wrong character. Well, don't just sit around the resources forever and, and never use them. But yeah, you could see an item that she can get or something. But we should, you could She's trade. She's for this with that. She just needs a mushroom. Oh, okay. So I'll get a mushroom later. But then you just, <laughs> it just took the mushroom spot. That's <laughs> fine. What are you doing? And then and draw. One, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, it discontents at four or five, right? Yep. The babe's shrill cry pierced the night. Misfortune plus one. That two. And that is torture. The baby cry? Yeah, not as bad as Yoshi's Island, right? But it's still bad. You guys know what I mean. Is your misfortune now at five or higher? No. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, man. No, 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 no. Are there enemies in play? Yeah. yeah. All these steps. Uh, so this one burns itself, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. uh, move each enemy that does not already share a space with familiar or the baby up to their move value towards the nearest familiar or baby. Okay. So their yeah. move value is two. two. So this one definitely is just going here. And so this one, one, two, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Resolve a melee attack with each enemy that shares a space with one or more familiars. Okay, so I can go first up here because I think I'll probably just discard. It's six, two. Yeah, they're attacking for six. Three, 
four. No, I'll keep this one. Keep this one. Come at me, bro. Two, three, four, four, five. Five. I have a reroll in here. Minus one. I'll use the reroll. Plus two. We got it. We fully block it. Done. Defense. Yep. Okay, I'll block with chalk, I think. I think. I'm not oh. worried about the guy in my space because he's on fire, so. Oh, no, he's not. Never mind. I'll, I'll block for uh, four. Power. Yes, now you can get a card. When it's my turn. Nice. <laughs> Uh, but the problem is, I block for four hits for six, so I lose two. Yeah, but then it makes those other heart cards. I know. I like. I like yeah, you. Taking a little bit of damage is not bad. Yeah, that wasn't. Uh, the next, we move again. Let's see. Resolve a melee attack. Okay. Move. A, move each enemy that does not already share space. Move one point towards the nearest familiar baby. Capture. capture if one or more unsavory. Oh, this is just no generic me. text. They're just dropping in here. They don't even know what enemy we're dealing oh, with. Yeah. yeah, it's just the same then. So only the unsavory are stealing the babies. <laughs> and there's no unsavory here yet at this time. Okay. Uh, so it's, it's Chalk's turn. Oh, but I haven't... I see. I forgot. I know, it. I did the same thing. Yeah, but I forgot it was his I should have taken some damage. I so should have too. I thought the guy in my space was on fire, but he's not. Crap. Yeah, I should But this guy's on fire. You could just leave him. Like, run away from him. Do whatever you want to do. Oh, but shouldn't he have rolled a die or something with the oh, fire thing? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, yeah, he might not still be on fire. Okay. On Okay, reduce the figure and roll a die. If a positive number is ro rolled, remove the affliction. If a danger is rolled, it's plus one danger. A positive. So, oh, he's not on fire anymore. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. I forgot that that can go away so simply. I'm assuming that's how that works. Yeah. It just says a figure. Yeah. So I'm assuming we, we both do the same oh. thing. Well, hopefully I draw that card again quickly. Maybe we can just deal with some of these scuttles. They, they only have one health. Like, yeah. they don't... I'm pretty sure. So that it, like they, And they're only four to kill. But they're, we'll have to deal through six of them. But well, I feel I like I, we just wait. Yeah. Um... So, I think... We could also still do one damage to the circle guy. Is there any more forge spaces left? No, right? Uh, no. Okay, could have done one for free. There's a there's a book space. Like yeah, I will do... I will move to that. With uh, baby? Even though I probably should just hold, so Chalk maybe could break down the door in the future. Oh. Otherwise, I'm leaving... Crap. Because we'll never do it unless I, I hold up to that many cards, but then how am I getting over there, right? Yeah. So... All right, I'll just move for two. Take the baby. baby. Yep. Oh, sorry, gotta and... go here. Oh yeah, sorry. That's uh, okay. Yeah. You still want to do that? Yeah, yeah, okay. whatever. And then I'll end turn. Play or uh, flicker, flicker. Only has one card. Can't really do much. Just gonna move for two. And is gonna think. Join you here with the baby. How does that fire card work? Can you do it like anywhere on the board or only within certain... two? Okay. Maybe I actually should move here. Oh, that doesn't have line of sight. One, two. I gotta stay there. Okay. Well, no, you could go here, draw then... the line here. That's one, two. But then I'm not two from this guy. But you want to burn the guy that has one health left yeah. so it dies on fire. There's no point in putting fire on that guy. I know. I just thought if somebody kills that guy, but yeah, you're right. Okay. Oh, I see. No, oh, we'll no, see. but no. this guy we want to die first. Oh, I didn't get it. Because then we can kill him with easy peasy. This guy we should attack. Just get him down to one damage. That's what damage. I'm thinking, but I didn't have any cards, but I will have yeah, cards yeah. on my next turn. But it's like, then the last hit, just light him on fire, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, these are good for your might test. Oh, but we can't, Why? I can't share them because it's five right there on that might test. Yeah, so maybe we do it on the Foxy's turn. But I gotta move them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll see. Okay. So what's happening here? End turn. Ending turn? Yeah, I only have one card. I don't have two. Grab it. So I can attack further away now, right? Yeah, so How do I know? Side. You should be in line of sight of you. Anywhere on the board then? Yeah. It's just that tongue lashing was only one away. Yes. Ah, okay. 
All right. So in that case, I do have line of sight up to this guy because I can draw a line there. So uh, there's six. Mm -hmm. I don't have any chains, sorry. Yeah, let's do this. Do it all. Um, unless I should do some movement here instead. But I do have, oh, I do have extra agility from these two, so let me... Let me you don't want to use this one, right? Because you don't want the extra damage? Um, unless yeah, we can, not. We can kill one. Up to you. And leaves three enemies attacking, and it says, "Okay, so let's see this. Uh, their attack is hive mind scuttles sharing a space, move and attack together as if they were one enemy. The scuttles' attack value is three plus the number of scuttles on that space. So it could be as high as six, and then it gets weaker as we take them out. Yeah, but I can't take them out, and if they go, okay, before... then just do, just do, don't put the mask in, so you don't have that plus one, and then he won't die." I don't, no, no, it's not extra damage, Mel. It's, it's, I want to do that to lower the danger. Oh, I thought it was extra damage. No, right, I, I don't have any extra damage with this guy. I apologize. So I'm going to play this. It is a seven, eight, nine. Roll die. Minus one. Still good, but I could re roll, but it's risky. <laughs> but I'm, yeah, let's just let it go. <laughs> uh, so one damage up to this guy. Pia. Uh, a lower danger because of that symbol I played on that weapon. Being sneaky. Nice. I need to get mine that lowers danger. And then I think I will move one, two. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, I got shuffled. Uh, this is my whole deck. Um, yeah, uh, end turns, all right? No problem. All right, Blaze. So, what are we going to do? Just Blaze. We are going to move. I want to hold those cards. So, let's. Problem is, I'm one, two, three, four. All right, let's spend two, two cards, move four. One, two, three, four, 119. The door to the windmill had not seen use in ages, and it had broken free of the upper hinge, causing the door to lean into the door frame. Frame and door were damp and swollen, and gaining entrance would not be easy. But there was something else unfortunate about the door as well, and it made Flicker gasp. <gasps> a large V shape had been carved into it, with a horizontal dash across the V's middle. The sign of the cursed! Flicker hissed, then fluttered behind Gribbert, tightly grabbing hold of his shoulders. Something terrible has befallen this place. Gribbert winced and removed Flicker's claw-like grip. Well, whatever happened here, it was a long time ago, I'm sure. This content at four or five? You betcha. Blaze grimaced and shook her head, and Gribbert gave her a questioning look. You okay, Red? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just, I had the strangest premonition. Like something bad happened here once, and I could almost taste it. Blaze, acquire one fatigue? Oh, oh yeah, so just add it to your discard pile. Misfortune plus one. Oh my god. Place the cross token over the story space. Continue your turn. I am done my turn. You don't want to try to break the door down? Uh, Do you have enough? No, I have. I thought you had a ton in your I hand. have uh, six. No chains, sorry. But I'm building up. I've saved those and I'm ready. Okay. But, uh, one, two, three, four. Chalk. Okay, so I have... One, two, three, four, five, six. What was the door again? Uh, Nine. Eight. Oh, eight. Eight. I can try, but it's... We'll gain misfortune, but I think it's fine. Oh. Oh, no, we won't. We'll only gain misfortune if we leave. Yeah. But yeah, we could break the door down. I might as well try. It could get a plus two, but I doubt it. 
Or I should just, I should really just... You have to move, sorry, you have to move there. Oh yeah, yeah, so then I'm not going to do it. Okay, so in that case, I'm just going to keep holding the twos. But I kind of want to draw into the links. I'll have eight. Yeah, I should probably just try to draw into links. Um, but what else could I do on my turn? I could buy a card. Uh, so this one has my picture on it, so I should probably look at it. Acquire, you may banish a card from your hand or discard pile. Oh, I see. So, this one's good for you too, eh? Oh yeah, because I'm buying. I could buy yeah, for both characters, yeah. right? Or this one, right? You said with the the symbol. Uh, but I like this one with the agility and the defense is yeah, good. good. But I don't know. Focusing is good for foraging. Yeah, I'll just spend all three, and we'll take Lucky, because it's got the reroll symbol on it. Mm -hmm. And then we'll, oh, look, at there's a link for us oh, with two on it. Oh, look at that. That's what I really needed. Ah! Dang it. I wish somebody bought another card before me. Hmm. Sorry. I don't have three, I have zero and zero. All good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, could I buy an item? No, I'm good. Uh, so then, I guess I'll just move. Oh, I know what I can do. I can do like, I'll move to bring baby. And then move back. And then I could... Don't bring me. Is that what you're thinking? Because I need to put them on fire. Oh, that's right. Play. Yes, yes, yes. All right, sorry. Then I'll just... Actually, I could put, I could put either on fire from there. Or no. Yeah. One. Just, one, just one. draw the straight dot. That one is one space. Uh, it actually hits the double line though when you try to draw. Oh no! It no, not. I was thinking from here I would just do this guy. Yeah, yeah. But from oops. here, I think. Oops, oops, oops. Where's the dot on this one? This one is one two. That one is one two. So from here, I can actually hit either one. But this enemy's got to go all the way around to get us, right? Yeah. So we're kind so of I'll safe just put in there. Fire on that one first. Um, I'll play this action uh, for Gribbit to place him in. Hmm. I don't want to be able to fire on these guys. Oh, I do have some good Gribbit cards. Maybe I don't play this card then. Yeah, maybe I just worry about attacking next. So yeah, this just the sneaky to move. Nope, I play just this to move. Yeah. Okay. Oh, but then I'm not building up for my strong. I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I just need this one for the fire, but I have eight. I just, okay, then I need to get links. Like, I wish I could discard cards, though. Just move around, I guess, and move back. Mm. Okay, then I'll just play this to move uh, one into there. And then uh, I could place Gribbit up there with us. Oh yeah, but we gotta kill them still, right? So we don't have to. We just gain one misfortune. But I mean, I don't know how to reduce the misfortune. Probably just punishes you at the end of like a chapter, or an era, or something based on what you're doing. Oh yeah, you're right. Because it, it does affects you going it forward. It does have like this chapter. Oh. One. So we, it probably does reset, <laughs> yeah. and then we have to. Okay, if that's the case, I'll I'll leave the froggy guy to help. But I want to get a chain card so bad in my hand. So when you're doing your test, oh, it's a fox next. Uh, it doesn't matter who it is, but I don't know who it is. Oh, it yeah, won't yeah. matter because I just need to spend this one for the fire. Okay, I'm just gonna say no and end my turn and then draw a card. Nope, not the card. Flicker. Okay, so let's uh, flicker targets and enemies in two spaces. The target becomes on fire plus one damage. Oh, you don't even have to Danger. do line of sight, it's just within two spaces. Oh, within two spaces. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, not diagonal. Uh, one, two. Yeah. So we'll do this one. Okay. And then danger's up by one. Okay. So that one will likely die. Yep, that yep. guy won't be able to reach us. So then I can do my, I can do the test on the door. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is it eight on eight? Yep. Is that probably bad, right? Well, you're only going to miss on like a negative one or that negative two that we'd never seem to roll. You know, that negative two we've seen 16. Oh. 16 times since so far. Power! 
Flicker. Yeah. We got it. Who's this? This is Flicker. Yes, we got the door open. Okay, door's broken down. Uh, so you get an extra power. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And familiars can now use the exit. Okay. Um, I think that is... Oh, she's going to... But we are going to kill these monsters. Yeah, one's going to... Uh, okay, I think that is all. Yep. One, two, three, four. And then I'll shuffle these up. I'll do a drop. Just hopefully <laughs> pushing that right. fire card to right. the top. <laughs> right. <laughs> Right, God, that's so joking. How dare you, he says, Mel not have the psychic ability to know what the top card of the deck was? Mel needs a timeout to hone her mental psionic talents. Yes, ag agreed, Brian, agreed. How dare oh, you? I got it. I got it. Oh, you couldn't see, but I did drop shuffle them. Okay. Fire, 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 fire. I just don't, I think they're going to go before, but that's still fine. I just wish. Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh... Okay, end turn? End turn, yeah. Oh, Serenity now. Oh, this is going to suck. Yeah. The vain shrill cry pierced the night. Is that five or higher? No. no. Enemies in play? Yeah. Okay, so burn this guy up. He's this gone. This guy's gone. So again, I think... Uh, get a power. I get the power because I it. Sure, take it. it. Yeah, whatever. So Buy some three. cards. Uh, mm -hmm. And then... Oh, uh, and then this guy moves too. One, two. Yeah. And then it tries to attack, no, but then it moves again one more towards the nearest guy or baby, but uh, Froggy guy's hiding. Capture, not happening. Done. Okay. Ribbit. Ribbit. Is he on fire? Not yet, but he will be. Oh, I see. I gotta wait. Oh, and that was square. Square is gone. Okay, so I could have shot at him, but we're not going to. And this is uh, easy. All right, so I will just leap. And then uh, pass. Draw. Unless there's cards to buy. Oh, man, I'm going to buy. No. All right. Blaze's turn is going to use the spark, uh, setting this guy on fire. And then danger goes up by one, but I'll reduce it by one so you don't have to do anything. Okay. And then I will just end my turn there. One. Uh, hey, Mike, it's going good so far. Yeah, the app just has some quirks. We had to get used to a little, a little rough starting with it, but um, yeah, it seems fine. It, it's okay. Doing what it's doing. But yeah, it hasn't crashed us or anything weird. And we are playing off the downloaded Windows files. Like I'm not I'm playing it in like a you know a little little developer window or something. Um that's just running it locally, if that makes a difference. So I'm assuming the code is the same version of code that's running in the website, I would hope, but if that you're using, but um sorry, what am I doing? Enter. Enter. He's on fire now, so if you did want to kill him, you could. But it's up to you. Oh, I have a see. chain of one. So the problem is Rockman would have to move. Rockman doesn't have any rocks. Yeah, we can leave him, but I'm just saying if you did want. I have a reroll. Okay, so I will move with my buddy. Then the problem is I can't get back in the space to then at the end of the turn leave, but we could do it. Yeah, then I'm screwed. I'm trapped there. Okay, but I, okay. Then wait for a range guy. If, yeah, like if you don't have to do anything. Yeah, okay. End turn. Yeah. She's range. Okay, perfect. She's range. So let's do, oh, but I only have uh, two, three, four, five, six. I have six. They're on, they're six. I wish I could care for the baby. Can I not care for the baby? No, right? No, we can't do anything for the this baby. This is so weird. Because we got to find fire. There's no space with fire. Uh... <sighs> but we really have to take it more serious of like, as soon as we have the chance, like do the focus test of six. Like get yeah. it done. Do the, spend the cloth, do whatever. But maybe not. Maybe it's okay to let a little bit happen because the cloth also stops us from upgrading stuff. So like, I don't know what's better in the long run. That's true. We'll see. Okay, I'm just going to do an agility test of... 
six, two, three, four, five, six, six on six. <laughs> it's a uh, range, so she can fire in there. Uh, I don't have any wands okay. uh, and no reroll. Plus one. Got him. He's dead, and he's on fire, so we don't have to worry about this Boom. battle. And you get a plus one power. I get plus one power. Nothing here I wanted to trigger there. Plus one power. I'm going to buy a card in a second. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's do... I think I want this one. Yeah. Okay, I'll spend three on this one. Point Avoid. One. Look at It's a foxy card. Oh, oh, look at that. When defending, all agility on cards played in this defend become this. Oh, oh wow. Wow. Okay, that's Three okay. movement. Okay, and then we're all in the space. Oh, this is gone. So we, whatever the number is, it tells us to go. To. Uh, one, three, six. Follow the travel route on the campaign travel map that leads to the rest assured location. Fill in the bubble on that location. Okay. Do you want to continue? I'm okay to continue. But it's up to you. I don't, know. I don't know if that's the end of chapter one. Uh, like, does this start chapter two? I don't know. It's up to you. I'm fine with another continue. little bit. Let's continue. Chalk gave a tug and the door swung open with a crack. The rest of them gathered behind the golem and nervously peered into the cavernous dark of the mill. The place stunk of must and decay and vole droppings. Blaze already knew she didn't like this. I don't like this. Oh, come on, Red. Ribbert shrugged, but the fox insisted. I smell malice and fear. Marillius would have told us if this place was haunted. Gribbert knew invoking their master's name would get results. They all trusted the old wizard implicitly. But Flicker was inclined to agree with Blaze. Those things are still out there. We need to get the door shut and barricaded as soon as possible. And with that, she drew her delicate willow wand and began to weave a web of light that slowly brightened up the interior. Far away outside, there came a terrible screech that gradually faded into the sounds of the approaching storm. Okay, turn to page nine. Uh, yeah, yeah, that baby crying sound, it, uh, it hurts. It hurts. Okay, rest assured. Oh, yeah, this is still chapter one. Okay. Forage three on this one, starting setup. Oh, they give you a lot more rules on this one. Oh, wow. Place the baby and familiars on the starting space. Down here down in the bottom here. corner somewhere. Okay. Uh, generate an encounter with two of those tatter thralls. Uh, I see enemy space here. I see enemy space there, one and two, so just split them up. Uh, they got two health each. Okay. okay. Uh, they're medium size. They have two movements, same stats as last time, plus some power. Okay. After reviewing the special rules and victory objective sections, continue the next familiar's turn. Special rules. Stairs. Moving from a stair symbol space to the other stair symbol space requires one point of movement. Uh, so there's stairs. Where's the other stairs? Uh, over here. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. This is the bottom floor, and then goes up oh, to another floor. Oh, I see. I see. Cool, cool. Uh, so they're just saying these two spaces are adjacent. Okay. Okay. Barricades. Once an entrance has been barricaded, treat it as a double solid line instead of a dashed line. Okay. So it'll tell us at some point. I'm assuming that's why there's gears here to, like, do something with the gears like these. Um, in the victory point objective section, or victory objective section, in order to win the chapter, you must complete these objectives. All three entrances are barricaded. All familiars and the baby are on the fire space. There's a fire space. We can actually help fire. the baby. Finally. Fire. Okay. okay. Once these objectives are complete, at the end of any familiar's turn, if all familiars and the baby are on, the, on this space, you may leave this location instead of uh, pressing enter in the app, hit 129. It says there's no exits. See the victory objective sections on this page for information on how to advance. The fire space to light a fire, spend one wood, place it on the space, and pass the insight skill test of difficulty three. On a pass, you get an extra power. Place a fire token under the wood token. Uh, the warmth effect now applies to the space. Warmth. Uh, warmth is if the fire is lit. A familiar on this space doubles the number of life gained when playing cards with the heal icon effects. If the baby is on the space when the fire gets lit, or the first time the baby is moved onto this space while it's lit, 
discontent minus two. Oh, we have to do this. Okay, we have to do this. Okay, what else we got? Uh, okay, we can do the next turn. And then those gears we don't read So yet. the gear, well... I think we read them when we get on them, right? Sure. But it's up to But you. it says a window on the one gear. Only small enemies and familiars can move through this entrance. I think that's this one. Oh, going out there, yeah, I see. Going out there. Barricade. To barricade this entrance, discard one skill card and spend one wood. Oh, so we need to have lots of wood in this one. Luckily, there's wood everywhere. Okay, good. So if we barricade this, this enemy, we don't have to worry about it all, right? Right, but there's probably... Missing... Oh, but he can go around. Uh, well, we have to barricade this one, too. Yeah, yeah, I see. I see, I see, I see. So but we I, have, I have some wood, so once we get in... Well, wood is good. I got wood. Oh, I got wood, okay. too. Barricade. Uh, so it's one wood for barricade for gear one. It's two wood for this one, which I have with Grivert. Okay. On number three... Uh, right oh, up here... I think that just barricades. It says high window only flicker, scuttles, and watchers and move through this entrance. Uh, barricade to barricade this entrance, you must move the windmill's sail, which requires a might skill test of eight. Okay. Pass, you get a power plus one, entrance is barricaded. That's neat. Okay, that's cool. And then our, uh, we may have watchers in this scenario, which uh, the first time we're seeing those, uh, we'll deal with them when they show up. Is that if they're... And there's still scuttles. Oh, okay. Same thing with the scuttles. Uh, for scatter, unless Tatterhill's on fire when it's defeated, generate an encounter of three scuttles and place them on the space the Tatterhill Thrall occupied. And they do have that hive mind ability. Hey, that's what we're doing, rest assured. Okay. So I'm going to click Dunzo. Gribbit. Gribbit's turn. Gribbit. I always want to call him Gilbert. Gilbert. I don't know why. So if I barricade the entrance, can you still move through it? Oh no, it becomes a double salt line you can't get in. Yeah, we need to all get in before somebody barricades <laughs> it. <laughs> I or could. I guess if you went in, oh yeah. You have to go around the other way. You'd be stuck because you can't get in there. Yeah, you, you need to get this guy in first before we do anything. Because I thought only small, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. and familiars. <laughs> so he could move through. We let him in, I guess. Because I could go and just barricade with Gribbert, which I'm probably going to do. And then everyone has to go around? Why not? Why don't you just leave it open for a minute? Because then I got to wait all the way to come around. I'm, I want to be a safe frog. <laughs> I could bring the baby. And have the baby inside, more safe, barricade. Sure, do what you want to do. Yeah, because I just have cards. I want to cycle through cards, get new things yeah. done. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Passing go ahead. on turns is not I fun for me. I wouldn't say pass on turns. I would say go in and do other things. But yeah. What are other things? Like Tell read me. Read the stories and start barricading yeah, yeah. other. Like, I'll this definitely one only costs one, but he has two, so you might as well go ahead. Okay, I am going to spend. I'll just. Yeah, I'll just spend focus. I'll move in with the baby. Even though I shouldn't separate him from his friend. Uh, then we'll read one, two, five. Dominating the center of the mill was the massive wind-powered milling machinery built primarily of stone. A thick iron shaft rusted from disuse reached from the base at the ground floor and rose up, up, and up into a hole in the faraway ceiling. The door to the mill hung open at an angle, damaged by the forced entry. It was in desperate need of fortification if it was going to protect the familiars from the elements and intruders. A human-sized stone staircase wound upward to a loft. Beneath the stairs was a small clay oven, blackened with soot, evidence of some past fire. Fire. Power plus one. All right. Place I got the power. All right. I got to clean that. Okay. Um, so I can buy a card. Who's this? The fox. Oh, yeah. Like I want it based on these values. I have lots of agility in my deck. But it's good for helping someone who has low defense to get agility adding to the defense. That makes mm -hmm. sense. So I think, you want this one. I right? know. I think I'm going to do that one. Yeah. I'm going to get the guard card. Okay. Storycraft for the froggy. 
Oh, just <laughs> spins all of it. If only we knew the pop card. <laughs> Mel, why the hell didn't you tell me that Storycraft was on the top of the deck? <laughs> sorry. Oh. Okay, uh, it says continue. Oh, I'm so sorry. Can we... I forgot that we had um, no enemies at the last okay. one. I'm going to finish this. Yeah, Rules yeah, note sorry. when moving on to a gear space, consult the matching gear section for details how to interact it. Okay. So you're saying I'm entering what? Uh, card. This is Fox Bond 196. We could have probably had less discontent, I bet, is what we're about to find out. And I'm going to lose my mind. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. What number? One. 196. The wee babe gazed up at Blaze, and the fox felt like her soul was being examined. I think I understand her. But then the baby burped and spit up on her own face. Well, perhaps not. <laughs> Blaze chuckled and looked to make sure no one saw her before licking the baby's face clean. Afterward, when the infant looked back at Blaze, her expression was different in ways Blaze could not quite explain. And for a moment, Blaze thought she beheld a vision of a woman with long red hair dancing upon the sand of a beach, sword held gracefully in her hand. The vision passed, leaving Blaze shaken, though not scared. Shaken, not stirred, you say? <laughs> See you later, Brett. Bye, Brett. What I'll do is I'll just take a mark of devotion yeah, I was because then say. it won't change anything. I know. So, yeah, yeah, I knew it would be a chance that we could have kept it under to knock his misfortune. But uh, uh, that's okay. This is Blaze. I blame you. Are you okay if he takes a... Uh, Whatever strength? you want. Who is For doing his it? attacks, Blaze? Yeah, whatever you think. Yep, that sure. Be good. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Sorry about I that. I figure if we just split it, so like with you, it's lining up to your deck, think of it, right? Yeah. So it's like one of your characters covers one thing, one of your characters covers the other, but the same thing. Like you, at, when we're done, you should have like one of each on your two characters. Right. That makes sense. It doesn't matter which characters really, but it should line up with your deck, right? Yeah. And then all. Try to cover the other ones, right? So, which I think I would do defense for him because he's melee, so he's going to go in, and then her, she's range, so we'll give her agility, and then the forging. But we could really push it hard, where like I have both, both reds on my side, for example, and we're really pushing it. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope that as the cards level up and stuff, we'll get our skills going up, so like these buffs are better to be more flexible, so we don't have to wait for one single character to do something if we get split up in things, That's you know? That's true. That's true. So we should be kind of, each of our decks should be able to handle stuff, I think, at least. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Like, I remember Aftermath was very similar in this whole thing, so uh, this idea. Okay, so did you want to do that? Oh, so the page's goal is get all familiars and the baby inside the mill, use the three gear spaces to barricade all three entrances, then gather all familiars and the baby and get them on the space of the campfire symbol. Which I do we like how they just have that there. Yeah, first. just to remind you. Do you want a barricade? To barricade the entrance, discard one skill card and spend two wood. Uh, well, Kanji is giving us a pro tip there. Don't leave anyone outside, but that's it's, just general. It's fine, that, we can go that's just general here. horror movie tip. <laughs> uh, I'm not living in that horror movie world right now, so I know it's October and all, but we're playing the fun, the fun, happy, cheery, keep the baby alive game. So I'm. I could move in and start the fire. If you take the baby and go in and start the fire. But then the problem is somebody has to have two. So we'll have to do some tra trading. I know. And right? I want I to avoid that. I think it is fine that he has the two wood to barricade that door. We'll come in this way. One of these guys will start the fire. The other person will barricade. But that's a lot of movement to get up in there. One, two, How much three. extra movement? No, no. To get to the fire space. So if you're saying someone is moving and lighting the fire. Oh, once we're barricaded, I don't care so much. But we don't want to take too many turns because if it checks and asks us, how's your misfortune doing? Yeah, no. That's a bad thing. So we want to as quickly get the discontent down. Three, three, so if this is going to add more turns. The by baby me, needs to be there too. So Yeah, so that's the problem. I should just do it then, right? Three. So. One, two, three. Otherwise, I'm not sure. I can do it on my turn because I have. There is foraging for wood too, which I could go try to just do. Yeah, let me just do this. So I'm going to spend one. I'll move with Bebe. I'm waiting for the comments later that are like, Rob needs to stop saying that. Every time Rob said that, I cringed and I, I hit the thumbs down button. <laughs> well, then they'd be liking it after a while. Bebe. <laughs> no, they just undo their dislike. They don't actually like it. Um, but 
Uh, so I'm in the space. I could spend a wood, place it on the space. I'm sure it only keeps the fire up for so long. Uh, and then I have to pass an insight skill test oh. of difficulty three. I could put six in. I can't, okay. Yeah. Or I could just do four if we think it's like pretty good. I mean, we don't want to fail. Yeah, no, but I also don't want to waste cards where I could move to stuff. But sure, I'll put a six. Let's just do it. Minus okay, two. Good, good thing I did that. I told you. <laughs> told you not to risk it. So we put this fire under the wood or vice versa. <laughs> Let's put it on top of the wood so we, we know that it's on fire. The wood is on fire. Okay, I get power. <laughs> power plus one on Froggy. Nope, this way. And place a fire token under the wood token. The warmth effect now applies to the space. So the fire's lit. A familiar on the space doubles the number of health gain when playing hearts. If the baby's on the space and the fire gets lit, or the first time the baby is moved on the space so the fire's lit, discontent minus two. All right, we're at three now where we can spend cloth, which we have cloth. I don't have. I have cloth on both mine. Okay. Hopefully at the end of the chapter it doesn't say put discontent back down to zero. You're you're all good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it always says to start it where they were, yeah, but yeah. Well, I don't know. All right. Uh, so I'm ending turn. The Go fox's blaze. turn. Okay. So let's do one, two, three. <laughs> we did not start the fire. One, two, three. <sighs> Four just how much? Three. Forge. Yeah, get that wood. The wood's good. And there's also cloth here, too, when we need to come. Move. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking of just going and barricading this one. And passing. Yeah, let's move for two. I don't need health. One, two. Let's spend a cloth to care for the baby. Uh, that'll put it to two. Let's care for the baby again. We'll spend food. Care for the baby. Go to one. Now we have to pass the test of six, but we're not worrying about that. Baby's fine for now. Then we're going to move. I just need one. Let's do this one. Move for one or two, but I'll just spend one. Oh, that's 126. 126. A small window looked out upon the overgrown ruin of the fields. No doubt it once framed a lovely scene of rural beauty. But now, as its lone shutter clapped back and forth in the wind, it seemed to mock the familiar's attempts to care for the child. A distant wail chilled the familiars and raised the hackles on Blaze's back. That wasn't the wind. She growled. They needed to barricade this window, and quickly. All right, well, he's got some power. Power plus one. Yeah. Put the little symbol over top of that story symbol thing, the token over. Okay. Continue your turn. I'm going to, oh, this one I only need one. Uh, gear one. Uh, barricade. Yep, discard just one. one. Okay, I'll just discard one wood. Okay, it's uh, barricaded, which, which... I think we have tokens. Uh, right? One entrance has been barricaded, treat it as a double solid line. I think we just put these. Oh, no way. I think. There's yeah, sure, yeah. that works. Yeah, I don't know. There's tokens in there. I don't know what it doesn't say, are. though, but That's okay. It. Okay. We'll, we'll take it. Then. It might say in the book, though, the rule book. I don't remember. Forge is. It was three. hours ago. I'll forage for three. Yep, yep. Plus, Plus one. one. Got it. So we're getting some more wood. Yeah, and cover up the. Uh, uh, cover up. The unless you'd rather get food or cloth, but you probably want uh, wood. I don't know. And then we need how many wood do we need for this one? Yeah, for Jim. Oh yeah. oh yeah. I just need her I keep forgetting on her turn. Three, I need how much? Yeah, but this is better for the fox. Oh no, I guess it doesn't matter because when you play fox cards even on the other player's turn, it's mm -hmm. fine. Because of the two player balance. Uh we need how many to barricade this entrance you must move to the Oh, you just oh we don't need any more. Oh, then you know what? Yeah, let's take the next thing is 
What uh, uh, on this for? Yeah, skill test. Yeah, so uh, I don't need to take this wood. But I if can... we need wood for like you know things, um, but yeah, I would take something different. Yeah. Um, I need. To, I'll take food because the next if it moves down, then I can console the baby with some food. Okay, and then I do have some movement. Maybe I go up there and I yep. wait for my cards again that have good skill tests. So let's go one, two. Nope. Double. Oh, line. that's double line. Sorry. How do I get to? Oh, I gotta go one. Two. And, and go three, three, four, and you're up there. Or one, two, three. One, two, three. Yep. So then one thirty. Yeah. Main door still needs wood. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to take it. I have. You have one. She has one. So someone can go there and get the last one and then barricade it up. Oh, that's a lot of work. To just trade. Okay. All yeah, right. we can do that. Or whatever. An old tool chest proved to still be in remarkable condition, though when it was opened there were no tools to be found, just a strange box of wood. Gribbert tapped the box. This looks valuable. Open it. Perhaps there's something we can sell or trade with later? Flicker reached in with her dainty hands and pulled out the box and set it upon the floor. Everyone held their breath as she opened the lid, only to all give the same response. Oh. Ew! Inside the box was an old embroidered handkerchief, and surely the ugliest doll to have ever been made. Its head was made from a bird's skull, its body a desiccated husk of dried flesh. Its arms and legs were little more than twigs held together with twine. Flicker slammed the box shut. Surely this is the ugliest doll to have ever been made. Blaze was confused. Why would humans give such a thing to a child? I cannot understand their kind. <laughs> Gribbert chuckled. I've seen plenty of dolls in my life, but nothing as foul as that. Whoever made it either hates children or intended a different purpose for it. Tweets wiggled happily on Chalk's shoulder. Pretty boy, pretty boy. Power plus one. What do you do next? Oh. Wow, do we take it or do we leave it? Uh, I... Rob's going to put a poll in the chat so you guys can help us decide. Do we take the creepy doll or do we leave the doll? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I thought of that. Edgar was saying you should have grabbed the wood. And I was even thinking, like, oh, you had good movement. You could have just went here and barricaded it, you know, got it done, and then, you know, wander up there. And Yeah, I probably could have. You're right. Yeah, it'd be way, but way I would more have had to efficient. Take a, I would have to take another wood because I didn't have two. Yeah, but way more efficient, but then you'd lock these guys outside. So then. Yeah, that and because be... I didn't have two. Oh, no, two. you wouldn't. Because familiars can still use the entrance. Yeah. But they'd have to use. Uh, yeah, you could use this entrance. Oh, okay, yeah, we can't barricade that until both are in. No. Oh, they can still go through that. Window. Number oh, window. one up here, it says, uh, only small enemies and familiars can move through this entrance. But oh, what if it's barricaded? Once it's barricaded, I don't think anybody can. I don't, yeah, I guess not, right? Yeah, you don't yeah, want to walk outside. Yeah, I feel like outside. they can't. We yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Because if you barricade it, no one can use it. That makes sense. And there's a double solid line. Well, I don't know what I'm thinking. I, I need to go to bed. It's four in the afternoon. I need to go to bed. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Does deck of those cards have this card? Uh, I don't know. I'm not looking. No spoilers. I don't want to look. I want to be surprised. I don't know. Uh, oh, never I look a gift it. voodoo doll in the mouth. Yeah, I was thinking it was the voodoo doll too. All right, let's end the poll. Thank you, everyone that voted. And we'll go with what you choose. Take, Take the it. Creative. Yes. It's fortune plus one. Oh, we shouldn't <laughs> have down. taken it, guys. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Retrieve the aged kerchief item from the artifact pile and acquire it. Right. Place that thing over the symbol space, whatever. That, you can show what that does. Aged kerchief. When making a skill test as part of a care action, reduce the difficulty by two. Oh, so that first that's... one, the focus test thing. Okay, so now he can... Or in the future, probably a different kind of test. Which is not bad, because I do have cards... Are, um, yeah, from that that yeah, yeah playing two player yeah yeah okay okay neat um turn is done 
One, two, three, four, five. Chalk. <laughs> Chalk wants to. What is Chalk? Do? Yeah, sorry. This is the card that I have. I have never used. You may discard one card from the training row. Then look at the top three cards in the training row and add one of them to the row. Because mm -hmm. there's something we don't like here. You also have this guy's card too. There. Yeah. Can't okay. afford it with this guy. Okay. Uh. So I'll move for two. That'll give me a little rest heal. I think. One. Two, but I could bring you with. Oh, beautiful. Thanks. And I don't know if that's where you want to go. You want to be dropped off on the way? No, or that's anything? perfect because one of us has to go get another wood. Yeah, so I'm going to um, move again and I'll bring you. You're going next, right? With the fairy? Yep. I'll go here and then I'll try a forage of three. I don't have any. Minus two. Well, that didn't really roll, so I gotta like roll it properly. It, it like kind of just dropped. So I'll danger. Um, and then oh, I might have had actually. Okay, I didn't have the reroll anyone anyway, but it's all good. I don't care. Um, so danger went up. I think I clicked it. You did. And then uh, forage. So if you can cover that, give me a wood, please. Did you have enough? Oh yeah, danger, danger. And then, um, what do you have? Do you have wood? I have one. Okay, so then I'm gonna put the danger up to trade with you. Okay. I don't know if this is smart, but uh, is there anything here that like you need or I need to do stuff? Here, I'm gonna give you this wood for sure. Um, but the fairy mushroom. and chalk are in the same space. Okay, you want a mushroom? Yeah, I got a mushroom. Want, can you use an another cloth? If I can get this, uh, nope, that's wood. Never mind. Um, this battle hardened is you. Should have that. And this okay. is you. This is me. This I don't care. Oh, maybe I'll take this first. Yeah. And then try to find another gem. Okay. Uh, and I don't want to trade these, so I'm good. Okay. And then I'll put this here, and I'll click and turn. Draw some. Oh, new... did you want this cloth though, as caring for the baby? Might be. Good. I could do it right now. If can I? Uh, no. Right now we're good. But. Then why do I want it? Because you carry the baby around sure. a lot. Sure. Yeah. Okay. I see. I already have one, but that's why. Okay. Uh, oh, it's my turn. Okay. So let's move for one, two. We need to move. Uh, let's use this one for two. Toy Story taught us all toys need love. Kate's here. Hey, Kate. Hey, Kate. Good to see you. Uh, okay. So now we're going to do number two to barricade this. We need to discard one skill card and spend two wood. Uh, let's do this one. When this card would be discarded, instead return to the fatigue pile, and danger goes up by one. So that's my discarded no. card. And I need to spend two wood. Dangerous. Two wood. But they're both outside now, locked outside. And then we're going to barricade this one. Okay, so they can't come in. I need to build up for a nice okay. strength test. Now. Or forge some more wood. Or cloth. Or whatever. Uh. She but we can... need to be on the fire to leave. So really only people who should go up here are ones that can like do that test. I'm building up. So I got a two here. Do we want to change any of these? I just realized something. These assisting on skill checks, you don't have to be in the same space as the person, right? No. Nope. Okay. Just double checking because that seems weird. You're like helping somebody with a test and you're like at the bottom, down the stairs, around the corner, in another room. But I don't think this game's trying to be that hardcore, but maybe it is. Again, it's meant to be played with like eight year old children, but I still sometimes. Yeah, it just says when making a test. Like, yep, that's yeah. fine. Carry on. Um, I just thought about it. Do we want to change any of these cards? Is there anything that you don't like that you want to change out? Because we can discard one card from the training row, then look at the top three cards. Okay. So now we look at the top three. Oh. And mm. then we can put any one in the row. Reckless two, even more reckless than the first movie. Uh, all right. Look at all these numbers. Yeah, that's good too. Uh, you may banish one card from your hand or discard pile when you acquire it. That's very good. Team oh. effort, a nice link card. Look at the oh, might like test that. and agility chest yeah. assistance. Looks like anyone's kind of cool to have this. Okay, that's good Except too. for the rock guy, he's not in the picture, so he should never take this. Um, and then story craft for the fairy. I don't care about the story craft of the fairy. Let's take... <laughs> but they help get us uh, cool, cool things to help us on skill tests permanently and stuff. But 
The cards mm -hmm. are more fun. So I, right. I would say team effort is to play. Yep. Okay. okay. So it says. Then you discard the rest. It says then look at the top three cards of the training row. Add one of them to the row. It doesn't tell me what to do with the other ones. What is the first you may discard? Discard. Oh no. And discard then look one. at the top three. So I assume we put them back. That way, yeah. I would want reckless. Yeah, uh, sure. So that's gone. Yeah. And then. Does anyone know if looking at cards should I discard the rest? Is that a known thing? Let's purchase. Anyone who's played the game? Has the thing looked that up on PG or is it in the rule book? I don't know. Here, if you pass me the book, I'll oh, look yeah. while you're doing stuff. I'm just going to purchase this with a mushroom and a gem. This is going to replace my weapon. Strange weapon does one damage. When attacking, all my wands give me plus one agility. It's magic and flammable. So, and I will equip it. So that goes. Where did you put your stash? I know they said they were going to do an FAQ at some point uh, officially, but I don't know if that's been done yet. But the game's been around for months, so you'd assume by now. Okay, and then. Then I guess I'll just. Oh, they said it would be in the app, actually. I remember that was something I, I read. I'm just going to move mm. to here. Done. Done my turn. I just got to shuffle so I can draw. I'm going to click the uh, rules glossary and see if the term look or FAQ just for fun. Would they use an FAQ? Would they not be able to just update this as. Yeah, you think. But there are questions related to certain card names and yeah, stuff that true. should be. I could search, but I'm not worried about it right now. Okay, anyways, carry on. Okay, end my turn. And your turn. One, two, three, four, five. Eight says, LOL, I'm at the end of my rope. I've been at work since 7 a.m. Unpacking 30 plus boxes of stock that showed up yesterday unexpectedly. Oh, no. Uh, Kate, no, I'm Kate, sorry. how are you supposed to do that? Like when I was a kid and, um, you know, you're helping your friend on his paper route or delivering flyers. You're trying to make your money to go to the store to buy popsicles or baseball cards or whatever. Um, if you just take half of that and throw it in the dumpster behind the store around the corner, you only then have to do half the work. Uh, and yeah, so no, I used to, there's a kid at school who used to do the flyer thing. I remember and everyone knew he would like just his parents had him do it and they were totally with it. They would just drive them to like the dumpster and they, he would just throw away half them and they'd deliver some. But eventually they found out because they would like. People would be complaining. Where's my Yeah, people were complaining. Where's my flyers? Where's my newspaper and stuff? But yeah, this kid used to do that and we always thought it was so funny. And sometimes we would help him. Uh, but anyways. <laughs> Uh, yeah, oh <laughs> but yeah, Kate, just throw, just go, go to the cardboard compactor and just put like 10 of those boxes in there and just push the button and, uh, it'll just take care of, of a third of your problem. <laughs> Don't uh, want then come. <laughs> we got a while till it gets there. <laughs> I'm trying to help Kate I know, out. I know, I know. I'm trying to look out for her, okay? And you can end turn. <laughs> oh, is this content at four or five? No. No, because we're so good. And but it goes up add by plus one. one. Enemies in play? You betcha. All these oh. steps. Barricades. If the door at two has been barricaded, replace each outside tatter thrall with three scuttles. Oh, oh that's how small enemies get through. Get the scuttles are these guys. But yeah. they get upstairs, right? Don't they go through the top one? Okay, so... Yeah, only flicker, scuttles, and watchers can move through this entrance. Dang it. I thought we were doing good. We should have just... They're smart. I like this. This is fun. Uh... Okay. They've been replaced. If all three have been barricaded, remove enemies from play. No, move each enemy that does not already share a space with a familiar or baby up to their move towards the nearest familiar or baby. Uh, the movement on scuttles is three. Okay, so I guess they have to come through. They, they have, have to go, go all through. the way around. Oh, okay. So let's Where, where's through. the barricade? Uh, up there. Uh, oh, it's right here. I think. What the heck? What's I going on? I think it's right here, right? Is this how they come in? Oh, yeah, there's a single line. Okay, but so... how, are they, how do they move across single lines? Oh, I guess it would just be overruled by this, right? High window. Only flicker, scuttles, and watchers can move through this entrance. So just move them through one, three spaces. One, two, three. And then these guys, though, have to come around. One, two, three. They got to come around. Oh, I see. Oh, man. Come help me, guys. Uh, attack. Melee attack with each enemy that shares the space with one or more familiars. So the scuttles, remember, hive mind. They share a space. They attack. So it's um, three plus three. three so six. six. You're being attacked for six. All right, I'll defend with. We need that card. Well, yeah, take some damage. Whatever, man. We can. We need okay, to heal let's too. Do... 
You got some hearts in I'll defend in with four. You move them four. I moved them four? Uh, they were, were here. One. I, don't, I assume this was the way they come in. I don't know if this is a space. Like, oh, this, this looks I like see. a line. I think it is, Edgar. I see. I didn't even see that because I just... Because this assumed. is like them climbing up the side, I think. Oh, then, he, then he's not in my space. Yeah. I, I was, Edgar, I was thinking the same thing. I thought this whole thing was one big space. But it's, Thank you. It's not, but it's not clear. Like, is this a true line? Like, it's just a water art line. Like, there's no true white dots, straight lines, nothing. It's just water. Yeah, I assumed all of that was... It just looks space. like art, but it makes sense. It does look very strictly like a space, but... I don't know. That's a tough one. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see. But yeah, it's definitely not white. It's not like these white lines. It's like its own kind of thing. I, I bet if on PGG, I bet it's not a space. But yeah, we can treat it like a space. I'm down. Okay, so then they move <laughs> one, two, three. So they're in here? Yep, sure. Done. Okay, so then they don't attack me. I don't need to spend... Uh, yep. Maybe not. Cause yeah, because can... like this goes like right through it. Yeah. Like true. I assumed that this whole thing was one big. Space I move them all the way. Art. Move them all the way. I don't know though. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's true. Yeah, there. the book like crossing the line doesn't make sense either. Yeah. Okay, so I am gonna defend for four. I have a reroll, but we'll defend for four. They're attacking for six, minus one, so three damage. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, Brian says, oh, I Rob, I must leave, so this is early. Will Rob keep... Oh, <laughs> it's all good. We're almost done, I'm sure. Will Rob keep carrying the baby until she turns 21? Will Mel use her newfound mental powers for good? Will the princess grow up to be a spoiled, rotten brat that sits in my classroom rolling her eyes all the time? <laughs> Stay tuned next week to find out, a.k.a. tomorrow. Uh, I don't know what time I scheduled it for, but... Probably earlier than today. Sorry, I took the damage, but I have a reroll, so. I need to check. Oh, power. Yes. Okay, so power goes to three. And then I had four. I take two damage only. One, two, which is good. That's rare to roll that. How many of those are on there? Just one. All right. Oh, I put it for 11 tomorrow. I'm going to change it to noon, I think. Unless you think. Well, we don't have to do anything in it, like set up. But I that know. Be you, though. Well, no, we'll do it, and then maybe we can end earlier. We'll see. Yeah, yeah, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. So tomorrow at eleven a.m. Eastern is episode two. Let's just check. Okay. Okay. Oh yes, it is a space, says Tim. It is a space. Tim, how do you know for sure? And if that's so the case, which space is this book in then? I assume, I guess, the book would be in the space where your finger is. Like where the 127 is, is or where the top half of the book's logo is? Yeah. I guess we could BGG it and see. I could. Tim, what makes you say that? Have you seen it on BGG? Are you, did you work on this game? Do you work for Plat Hat Games? It is strange because all their other lines are specific. Yeah, I don't think it's a space. I think it don't think it's a space. It's just tricking us because the way the art looks with the rain and the water going down. Rulebook page seven. Oh, pass uh, the door. Yeah. All right, Tim. You, I Tim. like I like you dropping information. This is good. Rulebook page seven. Eleven spaces. Uh, when a familiar is on a space, the uncovered book symbol. Uh, no. No, I don't, I don't, I don't know why you think it is based on this page. We have number 11 here. If we're talking about the, if I look at this page, this number 11 is just referencing this symbol. Yeah. If this is what you think, but there might be something else here I'm not catching right away, but my eyeballs took me right to this page. And this page is just pointing out little things on here. So if we look at 11, it always is just beside a book. But this book is technically, I think, in this space. Otherwise, it's in two spaces, and that just breaks the game. And I think they might have done that on purpose to not let you think that this water dropping art is actually... A... Oh, it looks like it's the window crashing in. 
Oh, is or that some, yeah, something either like way, I, I don't know. In when you hold uh, the looking at the PDF, sorry. Uh, okay. No, 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 that's okay. Yeah, I don't think so, though. I don't. I would so. say it's not. Yeah, based on all the lines. Because it's they like use. right here, spaces are defined by dotted and solid lines. Each space also has a dot in its approximate middle. Oh, that'll oh, answer. Oh, that it. would answer. It does not. Yeah, there's no dot. That does. There's answer. no dot. That solves it all. So Tim, you did help us find the answer. Tim, get out. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. Thank you. That helped us. We got there. That did help us. Yeah, okay. I forgot. You can always look for a dot in the center of a space. Yeah, I and there is no dot there. Yes, that answers it. We got there. Him, we thank got you. there. That was helpful. That would help somebody else too. I bet somebody's watching this and goes, oh, "Whoops!" We played that <laughs> There's probably other, other pages that are, have that trouble too, right? Yeah. We know that from playing other of these games in the storybooks. Sometimes it's not clear. Okay, they are done. Uh, they moved. They did a melee attack. Yeah. Uh, if there's any watchers sharing a space with a baby, no. Then they move again. Uh, move each enemy that does not already share a space with a familiar one. So these guys are just going to move one. Okay. Ribbit. Ribbit. Uh, who's in my space? Nobody. So where am I getting wood? No, we don't need wood. We don't need any wood. Oh, but yeah. you could go collect wood if you want for future. Yeah, but we all need to go on this other space to exit. But we also need to do this check. I just need to get some might chain cards in my hand, right? Link cards. Yeah, I saved two, but now I have these guys in my. Do you only have two cards in hand? Because I defended. Oh no! And we need to do a test of what up there? Uh, eight. eight. Wow. But I'm saying if like if you can come up and maybe kill some of these little guys, these guys are coming oh, yeah. in next too. Yeah, I could try, I guess. Let me see. I can go one, two. I have to go like Sorry, three, those four. Did I? Moving from the staircase to another requires one point of movement. Okay. I have to use like one, two, three, four movement to get up there. Uh, and they're only four defense, so I could do a five check. Um, but I have a bonus if I can play that symbol, which I don't have. They only mm. have one health. I don't have extra damage with Gribbit. What I'm talking about is getting extra agility oh. to succeed or minus on the danger. I'm not worried about doing extra damage. I cannot. I do not have such abilities. Uh, so I'll do the four movements. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then let's do a uh, five agility with a reroll possibility. Danger. Actually, reroll. <laughs> I like the energy symbol, but it fails tests sometimes when you get greedy. Like this no, time. Oh no. Like this time. See? <laughs> Even you get greedy, what happens? <laughs> oh, no danger at least, but oh well. Okay. A big whiff. Okay. These these things also give us power, so killing these is a good way to get some quick power, probably. Oh. Okay, so I went up there for nothing, is what that basically told me. All right, end turn. All right. Okay, what's the fox? What's the fox say? He's gonna buy this card here. So this is gonna go, oops, into my discard. Spending three. Oh, I could have bought this, the frog thing. Oh, go ahead. Yep, sorry, let me just do that while we're on Gribbit's turn. Also, before you buy your card, uh, and when there's no enemies in play, okay, so we'll pretend there's another card for you to choose from, so you could charge, choose that Storycraft. Uh, no, I still so would have bought that one, because that one's for me. Uh, okay, then I am just going to use some of these to hit these guys, because I'm not going to be able to... Yeah, yeah, of course. So I have five, they defend for four. I have links though. Hey, I can I can add to six to it or three to it. Sorry, or do, would you rather do it on another future time? But I do have. I plus don't know three. what I'm gonna have next time. I mean, what do you have right now? Right now I have five. If you want to put one in, we get it. We get what? It'll be auto success. Uh, I was talking about the oh. barricading. I'm not so worried about little tiny weeny enemies. I'm worried about the next enemies that are gonna get in the window. Oh, then I only have five, and you have six, seven, eight. Maybe yeah. Even. It's up to you, but you need to get in this space though, so yes, then I that can. doesn't work. No, I'm just gonna use this to try to kill one of these. Movies. Okay, just throwing it out there. Five. 
danger, but I did kill one. So okay. Those are gone. Those are gone. One is gone. Gain of power. Oops, wrong way. Well, yeah, we could just farm the enemies. That's kind of good, probably, too. Well, I just didn't have enough cards to do anything, so I thought I might as well, and then wait till he gets his next turn. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. End turn. Chalk. So chalk is all the way down there. Mm. So I'm going to hold the links. I will just say chalk moves for two, gets a little heal action. And he'll just... Mm. Oh, from here you can, if you have uh, food, you can feed the baby. Uh, no. no. Okay. I don't either. Oh, I do. But they'll yeah. go up and then we can use cloth. Yeah, which I have. Uh, okay. And then that's all I'm really going to do, so I'll just pass on that one. Draw another card. Sweets! Oh, I could have forged from anywhere. Okay, oh. next turn, next turn. All right. So first, I think we'll do danger <laughs> down by one. Okay. Danger down by one. Yeah. Then let's do some... Uh, what's she gonna do? What is she gonna do? She's gonna come up there, I think, too. Is she? Oh, hey, Brett. Welcome back. Ooh. I think that one. I need to discard some of these cards or get through them so I can get the twos going. So she's just gonna move. Maybe she'll come up there just to forge some of this later. Uh, oh, yeah, true. One of six. One, two, three. Four, five. We'll spend five. One twenty-seven. Looking up toward the peaked roof, they saw a complicated wood and iron transfer joint that dominated the center of the space. A system of cogs harnessed the wind power that turned the central shaft, running the grist mill on the lower floor. A worn push bar at one time allowed a strong person to rotate the wind sails toward the direction of the wind. A small round window lit in the black night sky. Beside it on the floor was a pallet of straw. The straw was old, but not terribly so. Had someone been living there? Suddenly, a dark shape flew toward the window, a loathsome gurgling noise coming from its bothersome flesh. Blaze called out to warn the others. Incoming! Flying monsters! Flicker looked at the window and groaned. Until the window was blockaded, the mill would not be safe. Looking out the window, Flicker noticed one of the mill's sails was very close to the window. If someone could move it, it would make an effective barrier against other winged creatures. Generate an encounter of two watchers. Place them on the two enemy hand space. So they're basically saying, get that barricaded or you're done. Like, these enemies are going to be all up in your business. Place a token of a symbol. N rules note, flying creatures can cross single white lines while moving, so they can gain entry via the upstairs window. Rules note, see the rules section for the mill sales. Yeah. Yeah, we need yeah. to do that test. Like I can ASAP. only do, yeah, right now I can only do two on it, so we'll have to wait until... But you're about to draw up, right? End of yeah. turn? Okay, thank yeah. you. Uh, that's me done. Yep. One... Two. Uh, are we at discontent four or five? No. Uh, add a discontent. Are there enemies in play? Yes. Barricades. If the door at thing has been uh, barricaded, replace each outside with scuttles. Done. Yeah. Move each enemy that does not already share a space with a familiar or baby up to their move value towards the nearest familiar or baby. These guys move three. Okay. One, two, and then one, two, three. Oh, oh he's in trouble here. You just said they move three, right? Yeah, but there's a person here, so they stop. Oh, oh I see, I see. Uh, resolve melee attack with enemy that shares a space with one or more familiars. That's a lot of attacks. Oh, wow. Yeah, I should have probably moved yeah, out of there. Yeah, this is bad. Like, I should have moved out with that one. Which one did I have left? But, yeah, but this you're one. saving up for the actual test. But now yeah, at least but... you can fight good. So, no, all right. I can't, though. I have to use all these cards to defend or I'm going to be dead. Yeah, then do that. Okay, so resolve melee attack. 
So okay. uh, do I have any resolve? Because I'll just do mine first no, then. they're all in here with me. Oh, oh, here, I guess. Uh, if you can take those one, that one, that would be better. Yeah, sure. So uh, that is... Or five. Five. All right, so let's check. I mean, I can link help you on defense too. Okay. Um, so... We're not doing anything. Yeah, but this is what happens. I know, then you can't attack back, and then you're like kind of stuck in a loop, but at least the danger thing shouldn't... Uh, you know, we should have time, but... Mm. Uh, my frog's at six. I'll just defend with... Yeah, that stinks. I'll just defend with two. Plus one is three, so I take two damage. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think I might be dead either way, but this first one is six. Well, you're not dead. You just, or just have leave, to... and then we get some misfortune or something. Then you just come back next turn. It's mm -hmm. like not a big deal. All right, I'll defend the six with three. Um, it's up to you if you want to add anything else in, but... Uh, sure, I'll play a guard to defend for three. Okay. Minus two, so sorry, six. I def We defend for four, so I take two. One, Who are you two. defending against? The hands first? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Because that was the biggest one. Okay. Okay, next is these guys attack for four each, I guess. First one, I'll defend for one. Uh, I'll put in two more. Okay, so we're defending for three. Minus two. We're defending for one. I take three. One, two, three. I'm at one. Next one, I'll defend for one. and Plus two. I'm still dead. Or still out. Okay, so let's see what happens. Oh. Defeated Familiar. Remove the Familiar's figure from the board and place it on its character card. Misfortune plus two. Acquire two Fatigue. So put two Fatigue on top of your discard pile from that deck. Let's face up. Set the Familiar's life dial to its maximum value. That Familiar becomes badly injured. Place a badly injured Affliction token on this card. Which, we know, when a badly in figure, injured figure loses one or more life, it loses an additional. When a badly injured figure is healed, its life is increased. Remove the inflict affliction. Okay. Okay, then uh, returning to play. At the start of a defeated familiar's next turn, return it to play by placing it on any space containing another familiar. If there are no other familiars in play, place it on the flag or the fire space. Okay. Dang. Sorry, Miss Fortune went up by two. Okay. And turn. And then they move something. again, but they're already in their space. Uh, that was it. Anyways. Well, shouldn't the ones move that just knocked you out because there's no one in their space now? Is that how it oh, works? Oh, I guess, yeah. So then I guess Probably, right? Yeah, I forgot that they... So then they're all in here. Okay. Uh, so then it's now Gilbert. Gilbert's going to uh, just forge something on the map. Uh, I'll just... Gilbert, what's he... I guess I'll just forge that cloth, uh, if you can cover it and do all that stuff with tweets. Mm -hmm. And then I'll just draw one, two, three, four, five. End my turn. I have no hand, so draw my up. turn, draw up. End of turn. One, two, three. And I'll Chalk. Refresh. Chalk is all the way downstairs with the baby. Oh, now though, the discontent is three, so if you spend a cloth, it'll go. Done. Spending a cloth. Okay, and then that'll put it to two. Okay. Uh, well, I guess I better get up there then. One, two, three, four. Oh, okay. Yeah, whatever. I'll just spend four movement. We'll bring baby. Go all the way up into the space of everyone else. Then I will attack four, five on. Oh, uh, these hive mind guys are really bad. Yeah, probably should do the hive mind guys. Uh, so roll a die. Oh, sorry. 
Oh, wait, there's health on these. And these guys are gone. Oh, sorry. I forgot. Okay. These guys have health. Oh. Yeah, these guys are just singles. Wow. Okay. So scuttles plus one. So take one off the board. I get a power. This is crazy how many there are. It's going to take like eight, eight turns mm -hmm. to. Yeah, that's crazy. It's too bad you can't like hit more than one at a time or something. Weird. That's weird. Uh, okay, and turn. Alright. So she comes back. I might as well put her up here so she can do something. Uh, I guess we're gonna attack a scuttle. This will get rid of my injury. Uh, this will cause a danger. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna just do five. I don't think I need any chain cards from you because I think you should have your whole hand available. Well, you added danger. And another one, sorry. But we did kill another one. So take a power. Power two and did you play a heal card at all to heal I, back up? I did. So yeah. you got rid of the battle injury? I did, yep. Oh, wrong way. Okay, ending turn. And one, two, three. Yep. Is discontent at four or five? No. Discontent plus one, please. Enemies. Yep. Yeah. Okay, they fight again. Wow, that was fast. Wow. Okay, so I don't know who we want to do first. Hmm, interesting. Uh, I don't know. Big boy attacking. Uh, yeah. It's got eight health, so... I don't know. I could take one of the watchers from her. So that's fine. And we'll just take it fully. He'll take it fully. So they're attacking for six. I'll defend for two with uh, this guy. Uh, energy. So I take four. Four. Okay. Eight. Yeah. Okay. For uh, I'll defend one of them. Uh, this one. For one of these guys for one on blaze. Oops, sorry. Danger. Danger goes up by one. He defended for one, so he takes three. One, two, or three. And then I guess she can defend. Oh, did we put all the watchers? Uh no, the watchers, um. No, Tim. Uh the watchers it told us when they spawned it, the rules said to put them on the two enemy location. Oh, yeah, it was specific, But normally but... when you set them up, yeah, you split them among two spots, but this one was very specific. It actually showed the number two, said so put them on that space. Okay, let's do but, yeah. another one for the other guy, but this will be on her. Oh, danger again. Wow. And then she takes three. Wow. Okay. Hey, movie each enemy, they're all still good. Okay. Whoa. If there are any watchers sharing a space with the baby, misfortune plus one. Oh, so you shouldn't have taken the baby. I guess we didn't know that, but. Well, we did from the last enemy screen, but then I wouldn't be there with that rock guy. I would have left, but, but sure, could... misfortune plus one. Okay. Yep. I I'm sure we screwed. We didn't read it. We were, I was being lazy, so we're punished. That's fine. Move again. Move each enemy that does not already share a space with familiar or baby. Yeah, it's not. We can't. We can't protect them just by. We got to keep the baby away from the watchers. I. That's a thing I didn't know, but we now know. That's okay. fine. Uh, so frog man turn right. That's what's happening. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, let's go with agility of four. I guess. Yeah. Let's just do. <laughs> it feels so dumb. Uh, agility of four on a little hand creature thing. Scuttle. Um. Oh yeah. Let's roll the die. Plus one. Cool. I got one off the board. Let's get a power. All my cards are gone. So I'm clicking end turn already. Okay, drawing up some cards. Go ahead. Okay. Uh the baby at? It needs cloth. I don't have cloth. Okay. Let's do Did whoever just went had cloth? Yeah. Yeah, did you Done. Want it? Okay. Sure. And then really now. Nice. Fox can spend a food. Hey, Sajat. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's do 
Oh, that'll put our danger up by one, but I can put one of these hands on fire, so it'll remove one. Uh, or do I just attack for three, and I'm minus. Yeah, so just do the fire. Okay, thing. I'll just do the fire. Danger up by one. We'll put a fire. Just oh, wow, on. we already have four danger. Yeah, That's I know, they're going to attack again in a second. That's so fast, but hey, they're doing what they're doing. It makes sense. We're getting overrun by enemies. That's all I can do, and turn. I don't know what we could have done. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Two, three, and then turn. Turn. Discontent, four or five? No. Put it up by one, enemies in play? Yeah. Okay, let's do the same thing over and over again. Uh, uh, they move, melee. no. Um, okay. Now we get three attacks of four. Three attacks of four, can sweet. Take one of them. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so we need to it. kill them back so we can't defend. When defending, all agility cards play defend. Okay, I can I'll defend for sure one of them. Yeah, I'll defend two I'll do lucky on one. Um minus two, but I'll re-roll. Plus, plus two, two, so I block one for four, sure. Okay. And then I'll well, uh, I'll do one. Uh this one will be her. Yeah, this is where this stuff is like could have been huge. That's true. I'll do her ability, uh, her defending using my uh, agility. So I'm defending for three. Three, four, block it all. And I could defend. Whose turn is next? This is Chalk's turn. I'm going to go next. I'm going to have nothing to do again. Well, I forgot to use a heart. Okay. Yeah, I definitely forgot to use a heart, I think, but I don't know. Oh, whatever, it's fine. Uh, I'll defend yeah, for. Probably missed. I'll defend for four. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, one of these guys is gone. And then I block it all. Okay, so we took no damage. That Any more attacks? No? no? Okay. Okay, but I have no cards, so that's fine. Uh, misfortune plus one. Okay. Chalk. So Chalk is going to... Oh, good. All my hearts are coming. I guess I'll attack a Watcher. Uh, there are four. So I'll just attack a Watcher for six. Minus one is good. Uh, it will be an extra damage because of this. So I'll just whatever this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. I should probably play that card instead, but that's fine. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, no, those are all twos, I see. Okay. And then... Um, hmm. I guess that's it. In turn. Okay. You could just enter and I have One, no cards in hand. Two. Two, three, four. In turn. Okay. Your turn. Frog. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the frog, of course. I don't have any symbols that match this guy every time. It's weird. Um, but I'll, maybe I can reckless it. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to do this and this. Yeah, I'll just do an attack. Yeah, let's just throw it all in. Who cares? And then we'll do two fatigues. And that'll draw me two cards. Put in a sneaky and a heart. Sure. Uh, okay. I don't know. Okay. Uh, so it passes um, by a lot. And then I'll drop the danger down. Okay. And then we'll kill the one that had the one health left. Boom. Gone. These guys get a power. And then. Oh yeah, I probably should have re-rolled with that re-roll symbol. Yeah, because then maybe I could have got, even if I got the danger, I don't care, but I could have got, um... Power? Yeah. yeah that's true. Uh, so I get a power. Mm-hmm. Wait, let me click. This is... Wish All I could right. say to the app. Next turn, please. Alright, well, I need to kill, I think we'll kill this guy. So let's do... Five, six, six will just get us there. So, 
2, 6. Minus 2 is 4. We got them. Take a power. Take a power. Almost there. Come on, we can do it. Yeah. We're just going to try to get that okay. skill chest done or we're going to get punished. I know. And then two cards I will hold and draw up and turn into draw. Chalk. What's the baby at? Uh, which uh, one is it? that cloth. Cloth? Okay, drop it down. I'll spend a cloth. Okay, then I'm going to move for one with a fatigue, which will add danger up. Do you have any link uh, business? Uh, one sec. Because I, I don't care either way. I'm going to try. One, two, three, four, five, six. I do, yeah, but you have six, which is... Seven. Oh, you have enough. Uh, oh, yeah, it did move. Um, I'm trying this uh, barricade. Are you moving with the baby? Yeah, yeah, sure. Whatever. Just so then we don't take the next course. Misfortune. Absolutely. I am trying to test a six against, actually seven against a eight, I think it was. Yeah. Okay, so, I'll put in one more. Okay, so okay. let's roll. So eight on eight. Okay. Plus one. Great. Got it. All right, so barricade, do whatever you did before. I don't have any more. Okay, so this is barricaded. We'll pretend. I guess we could just, yeah. Yep, sure, whatever. All right, sweet, done. And then and turn. Oh, power plus one when the entrance is barricaded. Oh, that means I'm at three with my dude. Uh, can he do anything reckless? Looks good. Team effort also feels good. But I would rather have... No, I do like that a lot, actually. Yeah, I'm going to spend all of it to buy team effort and replace Storycraft for the guy I just spent all the stuff on. L and then one, two, we knew three, that was four, five. I know it always works that way. Oh, I should have bought hers, but it's just in turn. Discontent? Uh, no. no. Move it up one. Why is it so fast? Is it stupid? I guess I should have just it's bought because, the enemy. It's because the times that we're defending, we're spending two turns refilling back our hand. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's anything. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Okay. Uh, enemies, yeah. So. Take an attack from them, and we don't raise misfortune, and I'm just going to click done, and it's okay. going to be the fairy's turn. So, who is taking the attack here? Um, if you can take the attack, uh, okay. I don't know, but then yeah, I can do something sure. on turn. Sure, uh, because the frog wants to heal, so I'll do defense, um, and I'll do... Um, I guess I'll do this assist card, and I'll block for three. That heals me, and I'll roll. Plus two, fully blocked, GTFO, right. and then I'm done. Next, your fairy turn. All right, so we'll just play all three, or all four, to do attack of four, uh, heal one. I have no benefits or anything. I could do this, but I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, no. Plus, Plus two. two. Do one damage. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Go ahead. One, okay. two, three, four, five. And turn, Froggy Man. Um, yes. Is there any foraging left? Uh, I don't. Yes, two. Uh, two is there. What's that? Uh, From the book. Okay. I'll just spend this to forage a wood, and then I will YOLO a uh, two agility test on the enemy. <laughs> Do you have any assistance? Oh, uh, if you want. It's okay if you don't. I'll roll that plus two. Don't worry. I'll put in one. Minus two. <laughs> it's fine. Who cares? Did you re-roll? No, you didn't. No. Nope. Okay, I'm going to click the end turn button in a sec once my hands are free from drawing cards. Okay. Box, 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 box. Let's do pack of three. I don't have any foxes. Oh, I do have a fox, but it's just going to badly injure him. Okay, three, uh, four. We'll just do five, six. Danger's going to go up by one. Okay. Oh, this gets discarded here. And where's the die? Oh, yeah. So Danger goes up again. But we do do another damage. And I had a fox, so now he's badly injured. Wow. Not that that matters. He's still going to attack us first. Uh. Okay. Done. One, two, three, Discontent, four or five? Uh, nope. 
Put it up by one. Enemies in play. Okay, uh, do the stuff. Who is he going to attack here? Uh, I can... Your turn is next, so I'll take this attack okay. of four on uh, fairy. Power. Nice. Block it all and get a power. Okay, go ahead. So I'll move for one. Danger go up. And move baby and chalk here. And then I will attack. Uh, for four, I get to heal one. Roll dice. Plus two. Kill dude. Oh, thank gosh. This goes away. Heal up. Okay. Power. Uh, I could reroll, but I'm not going to. Power. Okay, then I'll go and turn, draw cards. Okay. Let's do... And now we want to get down to the fire, right? Yeah. Unless you want to uh, forage if there's any left. I will forage... Oh, use forage one, but I didn't put a thing on it. There's one left, so I'll yep. forage. Here's five. This is the person I could pick different? No. No. Okay. Oh, I probably should have, you're right. Uh, but I did get it. Just wood. We can pretend. Uh, and then we were just I will cover it. it, and then I'll move for two. Uh, one, two. He's on the stairs. I didn't get any hearts there, did I? No. Okay, done. One, two, three. Four, Froggy five. man. Uh, does he have the jumping card? Nope. Uh, so he'll just. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. She wants to buy a card. Oh yes. Uh, she has three. Oh, what did I do here? Oh no. Man, these dials. I hate dials that are loose. I don't know what I was on. I'll have to look. I would probably just take the rest, but you, if you had three before me, then. I think it's a two. Okay, so you don't have enough, so I'll buy this rest too. I don't know, I can't tell. I think three. And when acquired, I can uh, banish a card from your hand or discard pile. Uh, I'll do it from a discard pile. Root bridge? What is this? Root bridge. Action. Place the root bridge token with one end in chalk space and the other end in a different space within a line of sight. Enter 600 in the app for more info. <laughs> that's cool. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Surprises. Uh, all right. So, Froggy Man's turn still. Uh, what can Froggy Man do? Just run with Bebe. Mm -hmm. It kind of doesn't make sense because the rock oh, guy's got to move anyway. This is probably supposed to have a token on it as well. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Frog is here. Oh yeah, that'll help us double heal. I yeah. forgot about that too. So if we play heals, did I just play heals? No, nope. that would help. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, and turn. Please don't tell me about enemies and miscontent or whatever. Whatever it is. All Go right, Fox. Blaze's turn. So I need to move. What was it for? One, two, three, four. Four. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Playing this. Oh, I got a rest. Uh, nice. All right, let's play these two for four and a heal, but don't let me heal double. So I'll heal two. Okay. In turn? Uh, yes. And I'll just shuffle and draw. Discontent four or five? No. Discontent plus one? Enemies? No. no? Danger, continue next to Miller's turn. Oh no. Uh, chalk. So chalk will just. Uh, move for four, whatever is needed. Yeah, whatever. Move for four, ring baby, and heal back up to eight. And end of my turn, I will say we leave. No, I have to get this. Oh, right. you suck. Uh, oh, unless you or, can go get me. Yeah, let me get you. <laughs> you call the a, a golem Uber. <laughs> One, two. And then I can play one, two. And then I'll just hold lift. this in my hand. And one, two, three, four. And then we go to, what's the number in the end of the app thing? 
All three entrances barricade, all familiars and babies on the fire space. Once they're complete, I'll enter one, two, nine. Put play. They settled down by the fire and tried to get some rest. Their labor in the mill had paid off. They were dry, relatively safe, and now they were also warm. Blaze curled up around the baby, who fell asleep, gripping the fox's fluffy red tail. Gribbert nodded at the baby. She's something, ain't she? Flicker gave a big smile. Yeah, she is. Look at her sleeping so peacefully. I think she likes you, Blazy. She's one of the good ones, I can tell. When she grows up, she won't... <sighs> Flicker's voice trailed off. Suddenly, there was a growing rumble, and far in the distance, the sound of a frightful blast. The familiars ran to the topmost window and gasped when they looked out. A rolling ball of purple fire rose up, far in the distance, far past the horizon. Lightning crackled in its crown. At first, the familiars marveled at this distant light show. But Gribbert's mind leaped ahead, and he threw both hands up over his mouth. Blaze looked at him. What is it, Green? Gribbert pointed, though he did not need to. Where is that ball of fire? Blaze shrugged. I don't know this land. W wait, there's the silvering in the distance, reflecting the moon's light. <gasps> Flicker gasped. Morelius! They watched the ball of purple fire die and recede, but no one said anything for a while. Chalk sat down. Father! Chirped Tweets. No! Blaze shook her head. No! No way! That wasn't Marilius's house over there. I mean, we can't even see that far. Besides, it doesn't matter. He was a royal wizard once. If anything, the purple fire was Marilius unleashing destruction on his enemies. Yeah, that's probably it. Flicker looked to Gribbert. What do we do now? Her voice sounded so sad and tiny. We follow the plan. We head to the Witchwood and wait there for Marilius. He'll be there. I know he will. That night, no one fell asleep quickly, but they remained silent, each lost in their own thoughts and worries. But one by one, they drifted off, and silence descended. Squeak! The lid to the wooden box opened, and the hideous doll inside sat up. It tiptoed to the sleeping familiars, and after sniffing them, snuck away, giggling madly to itself. <laughs> You've completed chapter one, save your progress now by doing the following. Follow, uh, follow the travel route on the campaign travel map that leads into the woods location. Fill in the bubble at that location. Record the amount of misfortune you ended chapter one with on the space provided in the campaign journal. Set both sideboard dials to zero. Oh, thank goodness. So, so we just wasted all that cloth making the baby better. At the end there? I knew, I had a feeling at the end of a chapter it would screw us like that. So we have nine. That sucks. That's bad. Very bad. Now we know. <laughs> Very bad. Shuffle the crafting and training deck discard piles back in the drop piles. We'll just put them in a pile. We'll shuffle it at the start. Not those. I think just, oh, was it just only discard? Oh, okay. Yeah. So the ones that are out in a row stay? Yep. These just get sure. started, so we'll shuffle those. And we don't have any discards here, so okay. Okay. Uh, do you want to continue to chapter two now? Put the game away and resume at a later time. We're going to say put the game away. Do this. We skipped step four and five. Which was what? Sorry, Edgar, I don't know what it was. I do we need to do them, though? I, I thought no. It depends on what it is, I guess. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to try to go back. No, it didn't. Now I'm in entries. That's fun. That might be fun. Oh, right here. Uh, set each familiar's dial to its maximum. Shuffle oh. the crafting and training deck to scar piles. Is oh, that... wait, what? Or... Yeah, okay. I definitely was skipping stuff. Set both discard all afflictions and marks of devotion from each familiar. Oh, they go away. Wow. Go away for the chapter. Were those from story and crafting cards? Uh... I don't remember where we got them. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they were. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, they were. So as long as the power doesn't reset, then I'm happy we didn't buy these because they would give you that benefit and then it would be gone really fast. Yeah. Good to know. So it's good to have them kind of like sitting here and to ready. do them right at the start of a new chapter. Correct. Yep. So that's true. 
I, when you guys asked me in the chat if you had enough to buy the cards, I instantly looked at these two because I want these two. And that's why I said, no, I don't have enough points because I, honestly, I don't care about this. One's not even for my character, the other one here. But we could buy them, yes, and, and progress the story stuff. But the only thing it would have done was reduce discontent, we think, based on what we've seen so far. Yeah. Could be more. It could let us go get a better ability or something. Um, but you just have to go based on what you know, right? We've never played before. So um, buying these cards, looking back now, it's great we didn't buy these just by using up our points. Because then we would have just lost the the extra that so that kind of I'm a little that's kind of sad. But it's good to know that now. Yeah, that's kind of sad. We discard all fictions, set the dials to maximum, did that. Yeah. Which we know from setup. Shuffle the crap. Uh the in the setup it actually tells you to do that, I think, every time you play, but uh so yeah, we're gonna say put the game away. And then I'm gonna click that. And then it tells you, okay, it just tells you about all these steps. Each player shuffles all their skill cards together. Choose one of the familiars they control. Place in the box that familiar. Oh, okay, good. So we don't Fatigue have... cards are not removed from a player's deck. But each familiar is items, resources, which we're not going to do. We're just leaving this on the table. So technically we could have just said we just could have left it on that screen, I guess. Because next time you start, you just go to the map and you enter the number. But it is nice to have that refill, right? I don't know yeah, what yeah. it refilled our health dials and stuff but well, that didn't that was it didn't matter about saving though yeah and yeah now it just sits here waiting for you to come to the game and put in the entry for the new location so yeah so yeah we have that scheduled tomorrow uh 11 a.m eastern and we will come back and continue the campaign with chapter two i guess of era one mm -hmm. and again for anyone who doesn't know there's three eras to the game I'm assuming there's three chapters per era. I don't know how long each one takes or how many little page adventures you have versus choices, but cool. Um, so yeah, so if you want to join us on the next one to see where it goes, tune in tomorrow, 11 a.m. Eastern. If you're watching this later, check the playlist down in the video description. You'll find the next episodes there. If you're watching this now and you want to set a reminder for the next episode tomorrow or the one the day after, you can click down in the video description on that playlist and then find those streams, click notify me, and you'll be notified when we go live. Or just hit subscribe if you haven't already to find your way back to the channel to see future episodes. So anyways, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.